Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! It's nearly better. It's not 100%, but it's so much better. It's because I tried not to talk very much during the week. And that was, it must have been really, really, really severe. And thank you for all your lovely messages. Thank you for all your lovely messages. The what, Han? No, Hannah didn't send me one. She just sent me an email that was very formal. And I thought, uh-oh. She sent me my sheets for today, because you know we get the poll sheets and everything. So she sent me the picture, and these are the sheets. I might do this. And then there was some gobbledygook about 12 o'clock, right? About, I might do this, but I might not do that. And I might crash this, I might not crash that. Thanks, capital K, Hannah. No kiss, no love, no nothing. No WhatsApp, no nothing. Anyway. I think there's something playing up with my WhatsApp today. Anyway, hello. Uh, I've been off for over a week. It's been lovely. Uh, should we start with today's? Are you ready for this? We've got Handsome Adam directing today. Are you ready for the early bird? Do you? You have to press a button. It's the one with the birds tweeting. Go. We've got five hours of this. So I'm just going to warn you. Right, so today's early bird is, I thought you were doing well. It's different here, Handsome Adam. He, Handsome Adam works on jewellery maker. He's just filling in because Bruce is off doing some laundry. Yeah, they do have an early bird and it's very slick when I'm there. Yeah, uh, who was I had Ollie uh, when I was on, uh, uh, so smooth. Mummy and me, crossback apron pattern with a free applique potter, pockton. It's not got a pottern. Pocket design. Kiddies or adults, right? 4th of July, this was made. There it is. I'll get it out in a minute. Uh, should be, will be, uh, is 14 99 Oh, there you go. You've given away the surprise now. There it is. Price, 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 because we're going to crash because it is the early bird. Don't tell Alice and Marion we've done this, please. There's music. I can hear music. Uh, 10 pounds 10 pounds and 99 pence. What you get in here? Let's have a look. I say I can't hear you, but I can hear the music. Right, so in here, you get the uh, instructions. Now, right in here, it's got a picture of the eggs being beaten. Let's have a look. Yeah, your pictures. What picture have you got there? Oh, yeah, eggs being beaten. Yeah. There you go, look. Can you see it? Can you see it? Look. You get all that. <clears throat> you get the patterns, you get the pocket, you get the eggs, you get the egg gloop going into the bowl. Well, what's that called there then? It's the white, is it? The albumen. Is it the albumen? You see, I can hear Hannah having a lovely time, but I can't hear a word she's saying. No, 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 I'm, I'm not going to hear when you tell me something I have got to listen to. That's the problem. Anyway, 10.99. She's just realised she's got me switched off. I could hear her through... I keep wanting to say Bruce. It's not Bruce today. Handsome Adam's um, microphone, you see, that's what it was. Oh, ow, she's so loud now. Why did you switch your microphone off then? Oh, it's from last night. They obviously did dream catchers last night on uh, Lifestyle, didn't they? And they've emptied the shelves. I wonder why they've emptied the shelves. Anyway, 
10 99 today's early bird. Once you got it, check out your basket. That's your PMP paid for for the day. Yeah, because you know what we do? If you buy this in the future, right, we do different pockets. So we do a barbecue pocket. We do a... Um, mm, what other pockets do we have? Halloween, we do Christmas, Easter. Oh, yes, you would like the barbecue one, handsome Adam, yeah? He's modestly handsome, Adam, he says, modestly. Uh, Julie says, good morning. Co <coughs> Cousin Susan says, good morning. Glad to see you back. Patricia says, she loves me. Uh, Alan says, uh, hello, Scott. Alan, Alan, my name's John. Oh, hang on, what's that one across the bottom? Oh, I can't see the big telly. Hi, John, so glad you're back and your voice sounds much better. Sue, it's not 100% better yet, but it is much, much better. We'll see how it is at the end of five hours. Day. Oh, thank you, Cap. Laurie says, morning, John. Anyway, uh, Alan, oh, Alan had a fall two days ago. Oh, Alan, you need to be more careful. 10.99. Quick as you can. Got to get on loads to tell you today. Loads of stuff today. There's that lovely apron. 10.99. Now, remember, at midnight, it goes back up to 14.99. We love an Alice and Marion pattern. We love Alice and Marion. It's never been reduced before, this one. Oh, now we've got these new mats here. It makes it very difficult to move the, <laughs> move the little trolleys around. Keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you coming in for that. Congratulations if you got it. And once you've checked out, that's your PMP paid for. So if you come in and buy a sewing machine later, that'll be you, that'll be your, your PMP paid for for your sewing machine as well. Or overlocker or anything. Oh what? Gorgeous. Have you pre-ordered your Marcy yet? I know, and then we've got a few autos left. Not many, not many autos. Uh, oh, apparently uh, um, Hannah's saying that Marcy's flying out pre-order. That's what she said. Oh, there's an alarm going off outside. You can hear that. Fabulous. Shall we do today's menu? Are you ready, handsome Adam? Today's menu. Oh, blimey, that was quick. So we have got discount fabric bundles at eight o'clock. That's just me on my own. Then at nine o'clock, we've got Sew Over It, Ella Blouse with Adele Rollins. This is what the blouse looks like. That's Adele, if you've not met her before. Then at 10 o'clock, we've got, Ko why have they put the name of it? Koala Toy with Joe Carter. Yeah, it's called Marcy, because it's a marsupial, not Kevin, which I would have called it Marcy. And this is what uh, Marcy looks like. Oh, we haven't got a picture of it. Right, I can check. Okay, there he is. Well, now is it Marcy a girl or Kevin a boy? You decide. Or Kelvin, because that's Hannah's dad's name. Yeah, but you like cuddling him like a koala, don't you? There's a famous picture of like one, somebody from One Direction cuddling a koala, isn't there? Yes, there is. Yep, see, see. Uh, that's 10 o'clock. Then 11 o'clock, Adele is back making the culottes. Same picture, same picture. There you go. Now you see the one she's wearing there. Actually, they're these here, aren't they? They're these here. You see this bundle, the pattern of the bundle, right? It's flying out already. I'm not surprised, that's a lovely fabric. I'm not 100% sure what it is. Feels like a linen mix. Linen viscose mix. I'll just take off the loose threads that Adele's left up the hem there. But that's fine. Yeah, now, she loves this pattern so much that before we'd even sent her the pattern, she'd made it for herself anyway, in a different fabric. Morning, Judith. Morning, Claire. Uh, didn't get notified, you went live? Oh dear, yeah, went live. Tina, Derek, good morning, Hannah. Right, uh, Becky's not here, Derek. We've got, yeah, it's Hannah, it's Kat, and it's Handsome Adam. Then there, there's Handsome Adam there, look, wave, Handsome Adam. And there's Hannah in the background. There you go. Uh, Donna says, good morning. Uh, Pam Minihani says, good morning, you look refreshed. 
Uh, Anne says, uh, Anne, look at my Facebook page. Yes, we are at four o'clock. Uh, that's it, really. Right, OK, so that's that three ways you can get in touch. Oh, 12 o'clock, didn't you? 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, overlockers. This is the one I don't understand what's happening because she sent me a very weird email. There's overlockers and there's jersey fabric and there's a pattern. And, oh, now. No, 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 I'm not going to say that, but... Are we allowed to... Uh, I, can't, I can't say it out loud. You know the four? Have we got the four? OK, I've got... I've got my favourite overlock. Because you know Hannah's still got my overlock. And I said last week I was going to buy myself one, but they all sold out. They're back in stock, right? But there's only four with the bundle. Wait there, wait there, wait there. So there's the Air Threader overlocker, right? And you get... Oh, poor old Hanson Adams not used to this, right? Four of the machines, only four of them, have got the three of three overlocking thread. I'll put it down. There's only four. I've got more overlockers, and for the same price, but four of you will get it with the free. And they're worth about fifty-two pounds or something like. That. Was it fifty-two, Hannah? It's around that amount. It's about fifty-two pounds you're saving, right? We don't have those on their own. We've sold out them on their own. We had four left, so we put four in a bundle with four machines. Now, you can buy the machine as well, but the first four people, if they use the right code, will get the threads with it. Then after that, you won't get the threads with it. Just telling you. Just telling you. Anyway, they're worried that that looks like Adele's just hanging from the roof now. No, because if it was Adele, she'd have, she'd, have little sho she'd have little shoes hanging out the bottom, wouldn't she? Uh, three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. The second is on Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting at at you. Um, why are you apologising? Uh, oh, Alan, because you called me Scott, that's fine. And then the third way is uh, by, uh, on the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Uh, then you click on watch the show live. And there it is, uh, a little box on the right-hand side. Don't know why she's highlighting the, the right, oh, there you go. Type, type. I can't see what it says from here. Hello, Adam loves what? Curly girl, Adam loves curly girl. Anyway, scroll down the page. They're the messages that appear across my bottom later. Then, if you scroll down the page, look, this is, oh, no, 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 would you? Look, at oh, look. Look, scroll down the page, everything from the next five hours. There's the bundles from the first hour. That's the first hour. They're going already. Oh, and they're going lower. They're not the prices you're going to pay. Now, you see that pattern there? We've not got that pattern. <laughs> that picture is all I'm going to be showing you about that pattern, but that's the blouse, the, the wraparound blouse. Then we've got fabric to make it. Then we've got some pins, and they're the right pins. Uh, we've got the scissors. Then... There's a Marcy or Kevin, whichever you want to call him. Look, she's even done eucalyptus in the picture. You don't get the eucalyptus. And then Otto the dog, you don't get the dog bowl. There's not many of Otto left, just to warn you. Anyway, they're kits to make those. All you need is some toy stuffing. Uh, then scrolling down the page, culottes, that's the only picture you'll see of those. Got Adele wearing them, people wearing them, but we haven't got the pattern here. What size do they go up to? Brilliant, size 20 they go up to, look. Then the fabrics for the culottes. That fabric bundle's very, very limited now. I don't know what the circle, oh, no, not that. That's not a fabric bundle. That she's moved on to, oh, 52 99 the thread's worth, but only four of you will get that deal. But you need to use that code for it, right? Because we've got the overlocker on its own as well. There you go. There's the overlocker, it's the same price. Nice overlocking threads there. Oh, I didn't see calico. Yep, calico and dressmaking fabrics. Keep watching, keep watching. Oh, I like that one, that leaf one, that's nice. And there's that Jack's jersey for the t-shirt there. We have got that pattern here. And we've got those, and we've got that, and we've got that, and we've got that, and we've got that, and we've got that. And that's it, that's the next five hours. So shall we start? Shall we start at the very beginning? Remember to message me in, message me in. Amanda, good morning. Your hair looks very smart. Oh, I've just made the point to have it all cut off. <laughs> well, no, because Charlie's meant to be taking pictures of me for my... Because when you get 
For, when, when I do the book, you know, because I'm launching my book. I don't know why I'm doing that for a book. Don't, yeah. That's the, no, that's me on the front of the book. <clears throat> Apparently Madonna split up with her boyfriend. I read in the paper yesterday. Madonna. And then I was like, who's that woman that they've taken a picture of? It's Madonna. Didn't recognise her. She looks very different. Anyway, I love Madonna. Where are we starting? Come on, it's quarter past. Oh, Anne Mihorna sent me a message this week. Yes! Uh, which one? The big one. I love this collection. This collection is all about bouquets of flowers that she has received and she's done drawings of them over the years. Now, it is a considered purchase. When we had it the first time, it was very, very popular. Uh, buy it on split pay, 50 pounds and 60 pence, three times. Oh, someone moves the desks. Uh, anyway, look what you get. These are beautiful, look. Look at these, look at these. They're just stunning. You get half a meter of each, 10 meters. Oh, no, oh, I remember what happened on this. They didn't take the half a meter off, did they, when we launched it? So we took half a meter off for you. But anyway, we're gonna take a lot more off today. Beautiful, aren't they? Look, I love them, love them, love them. I will waft them for you in a second. If you want any of them wafting, just let me know. All of these, you get, all of these get 20 different fabrics, 20 different fabrics in here. I oh, know, look. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna have to move them out of the way now. The pile's got too tall, look. There you go. Beautiful, look at the bouquets. Tulips. I've got two more to show you, then we'll crash. Look at that one, I love that one. That is lovely, there they all are, thank you. That's the web image, as they call it. No. Right, hang on, 134.99. So that's uh, six pound 50 for half, a, right, I need to check that, I don't know if I'm, you, you're saving 60, over 16 pounds, but it works out now, if you, if you get 20 fabrics, 20 into 134.99. She's just doing it now. I'm sure it's, I'm sure I was right. Oh, I was completely wrong. £6.74 for half a metre. And you can still have split pay on it, look, 44 99 three times. The other Jan, good morning, John Nevron. Can't stay long this morning, taking my husband to hospital. Oh, send him our love. Lynn says, lovely to hear your lovely voice again. Love the fabulous shirt, says Lynn. Thank you, thank you. Right, stop, stop. This is the price it's meant to go to, right? That's the price, 679, a half meter. That's where it's supposed to go to. She's naughty. She's very naughty. It's, it's now six pound 49 for half a meter. Oh, should we go upstairs? Let's go to the upstairs camera, see if that's working. Oh, hang on, it's moved. There you go, there you go. Is that beautiful? You're, she's just knocked over 20 pounds off that bundle. Look at the split pay, 43, 33, three times. You get 20 different fabrics. You get 10 meters of fabrics in total. Oh, thank you. It's, I don't know if it's gonna hold out. I've got my lemon, I've got my pineapple, I've got my water. Oh, there's a message on my bottom. Morning, John. So excited. I bought the Marcy by 802. Goal achieved for today. Happy Drizzly Bank holiday. Do you know what? All my garden furniture, all the cushions and everything out, and I checked my BBC weather, and it said no rain, right? I woke up in the night thinking, that sounds like rain. No, it can't be. BBC said it wasn't going to rain. But it's, I've left it there now. It's so drenched. I couldn't be getting in. Love, 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 love this. Beautiful. <clears throat> Message on my bottom. Morning, John. Just bought the sew over it patterns and fabrics this morning. Must have the whole collection now. Love, Rachel. Now, Rachel, I think you yesterday you showed the jeans. No, we're not doing them today, but you did make some jeans from this company, didn't you, sir? Oh, did they do the jeans the other week? What's it? Adam did them last week, apparently. 
Now, not handsome, Adam. Now, I haven't watched, I need to add your advice now. I haven't watched Great British Sewing Bee. Well, no, no, because we were out to dinner. So, yeah, Hannah sent me one who she wants to win. And then I was out with Dulcie yesterday and I said, I've not watched, I've not watched The Great British Sewing Bee. She went, oh, I knew, I won't say it in case you haven't watched it. I knew, da, 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 would leave. And I was like, I, I just said I haven't watched it, Dulcie. So I knew that person would leave. And I was like, okay, thanks. Anyway, uh, the reason I don't really want to watch it, now I'm, uh, this is me, right? When you complain about me, I say, if you don't like me, don't watch it, right? That's simple, that's, that's easy, right? Because I say, when I watch um, Escape to the Country, there's one presenter I can't bear, and so I don't watch it when she's on, right? Oh, we love Jasmine Harmon on Place of the Sun. And that's a different show though. Anyway, I want, uh, my cousin Cordelia is going out with Jasmine Harmon's nephew. That's another story. Anyway, um, I don't watch it, so I don't put, I don't really like the new presenter, you see, but I am gonna give it a go. I am gonna watch it tonight when I get in. It's on video. I'm gonna watch it when I get in tonight and give it a go. But if I don't like it, I won't be watching it. I, the thing is, I'm sure she's very funny, but when I watched her do the Christmas one and the New Year one, I wanted to just say, be quiet, calm. Calm down, my love, calm down. Anyway, I'll let you know. You let me know, you let me know. Uh, morning, John. Your shirt looks well with the fabric. <coughs> Good to have you back. Thank you, Nikki. Beautiful. Right, moving on. Three left. That's it now. There's just three of those left now. Free spirit pink. How many? Give me a clue. Oh, yeah, that would have helped. The raw launch, uh, not the launch, the range is called Stratosphere. Beautiful, gorgeous. I'll put that one there, magenta. I would say, I would have called that more purples than pinks myself. Well, yeah, because you just said free spirit pink. That's all you said to me. Yeah. I remember crashing, not 29.99. No, 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 no. Oh, less than 20 pounds. Taking 10 pounds off that price tag. There's your web image. This, or oh, let me take that sticker off there. That's your image of the fabric. See, this is all new to Bruce. Bruce, why do I keep saying Bruce? Sorry, handsome Adam. He's happy to be known as Bruce. Bruce lavers on. He's doing decorating the hall. He lavers on in the background. When he gets up. I imagine. Oh. Now, cat's opening the door, wedging the door open. This will be interesting. Oh, she's going to get tomorrow's trolley. Right. Uh, oh, they thought that they thought the presenter on saying B did a really good job. I'll watch it. I'll, I promise I'll watch it tonight. I promise. Even though I know who's going. Thanks, Dulcie. I watched the Great British Saying B and thought the presenter was very good and really enjoyed the programme from Deep. There you go. Maybe I can be proved wrong. I'm not always right. I know I'm outspoken, but I'm not always right. Right, five of these left, but eight people want it, so I'll leave that one with you. Um, the desks are on the move as well. Hang on. Yeah, look. I think it might be that one. Oh, is it? Is it because L was in here yesterday using it? Was it yesterday she was in? Yeah, moving on. Yep, yeah, this one. I've got this one. Hang on. Oh. Yes, you do. Now, I didn't it also come with hydrangeas originally? Yeah. No, they're the ones I've got. Twenty nine ninety six. But of course, you see what we're doing this first hour, taking money off. Uh, she was less loud than she was in the celebrity specials. Oh, there you go. Kirsty loves it. Vida says, good morning. Sue said, I watched Sewing Beat and was a bit dubious about the new presenter, but she was actually quite good. Oh, okay, I'll take it back then. Oh, Diane said I was the same about the new presenter. She was very good. She was very different than the Christmas one, says Dawn. What's the matter? Nineteen ninety-six. Handsome Adam lives in the same village 
as Hannah and Joe Lycett. Isn't he in the posh bit, the village, a bit further on? Oh, he's in your bit. I thought he'd be in the next one. Oh, nice. Um, I wonder if he's been to the plant shop yet. Have you been to the plant shop yet, handsome Adam? In Mosley. It's beautiful. Uh, can you, do you overlook the, the sea as well from your house? Hannah sits in her front window watching the sea crash. Jan, good morning, gorgeous. <clears throat> she watched the Great British Sewing Bee. Oh, that, that's good, Jan. Jan enjoyed it. So I will watch it tonight. I will watch it tonight, I promise. It's because she was a little bit too over the top on the celebrity one, but maybe she had celebrities that she had to compete with, whereas when she got real people. Yeah, right, next. Yep. Now, uh, Wendy Orlando made a quilt out of this, you remember? And um, Hannah wants a jumpsuit made out of this one. Did you want the oranges or the... Le oh, I haven't got the lemons anyway. No. I don't know. You could do like a, a, a boob tube. 41.94. Stand behind a counter. Half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter, half meter. Here we go, crash. Oh, we're not having the music anymore. Oh, no, no, take it out. No, take it out. 28 99 squeeze hearts and ice cream cones. 28 99 Beautiful. You've just saved £12.95. Gorgeous. Lovely fresh colours that. Ready for the summer. In the rain. It won't rain all summer, it's just today. Are we going again? How much how much are you taking off now? Yeah, I know. You've taken off sixteen pounds ninety five. That's outrageous. She is a middle name, she says. She's uh, discovered today that uh, compost can be warm. She didn't know that. Or hot. Twenty-four days. I missed that bit of the conversation. Okay, so Hannah. Hannah, how? Hannah thought that in real life koala bears walk like this. She didn't, she didn't know they went like that. Gorgeous. Isn't it? They are, they are arms. Oh, because they had arms that stand up, I see what you mean, yeah. They sleep a lot of the time, don't they? Now, come on, behave. Oh, Carol, Carol, how have you done that? Oh, you be careful. Did you have a fall? Anyway, look, buy this, make you feel better. I can't guarantee it'll make you feel better, but you'll be lovely. Uh, Derek watched Great Bishon B on Catch Up, so I could fast forward through the awful presenter, but I was pleasantly surprised of how good she was. I suggest you do watch it. I'm going to sneeze, hang on. Excuse me, sorry. Did you cut me out? Did you cut my mic? Oh, she missed it. I did give you, oh, of course, I forget in this studio, normally they have a switch here, so if I say I'm going to sneeze, they can just click me out. But that's right, even little Charlie with his little legs, by the time he gets to the other side of the studio, I've sneezed and moved on. Pardon? What, over Stratford? UFOs. In colour and in black and white. 13.98. Now they look like mushrooms. Don't they look like mushrooms? It's going to go to 7.99 if one. They do look like mushrooms, don't they? At 7.99. We've got some mushrooms. Oh, not today we haven't got mushroom fabric. But um, 
Adam, you should see that mushroom fabric they've got in stock. It's lovely. Oh, apparently they sleep a lot because the eucalyptus makes them very sleepy because it's like taking a sleepy pill. That's from Christopher. He's up early for a Sunday, isn't he? I don't know if we can eat eucalyptus, no. Have you? No. Yeah. You've got a eucalyptus tree in your garden. Yeah, little round leaves. Yeah. It's on Joe's picture. Look at Joe's picture. That's eucalyptus. And can you smell it in your garden? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Well, um, you, today's a school day. Apparently, if you put a bunch of eucalyptus in your shower, above the shower head, so it doesn't get wet, the steam activates the smell. Yeah, I just buy eucalyptus shampoo. Bit easier. Anyway, 7.99, moving on. You are going to have to go a bit faster here. Why, what's the matter? Oh, Okay. Now, Joe Carter did a whole quilt called uh, Cat in a Box. I don't know which one it is. Blue and purple and cats in boxes. Yep, got it. So you've got skeletons, a fish, cat heads, plant pots. I've got them in plant pots. Oh, and boxes. There you go. Joe Carter's got a design exact, very much like that of a cat in a box. Not in a plant pot. Then you've got your fish skeletons again. Then you've got cat ribbons, cat heads, cat heads, cat ribbons, and cat ribbons. You know that very expensive cat thing I bought with the scratches and the... They never use it. Never use it. No, 76, 98, so it's going in the garden. So the cats of the neighbourhood can play on it. June says good morning. Good morning, June. Sending you a big kiss. Oh, I forgot we were crashing. Never been reduced before, 59.99. Hang on, Jack, there's five, there's 11 fabrics in there. But 11 fabrics? That's, so it's less than, well, way less than six pounds a half. 5.45 a half metre. 5.45 half metre. 59.99. The person who's mentioning about customer services, uh, Hannah's just checking it for you now. Do you know the number, Hannah? 0800 4433. She said some bloke on the telly told her. 59.99. So you get the cats and the ribbons in blue, the cats and the ribbons in lilac, and the cats in the ribbon in white. Then we get the fish skeletons in black, and the fish skeletons in white. Then we've got cat heads in pink, and lilac, and turquoise. We've got cats in pots on pink and blue, and we've got cats in boxes on white. Yeah, loads, you got it in your basket. Make sure you check out your baskets. $59.99. Amanda says, morning everyone, not too bad here in Loddington. Determined to get some sewing done today. Uh, Alan says, I've sent my koala bear summer hat picture into the studio. Summer hat. We'll do it in the koala hour, Alan. We'll say it in the koala hour. 59.99. Make sure you check out. Make sure you check out on, on pre-order. The koala's is very, very popular. Have I? It's been a while. Right, hang on. I've got red pandas. Yeah, four fabrics. Yep, 
Yeah, got it, got it, got it. You don't get a tape measure on yours. I couldn't see, uh, I couldn't see the eggs because they were on the bottom. It's all right. Pretty, isn't it? 29.96, blue goose fabric, two meters, half meter each, 100% cotton. Now, what would you make out of that? That's lovely. 19.96. Right, that make, makes them less than five pounds a half meter. For 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable, quilting weight. Oh, hi, Jonathan. Went to Longleat to see the koalas. They're so gorgeous. They're Sharon. Have I, I don't know if I've ever seen one. Apart from that one. Not been to Australia. No, I was hoping I'd go on the films, but I never made it to Australia. That was New Zealand. 1996. Oh, 1996. Hang on, where was I in 1996? Uh, I was in the middle of my film career. Was it um, Four Weddings or Notting Hill, 1996? You were four. Well, I was very young working on the films. So Hannah was four or five in 1996, she can't remember. Handsome Adam was nine. Oh, I'm not even looking at you, Kat. Handsome Adam was nine. Kat wasn't even born. What year were you born, Kat? 2002. 2002, I know, I know. I'm, uh, don't you be crying. A bit grey here today, says trees up. Be careful if you put the cat tree in the garden. The tube legs go soggy when it rains. Oh, no, it'll, I couldn't think what tree she meant then. I'm going to put it under the awning. It'll have its own awning. We still haven't got any hedgehogs. Still and next door, I've got blue tits in their thing, but I've got any in mine. No, not that side, that side. Notting Hill, I thought you were telling me I was on Notting Hill in 1996. Why not? Here we go. Riley Blake, Notting Hill fabric bundle. That was like segued in quite well, wasn't it? Margaret says, good morning, John and team. The team is Kat, Hannah, and handsome Adam today, Margaret. Bruce isn't here. Bruce is at home doing the decorating. He's here in spirit. Ten pounds off. Yeah, well, I don't know why they put this here. Because imagine that we've got Jubilee shows galore, haven't we? If you go to Australia, I can get you a free haircut. My, hair, my daughter is a top hairdresser in Melbourne, says Anne. I'll remember that, Anne. So my flight will be £10,000, but I'll get a free haircut. Free. Yeah, but then I'll have to give a tip, wouldn't I? And also, I don't know if I'll be going to Melbourne. Because it's quite a big country, isn't it? Australia. Is that in Australia? Oh, of course it is. The Opal Line's in Australia, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going gem hunting with Dave Troth. Yeah, down a mine with John Scott. I couldn't, I couldn't. I have nightmares about potholing. Never been potholing, cut. And I have nightmares about potholing, get my shoulders caught. Right, I know. <laughs> your shoulders get through, your belly won't. Mine, that is, not anyone else's. Not Hannah's. Oh no, oh no, you've set me off now. I can't, I can't understand why, why, what pleasure they get out of going like this into crevices and you can't go, oh, making me go funny. What? I've not seen this one. Now you could use this to make Alice Caroline's no, not Alice Caroline. Alice and Marion's apron. I don't think Alice Caroline's done an apron. 27.96, this is designer, Dan Morris. Oh, it's lovely. I'm not quite sure what the food is. It's a bit meat heavy for me. Oh no, there's the veggie. There's the veggie one. 
What's the matter? Why haven't you got? Gorgeous, look. Burgers, vegetables, cheese and falafels, that must be. Look, they're, are they falafels, do you think? Oh, meatballs. Straight down, oh, it's gone down 15.99. Lots of mushrooms on there. I might, in, in the years to come, if I'm still here, I'll be able to tell you about a, a naturally grown, locally grown mushroom farm. John, you look like you've got a curtain blind you. This, these are collots. I'll move them over. I'm all right, I'm all right, didn't fall. At 15.99. Who's that in there? What's he doing in there? Morning, Tobes. I'm good, thank you. Do you know I'm going gem hunting? No, I'm going with Dave Troth. Yeah. There we go, 15.99. Tobes, what, which, what channel are you on today then? He's on Gemporia, Tobes, what time? One o'clock. No, I'm not telling about nine o'clock. So he's out there, he's waving. Look, he's there with a cup of tea. And what gemstone have you got? Oh, we're doing 18 karat gold today. And who are you on with? Lindsay Carr. Is she the Geordie one? Isn't there one with jo a Geordie one with blonde hair? Oh, that's a different car. Sorry. Oh, you mean the little one that's usually on in the mornings? Uh, well, it's his morning, isn't it? Yeah. So she's doing 18 karat gold at what time? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nice to see you too. Bye. Yeah, you will. Don't mess up the dressing room. What's, what's happening? Oh, yes. Yes. Right, this one's got green burgers. It's what? Order up, it's called, on cream. Well, there's green, there's burgundy, there's cream, and there's cream. Beautiful. Straight down, 15.99, designer fabric. I don't know why this is being reduced because I've never even seen this. It must be quite new. Do you know what I thought that said delish on there? I was like, that's funny. It's relish. <clears throat> What's, yeah, it is the barbecue season in the rain, isn't it? But I don't quite know what that... Oh, it's the cheese melting over the side. Got it now. That one's got strawberries in it, that one. Are they strawberries? No, they wouldn't be strawberries, would they? Can you see it? You've got bread, a burger and cheese, burger, cheese. I'm presuming that's lettuce. Is, is it the relish or is it baby tomatoes? What? That one's got purple in it. Beetroot. She's making it up as she goes along. Oh, look, don't watch Gordon Ramsay's programme this week. The contestants sent down a hole in a tight cave through small cracks in the rocks. No. I watched that the first one, and when he jumped out of that helicopter in his wetsuit, I thought, this isn't for me. Bernadette's morning, John, Hannah, Kat, Adam, Joe, and Adele. Great seeing John back. Hello, Toby. So, that's everybody. You've covered everyone there, Bernie. Which one are we going to next? To Liberté. Yep. That's not Liberty. That's Liberty there. Got it. Pink and blue first, right? Gorgeous. Never been on air before, and we're going to reduce the price. Yeah, you've seen the fabrics, but not this bundle. Gorgeous. 
Oh, Margaret's mum and dad almost went to live in Australia under the £10 scheme in the late 1950s. Oh. What's that? 16.99 for a metre and a half of liberty. You can't even get a, lit a litre, a litre, a metre. I've got, you can't get a metre from liberties for that much. 5.66 half metre. Gorgeous. Look, Liberty fabric for your bundle. That, that the same fabric, just different colourways, and that's a little bit more out there. Somewhere out there, when love will see you through. Don't know what show, what show's that from? Six. Oh, no. <clears throat> John, Jackie the Jack Russell has just eaten all her toast and eating Lorraine's. Fatty or what? From Filthy Phil, Lorraine and Jackie the Jack Russell. It's interesting. People's lives. 16.99. Also, I've got to say, John, I'm addicted to cross stitch. Thank you for showing it on Sewing Street. I find it so mindful, says Amanda. Our pleasure. Has Mark been on doing his cross stitch yet? Oh, it's sold out. Brilliant. Well, it was supposed to be on with me and then it didn't arrive. Then it was supposed to be on with me again. It didn't arrive. Story of my life, isn't it? Then it arrived, but I'm off for a week. Do what? <clears throat> Marina says normality is returned. Good morning. Thank you. Christopher says, save your voice, no singing. <clears throat> a lot of people would call it not, wouldn't call it singing though, Christopher. It's fine. They should be over 20 pounds, just so you know. Yeah, of course it should be. It should be 21, 22, 50 it should be. Yeah. Right, here's the other Liberty one. Oh, this is pretty, it's more traditional. You know where the price is going, so you're already buying this one. Christopher uh, used to be in West End shows. That's how he knows about singing. Twenty-two pounds and forty-seven pence. You know where it's going. Sixteen ninety-nine. It's not funny, Adam. Hannah's telling Adam quite a sad story, and he's laughing, thinking she's making him nervous. Is he on the same side of the high street as you are then? Do you live on the same side of the high street as Hannah? Oh, near Karen and what's, isn't it? what's her face? Have they moved yet? Yeah. Anyway, 16.99, you know, it should be over 22 pounds. Make sure you check out your basket. Beautiful. That's more traditional, isn't it, that one? Mmm, says Hannah. Mmm. I've got a Christmas bundle coming up in a minute. Oh, what do you do next? It's Christmas! Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Imagine people woke up and I'm shouting it's Christmas. So I've got mittens and hats, ice skating boots, stars, uh, rose hips, Stars and little hats. 33 99 you get three metres of fabric here. It's called Winter For You. Oh, there you go. Somewhere out there is from American Tale. Oh, I didn't know that. I only know it from the top 20. Morning, John, from a rainy Devon. At 3 99 half metre now, that is. That's brilliant. We've had our granddaughter Georgia for a sleepover and we're going out for brunch. Oh, how lovely. If I went out for brunch now, I'd have that thing that's like a, a... No, not a boozy brunch. I was going to say the thing that has like spinach, an egg, and a roll, and chips. And a, and a, a, a Bloody Mary with no vodka in it. 23, well, don't drink, do I? No, she still has the spices and the celery to stir it with and things. Three ninety nine and a half metre that works out at. Chicka chicka, boom boom.
Yeah, write that down. Next. Oh, you won't. <laughs> I'll pick this one up then, shall I? Oh, no, I'll pick that one up. Oh, no, it's, I'll pick that one up. I haven't got a code for it, though, so you'll be all right. Gorgeous. Riley Blake. Oh, it's Danny Mogstad. Joy in the Journey. That's a song as well, isn't it? Joy in the Journey. Have you? Straight down. Are you taking £10 off? Yep, £10 off, baby. 1996, half metre each, 100% cotton, 44 inch wide, machine washable, quilting weight. No, Rebel. Seventeen ninety six. Yes. So Hannah's got a tin of mandarins, right? She hasn't brought a spoon or a fork, so she's drinking out of the tin, and it's a sharp edge tin now. Yeah, no. You know. She says she's a grown up. Let's just wait for the scream of agony now. She slices her tongue. Seventeen ninety nine. You didn't then eat them, did you? Oh, so I've never been invited around the house at all, ever. She was cooking dinner for somebody other night and she was gratering courgettes. Do them in ju like juliennes. Yeah, juliennes, yeah. 1796. You could do on a courgette if you wanted. 1796. Gorgeous, moving on. It's Hayley's birthday on Tuesday. On Tuesday, Hayley's coming on as my guest for an hour. I oh, know. You won't be able to understand what, we'll have to have an interpreter for her. Yep. I love this collection, but I've only got the, like, the, the beaded curtain ones today, or the bamboo. Not 2247, not today though. No. Oh, look, uh, Julia's just having a quick watch before she goes off to Dungeness. That's nice. At 16.99, these are Moda. Five pounds 66 for half a meter. I know, I know. Beautiful. Oh, what? Keep going through, make sure you check out. It's lovely, isn't it? I love this fabric. We, it came with like swallows and things like that, the range, didn't it? It was a lovely range. It came in the three different colorways. These are, these are the three different colorways. Loving the navy. Look, Ooh, beautiful. Let me just pull those into shop for you. There you go. Oh, would you? No. Julia, no, I didn't buy a caftan. I was styling them for a fashion show. Aren't they lovely? Four ninety nine for half a meter. Excuse me. Reva's on my bottom. We have just made beautiful Jubilee bunting out of that Mojo Lulu. Oh, Reva, that's posh bunting. I bet you didn't pay $14.99 for it. Beautiful though, isn't it? $4.99, half a metre for Moda fabric. What? Of course it has, it's flying out. So three quarters of the stock's gone already. I will have done once you've checked out. Oh, Chris is off to have his breakfast now. Oh, Derek's going to watch live on Tuesday. The councillor giving a day's holiday. Oh. 
Uh, Christine makes lovely scrunchies out of this. At uh, fourteen ninety nine. Is this it? Did you say? No. Yeah, one more. The others, right? Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five bundles. Right? We've only got time to do one more, but Hannah will crash the price of the other four in the break. Snippets. Two and a half meters. Now, is this snippets one or is it snippets two? I think it might be a mix. Oh no, snippets two. Snippets two. Now, if you've never seen these before, they're lovely. Because look, I'm going to hold this up for you, Adam. See it now and put it down. Look, you get all the little snippets. They're slightly uh, pearlized or pearlescent. Those little snippets. Ranges through the ombre from the darker aqua to the pale. But you've got purple, green, red and gold in there. 39.95 is what it's meant to be. We are going to the lowest ever price. I think she just dinged a bell on her desk then. At 22.99. £4.59 and a half meter. I know, for snippets. Gorgeous. Right, don't go anywhere. After the break, Adele will be here. We're going to be making this, oh, you can't see it's behind the graphics. We're going to be making that lovely top. Don't forget to pre-order your koala. We've got a few autos left, that's all. And then Adele's second hour, we've got the culottes. And this bundle of fabric is, it might all be sold out already, but go and check. We will see you in four minutes from now with Adele and a sewing machine. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com 
or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sound Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Adele is here. Adele is here. Wave to your camera, Adele. Hello. Hang on, there she is. There she is. Looking resplendent in that very subtle green today. <laughs> I don't know if it's showing up as bright on the camera, but it's almost like, well, if you're making your own clothes, why not sing about it? I love it. it. No, I think it's gorgeous. I think it's really lovely. We almost, well, I'm animal, you're not green. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not green, no, no animals. No, so we don't match. And you're blonde, I'm not. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, uh, Adele is making two, let me just put that down so you can see that project. Two projects, so the first day we're doing this, uh, it's very, very uh, stylish, but simple, isn't it? Yes, yes, so it is a blouse, so it is woven, even though I thought originally that it was um, a jersey oh, okay. top. So yeah. it's a woven blouse, but it is a real simple project. It's a great project for a first beginner. Perfect, so it's 17 pounds. Now I haven't actually got the pattern here in the studio with me. I'm thinking white, oh, that's just Adele just plugging in Sorry. the <laughs> Uh Maybe go for a pattern or a solid dark color. Like there, you see, now that's the pattern, 17 pounds, all the details you need on there. If there's any questions you need to know, just let me know and we'll find out the answer for you. It is a paper pattern, it's not a PDF. You'll see the paper pattern because Adele's got it next door, but we just haven't got it here with us at the moment. Size is eight to 20. Your body measurements are there and your finished uh, garment sizes are there. Uh, does it, and fabric recommendations. Doesn't say how much, well, how much have we got in these bundles? Oh, two and a half meters. You need two and a half meters of fabric then to make the largest size. Uh, what'd you say about stock? Quarter of the stock went on pre-order. So please be careful. And it goes up to a size 20, doesn't it? Now, what size did you make? So this is a size 12. Okay, and, and are, are you, there's a picture of you wearing, wearing it. That's me wearing it there, are yes. you, Do you normally wear a 12? Does it yeah. come up to? So I'm uh, between a 10 and a 12, yeah. and it fitted me perfectly. Right, brilliant. It was brilliant. It, do, it does fit you on the waist though. Right. So as you see on the photo, it hits the top of my trousers. Right. So if you want to, you can wear a little sort of Vest top underneath Can if you underneath. don't want yeah, yeah. that sort of. Oh, gap. yeah, because it could, yeah, because if you stretch up, it's going to split. Yes. Yeah, not split, but. Um, yeah, it sits on your waist, not your hips. Right, okay. So it, so if you do stretch up, it's going to work, work right up with wear, madam. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, we've got some pictures. Oh, uh, uh, that's the picture from their website, the Sew Over It website there. Different cut. Now, on the pattern, does it just say cottons? I don't know what it, on viscose is, because we haven't got the pattern here. I can't tell you what it, here you go, what it say on there. Would you like to have a look? So it talks about light to medium weight woven fabrics such as cotton lawn, rayon, viscose, and crepe. Which is what we've got for you today. Yes. Do you want to see some more pictures just to get a bit of inspiration? This is from Pinterest that have been made by lots of different people there. We suggest you go and have a look because it's this pattern. To buy the pattern from us, we've got some gorgeous fabrics, but you might get some other um, inspiration from there, might you? Beautiful. Right, so the pattern is £17. The fabrics I've got here, now the white one that you can see it made out of there is a white crepe, a polyester crepe. Now, it's... Uh, well, hang on, what are you saying, Hannah? Can you wear it when? Over the top of swimwear, we could do, but you you might want to you might want a sarong as well. <laughs> anyway, fourteen. No, this whole bundle's fourteen ninety five. Ivory crepe fabric, the fourteen ninety five for two and a half meters. That doesn't quite sound right, does it? So that's no. five units. 
That's three. Three no, pound. That's three pounds half a meter. So six pound a meter. Huh? Six, six pound pounds a meter. A meter yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think that's quite right. But take it, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. It's a lovely weight as well, and it's not. I'm going to say it's not see-through. Uh, it's on a red mannequin there, and so I kind of think if you wore a red bra that you are going to see the red bra, but it's not It's not see-through, see-through, is it? No, it's not sort of um, sheer in any yeah. way. There is a good weight to it, but like you say, if you're wearing a black bra, it probably shows through. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And Hannah, Hannah would say, well, that's why I'm wearing a black bra, so the boys in the King's Heath can see. <gasps> <laughs> she goes out partying in King's Heath, you see. Anyway, anyway... <laughs> Um, but now, are people are frightened to sew with this, but actually this feels like a really stable... Yeah, it's crepe, stable, it? and it presses well as well. Fantastic. So it's not like a bounce, because some crepes can be really bouncy. Oh, you you try and them. press them and it just bounces yeah, yeah, straight no, back no, on. No, no, not at all. That's good to know. And it's only 14 95 for two and a half metres. So even if you're not going to make this project out of it, well, what other things could you make out of it? Like any, well, any blouse would look lovely in this, wouldn't it? Crepe blouse would be beautiful. Yeah, if you've already got the pussy bow blouse yeah. that we've done before, I've used this fabric with that as well. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. And nice for work almost, you yes. know, like a pussy bow blouse. It would make, make that lovely secretarial look with a lovely black skirt or a navy blue skirt or something. Anyway, fourteen ninety five that one. Let's do the red crepe now. Now, you see this, I think it'd be love. What are you making out of the floor? Um, I think it would be beautiful made out of this. It looks so rich. And it could be daytime or evening, this one, couldn't it? 14 95 You see, it's... Mm. I think that fabric for 14 95 for two and a half metres, I think it's wrong. Don't well, you? It just seems crazy, like six pounds a metre when it's normally six pound half a metre. Yeah, yeah. But it's, right. Take advantage. Take advantage. Have we got this by the half metre or is it only in the bundle? We'll have a look at it on the website. Beautiful, 14.95. It's lovely, that red is such a beautiful, rich, expensive red. And the finish of the crepe, you know like crepe, because it's got that kind of like, um, well, like uh, uh, orange skin, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's that kind of lovely texture to it. At 14.95, let me move on so Adele can get on with her sewing. Oh yeah, now the, the prints that you're going to be making out of, yep. I've got the blossomy print with a subtle, soft pink background. This is viscose, so brilliant to wear, because uh, viscose will breathe with you. Even though it's a man-made fibre, it's made of cotton pulp and wood pulp and things like that. So this will breathe with you. Uh, two and a half metres for 26 99 It's a lovely print, I get the right. Now it has got a direction, has it? Um, I'm trying to like have a look. It. Yeah, she says, having cut it up. so. Dive, don't you think? No, because if you look, some are going up, some are going down. Are they? Do you think they're all going up? Yeah. Which Show way Show me one up? that's going down. Wow. Well, would you say that's going up then? Yeah, yeah. I think this is the earth here, and that's the, all the trees growing that but way. But this could be the trees on up falling down to oh, you. Oh, right. She's being artistic now. Yeah. Like a wisteria, but not yeah. wisteria. Like a blossom. Anyway, it's gorgeous. This one you're going to be seeing Adele making in a minute. Again, lovely, stable fabric to work with as well, isn't it? Yeah. This would be good for, say, if you've never done viscose before, this is a nice weight fabric. We were like, oh, this is quite a crisp Viscose. Yes, not... yes, yes. It's, it's not like sometimes you put two pieces of viscose yeah, together and like it that. moves all over the place and the yeah. stitching line goes all over. This is lovely and stable to use that one. Okay. And then, now this is nice. What's this one called? <laughs> no mention of the pattern. Taupe digital printed viscose. 100% viscose. Now. Do you think this has got a direction? Yes. Let's have a look. Yeah, I can see, because look, the flowers, petal, they're more leaves, aren't they? The leaves oh, of course, are you haven't up. gone upstairs, camera, sorry. There you go, there you go. It's lovely, isn't it? That, so that's called a directional fabric, handsome Adam. He's new, he's not done us before, you see. Oh, is he not? Of, yeah, so he's learning. He keeps saying he'd make an apron out of everything, but apart from that. <laughs> uh, 26 99 I actually made an apron the other week. So the what, what? I made an apron the other week. Oh, did you? Always need a good apron. I love this. 
I love this fabric. This is cotton lawn, this one, isn't it? She's busy chatting now. It's cotton lawn, isn't it, this one? Oh, you can't hear her. I don't know what she's <laughs> saying to me. Oh, she's having beef ragu now. She's had a tinned mandarins and now she's on to beef ragu. She's having a lunch already. I love <laughs> this fabric. It's Marley Care Lawn Fabric. Oh, isn't that beautiful? £37.99. I just love the colour. I love it. The fact it looks like a hand painted fabric. And it, oh, sorry, hold it up again. That would be something I can imagine one of your shirts being in. S say that again. One of your shirts being in that. Oh, fabric. yeah, that'd be gorgeous. Yeah. Right? Hannah said what? Oh, okay. Joan says, would it be possible to extend the length of the pattern if you want to hide the tummy? So. There oh, isn't any. No, no, you go, you go. Yeah, go. there isn't any um, extension lines here, unfortunately. Right. And the only thing I would say is there are some pleats along this front here. Oh, so right. So you'd have to be very careful. Um, Where I you'd extend it, yes. Yeah, because normally. Let me look at the pattern. When you extend things, you don't extend you don't them. Don't mind me coming in. No, no, no. Come on, come on. Right. So when you extend patterns, you don't ever extend along the bottom no, exactly. because there is a particular line to the block. Whereas here, I wouldn't know where you'd extend, unfortunately. You could do the back because the back could be cut here. So you cut and slash, basically. Yeah, but then you so could then they have to work out how to do the front. I so, don't. No, because that becomes your no. front there. No, 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 because you'll lose that shape of that. Oh, that's... Fa I, well, I'll have to have a think about that one, because you obviously can extend patterns, but yeah. you'll have to work out where... No, you like actually slip... Oh, that's... Because mm. this is your bottom hem here. Yes, yes, Despite yes, Despite yeah. it looking on the side, that is your bottom hem. And then so, these... Sorry, pleats. can you see that from upstairs? I'll just show you that from upstairs. Right. Oh, hang on. It's just working, it's just going. <laughs> There you go. So this is your bottom hem along here. So if you were going to extend it anywhere, you'd have to extend it up there to drop that big down because you don't want to mess with the dart. No, and these are the pleats. And they're the pleats which you wouldn't mess with. So I, I would suggest the only way you could extend that is by drawing a line across there. Yep. And moving it that way down. Yeah. And then you've kept your pleats, you've kept yeah. this hem. Yeah, you've still got the same shape here. Yeah, so you've yeah. just extended Between And you'd have to redraw the... that line in. That's yeah. just a straight line straight to be all right. So, yeah. And then do the back the same the back. amount. But the back will be easy to do. All yeah. you've got to do is just be mindful of that dart. That uh, dart will have to come down yes, as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. So it can be, Joan, it can be. Right, I'm going to fold fabrics, you make a top. Right. So, it is deemed as a confident beginner pattern right so i think it's called a confident beginner pattern because of the pleats and the unusual way that we put in the facing yes that's all that's different it's not got any fastenings or like zips or buttons or anything like that to put in so if you've made maybe a shift dress before or maybe a, a simple blouse before this will be a perfect project to have Lovely. a go at so there is only one version with this and the sleeves are grown in. So let me show you the pattern piece, just as you had it there. Yeah. There's no sleeves to set in. The sleeves come out like this. They do finish sort of halfway down your arm. If you do want them to go down to your wrist, you will be able to extend yeah. them. That'll be no problem whatsoever. Like we said before, just cut. I would cut halfway and then move down because you don't want it to be too narrow at the end. Lovely. Okay. I've got a couple of questions yeah. for you. Uh, can you make a no? Do you know of a knee length 90 and can you demonstrate it, please? Says Anne. A knee length 90? Well, any oversized shirt could become a knee length 90. Yeah. And it's just all about the fabric that you choose. Exactly. So for a 90, you want something like this or maybe cotton lawn. Yeah. They all be oh, breathable. Oh, no, breathable. This goes yeah. to cotton lawn. Right, lots of people asking about the dress you're wearing. Did oh. you make it? Where's the fabric from? Where's the pattern? Yeah, so this was the same pattern. If you watched my uh, last show when I was last on exactly the same pattern but I've made some slight changes right so we don't have a collar on this one I've took the collar out right it had like a mandarin collar and it is slightly shorter so it's my going out version oh okay <laughs> perfect and what, it was just what online. Make was it? is it's, it's from here the pattern no no oh is it not, not no oh 
Shut up then. <laughs> no, tell us what, what's the pattern. So it's Deer and Doe, a French pattern company. So it's Deer and Doe, a French pattern company. It's the Myosotis dress. I got lots of um, comments last time actually asking. And it's got a ruffle sleeve and there is a ruffle on the bottom as well. Can't get my leg right. No, up, that don't get any isn't. higher. And she's got <laughs> and she's got like Chelsea boots, uh, bother boots on the bottom as well. As Lovely. well. My daughter actually dresses me. She's like my personal dresser when I come on the oh. show. She went to my wardrobe. She's like, right, what have you worn before? Yeah. What are you demonstrating? And then she's getting all these ideas out and then put them out. And then she was like, right, let's talk about accessories. Oh. But I don't accessorise. I haven't got anything. Brilliant. So, right, thank okay. you. We haven't got it, so let's get on with that. Right, sorry. No, 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 don't apologise. <laughs> So it's a really good pattern for a beginner. And another thing that's so good about it is only three pattern pieces. A front, a back, and your facing. So that's just the back facing. Right. So it is brilliant. To, it's not confusing. There's only three pattern pieces. But like we said before, yes, you've got two and a half meters, which you do need for the larger sizes. And it's because we've got, haven't got any sleeves. So when you put them on your fabric, they do take up almost the whole width. Yeah, of so the that's fabric. why you have to get so much. Because yeah. I thought it was a bit much. Yeah, to, when for you that, said to me, like, oh, yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah, because there's no sleeves to set yeah. in, which normally you'd be able to fit like Tetris style yeah. like that. Now, there is some shaping on this pattern, which is bus. Uh, Bus starts and then darts at the back. So right. if we just, there you oh. go, Mar Marcy. So cute. Um, if we just move her around. So there is some shape in here. Oh, which okay, I so think it's not voluminous really in the back. No, and yeah. I quite like that. Yeah. Um, most blouses, they don't have shaping in the back. And then if it is a wrap, the wrap kind of pulls it in. But what's really nice is there's some shaping just here. Yeah. And then there are two bus starts. Just realised my tension's gone off there, hasn't it, John? Mm, so I like to say. Did you notice that earlier? Yeah. Why didn't you tell me? You were too busy chatting. Oh, I could have gone and sorted it. My tension's gone No one would have off. noticed. If, if you hadn't said anything, no one would notice. Oh, I know. Critical of you. Well, that's the problem. You get really critical of your own makes, don't you? Yeah. So, there are two bus starts. Now, if you are full of bust, do be mindful. You might want to um, a, a, adjust that starts to a full bust adjustment because you do want the crossover to go between the bust you don't want because you're full of bust to pull it open no. and then be like that yeah. and this is very apt isn't it a wrap top when on the sewing bee it was wrap dresses i haven't watched it yet oh, have you not it no. was wrap dresses okay wrap dress there's another teacher on there as well and what there's a teacher on there oh i see what you mean it's yeah, one, one, one of the contestants, the contestants the school the, teacher, the, the school oh. teacher. Oh. so i'm um, i'm um, for her. Okay. Right, let's get started then. So I have already made up one side of um, my piece and I've also put the bus starts in just so that I can concentrate on everything else within okay. the time frame. So here we've got our bus, uh, our back darts and you press them going to the outside. Don't press them on the inside. Uh -huh. And like I always say, press, press, press as you go. Don't skip pressing when you're doing uh, dressmaking. Keep with pressing. Okay, I just need to tell you, more people have got the pattern in their baskets than we've got available. It's the weekend, so we won't be able to order any more. You know, sometimes we go, oh, we'll just ring upstairs. There's nobody in upstairs, so I can't let you know if we can get any more today. But there's more people got it in their baskets. So if you definitely want it, you need to check out. There's 20, at the moment, there's 20 people gonna miss out. What you say, Can? Oh, yeah, 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 they're still there. People can come in and buy them. So, but technically there are more people got it in their baskets than we've got stock of. So we'll leave the graphics there because remember, if you put it in your basket and then someone rings the call centre and says, I want that, they'll take yours. You know what I mean? So they could take yours. Right, sorry, Adele. It's okay, don't worry. So I've already made up one side that you can see the process that I've already done. So like I said before, there's only facing on the back. There's no facing on the front because that's folded over. And you're, it tells you also in these instructions how to finish seams. So they are brilliant for a new dressmaker. Uh -huh. And then we've got our bus start already done. And we've got this beautiful pleat in here. Right. Which oh, is yes. so nice. I'm just going to show it on the mannequin. Let's undo you. 
but it gives a really nice fold yes, to go it, across well, it, it stops the lower that being bust. a solid line, doesn't it? Yeah. It hides a multitude of sins. Yeah. And it is, it's really nice. When I put it this on, actually, I went to my husband who was working and he went, wow, isn't that so elegant? Oh, wow. He was also, really Also, you don't have to tie it at the front if you don't want no, to. You, you can, can tie it at the back as well. We just tied it at the front because I quite like a little tie at the front. That's just my, my opinion. Uh, Jean says, loving your demo. Uh, wrap tops are my favourite. Yes. And um, Susan will have to do a full bust adjustment another day because it will take up a whole hour to explain how to do a full bust adjustment. Um, uh, Mark said, could you add a ruffle to make it longer? Oh, now one thing I would say, if you want to add a ruffle, that would need to be added before you put the tie on. Right. So that the tie is encased. Let me show you what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah. So the tie becomes part of the top. Oh, I see. But you'd only take the ruffle to where that seam is. So you wouldn't yeah. take it any longer, no, would you? No, no. So you've just got to be careful to make sure that this isn't added on afterwards and it doesn't disrupt your yes, ruffle. Yeah, but I yeah. quite like that, like a little plep. Well, she said a peplum, like you've done on your skirt yeah. or on your sleeve. Maybe you could do that on the top as well. Yeah, yeah. That's a really nice idea. And that is the beauty of dressmaking. You can change it however you want. You yeah, can exactly. hack it and it will look fabulous. So let me show you the pattern piece already cut out. It does look very unusual, the yes. shape does. Okay, so there's a few things. I've got a bust start here. So I've got a bit of extra fabric there, which once the bust start's done, it will be lost. And then we have our pleats down here. Okay, that eventually will fold over and it will all be straight in line. Okay. Then we've also got this part here where it goes up and it comes down here because this is the first part we're going to do. We fold it in and that becomes our facing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm go when you start dressmaking projects, always have your iron up, an ironing board up ready. Don't think, oh, I'll just do all of it and then at the end I'll press no, the seams. No, always iron as you go. Have yeah. you got a pin in that? Yeah, that's just showing me where my uh, oh, start is. Oh, I'm doing the is, right. So I'm just going to press this first uh -huh. and then I will put my dart in. As you see, the graphics are now the Pink Blossom Digital Printed Viscose for 26 99 the one that, look how easy, look how brilliantly that press. Yeah. And I've hardly put any yeah, pressure on yeah, that yeah, at yeah. all. And that's what I mean. This is a really nice fabric that if you've never worked with a more delicate um, fabric, it presses well, it moves nicely through the machine. Like you say, it didn't move when I was cutting it yeah. and it presses. And would you overlock the edges? Yes. Yeah. I would overlock the edges. That's how I prefer to finish my garments. Um, some people might use pinking shears or zigzag if you yeah, don't have an overlock. Of course. Or over edge stitching like on the Elner sew machines. Right, uh, how many has Ed gone, Han? A third of the stock of this bundle's gone already. So, I've got my notches. And as we've discovered on previous um, shows, I notch in. Some people notch out. out. Some people mark with uh, chalk. Some people put tailor tacks. Yep. Whatever works for you, find what works for you. Just because someone else does it a different way doesn't mean your right way is wrong. No, exactly. Anne says, would you wash the fabric before you use it? Absolutely. The one thing I always do, as soon as I get some fabric, it goes straight in the washing yep. machine. Finish the edges off first before you put it yeah, in the Yeah, if you've machine. got something like this, and then I would wash it exactly the same way I would normally wash everything. Yeah. So if I wash on 30, I'll wash on 30. If I normally wash on 40, I'll wash on 40. Because you want it to shrink, you want it to, to have that first wash that when you wash it in the future, it won't change. Yeah, and not all fabrics will shrink, but they get, all manufacturers will say, that there is, there could be shrinkage, so it's always worth, especially the cotton. Yeah. The cotton lawn definitely, definitely wash. Uh, the viscoses might not, not, might not change shape at all, but just test it, just test it out. Yeah, and that's what I mean. Even before it goes up to my sewing room, even if I don't have a project in mind, yeah, it's I wash it because <coughs> then, it's good practice. But also, yeah. if you think about that fabric, say it was made, I don't know, abroad. It's been printed abroad, so it's been in a warehouse abroad. Then it's been shipped, yep. then it's been in a warehouse here, then it's been in a shop, then it's come to your house. Just out of health and hygiene wise, I think I'd wash it anyway. Yeah. Oh, I don't know why that's just not done that. Sorry. What's the matter? My sewing machine didn't sew. Oh. I'll try again. I'll try again. Let's go again. The crepe bundles. 
Are the crepe bundles suitable for clots? Yes, because we've got the blue crepe in the clot tower and it's the same. And how much fabric do I need for the clots? Two and a half meters, perfect. Yeah, same amount. I, I would say I wouldn't make the clots out of the white. I don't think. Oh, the white sold out. Ooh. Oh, the red sold out. The red sold out. There's na uh, could you pass me the navy from the next from uh, Annette's ne Annette? Adele's next <laughs> hour? Thank you. I've got a cousin called Annette. Yeah, that's who I was channeling. <laughs> this is the same, isn't it? This yes. is the navy. This, now this isn't from this hour. This is in Adele's next hour. But we'll put the graphic, put the graphics in. They look fourteen ninety-five. Now they will look lighter weight than the one Adele's made. The, the culottes that Adele's made. They will be more floaty because that's a heavier fabric, isn't it, than this? Yes, it will be more floaty, but that is the beauty of culottes yep. because um, they look like a skirt, but you've got the sort of the practicality of trousers. I love trousers. the way you kick your leg when you do that. Or if you want to make a navy blue wrap blouse, you can yes. do that as well because it's the right amount of fabric for the... So if you want this blouse in navy blue, which would be gorgeous as well, yep. 14 95 I know. Right. Okay, so I've put my bust start in at the front. Yeah. And what I'm going to do now is join my shoulder seams. Okay. Okay. So I've got right sides to right sides. Now this part is further along than it normally would. Okay. So just excuse the fact that I've got the tie on this because I wanted to have this part ready. Oh, honestly. What? <laughs> It's about being prepared. Yeah, exactly. So we're just joining the so shoulder seams. Now, right. one thing I want you to be mindful of is there will be, look, what, what? there is a gap here. Right. Okay, let me put it down. Yeah. There is a gap there. It doesn't fully go across because your uh, facing is going to fit in there. Okay. Navy bundle's about to sell out. It's not even meant to be until the 11 o'clock hour. Navy bundle about to go. The red one has sold out already. So we're just going to put the shoulder seams on, right sides to right sides. Right. Now with this fabric, it was easy to find out which size, right sides to right sides. But if you're working with something like the white fabric or the red fabric, where it's not obvious which side is right side or right yeah. side, mark it in some way. So either a chalk mark or a pin or a piece of paper, like a post-it note or a bit of washi tape. Yeah. Something because they all, the, this is the thing, when you're dressmaking, all the pattern pieces can easily get jumbled up. Yeah, of course. So yeah. label them so that you don't have that and then you don't have to have a panic and find your seam record. Uh -huh. So we're just going across. Uh -huh. And then we're going to sh uh, sew these seams across. Right, just yeah. double checking. Always have your instructions, instructions with you. And also, it's a very long shoulder seam as well, isn't it? Because you're going right the way down the sleeve. It is. So, another thing as well. If you've never sewn with viscose, yeah. pins are your friends. So, don't... Because it won't sort of stick together like cotton would. Yes. So, you do need to pin along. I also always use a polyester thread as well. Yes, because polyester thread also still has that stretch as yeah, well, doesn't exactly. it? So we're just going down. Uh, Julie Vaughan loves Adele and all her demos. Right. Remember I said earlier, can I get these fabrics by the half metre? The only one I've got by the half metre is the navy crepe. And there's not that much of this either. So this is it by the half metre. So has the bundle sold out? Bundle sold out, but you can still get it by the half metre. You see, it's not a mistake. Two ninety nine and a half meter. Oh wow! I know. There you go. So that is the. It's wide as well. Look, look how wide it, was it? Fifty five wide. Yeah. Fifty five inches wide. Two ninety nine. Right. That's the only way to get the crepe now. But same price. So again, no navy crepe. I said the only way to get the navy crepe is by the half meter. Um, but it's the same price. So the five meters will still uh, the, the five units will still be the same price as the bundle. So you're not having thinking, oh, I've got to spend more on it. I've yeah. still got the ivory crepe available, but the only way you can get the navy crepe is now by the half meter. Right. Yeah, yeah. The ivory is the one on the website, and I actually have to say, even though it's been called ivory, it's white. Yeah. It's definitely white. 
It's like okay. the whole thing of uh, wedding dresses, isn't it? Is it yes. white? Is it ivory? Don't they all look white? I'd say that's optical white, personally. I yeah. don't think it's ivory at all. I would say it's white. Yeah. It doesn't have that cream tinge to no, it at all, at all, does it? No. Right, I've done the shoulder seams, and now I'm going to do the underarm sleeves. Right. Okay. Now, there is a bit of a turn in this. So, if you're a new beginner sewist, right. if when you come to this curve here, just slow down your machine. Oh, but it so goes the same. You've got two opposing curves. It's no, both no, the same. no. Yeah. But it can be quite tight when you're putting it through the machine. Oh, okay. I see what you mean, yeah. If like, especially if it's the first time that you've done yeah, anything yeah, with course, curves. Yeah, of course, yeah. So I'm just going to pin... And if you're in any doubt, Mark, draw, draw the draw line on. on. Draw the line on that you've got yeah, to sew. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And then it will tell you when to finish these seams. I would say finish your seams as you go. Yep. Okay. And if you've got an overlocker, and I've got a gorgeous air threader overlocker coming up at 12 o'clock. Oh, and won't that help so much, air threaders? Have you got an overlocker at home? Yeah, I've got an overlocker at home. It's not an air threader, though. When's your birthday? September. Oh. And also, I've had, um, I've had to pack everything away, John. Why? Because I've got ex we're having building work done. Oh yeah. So my sewing room is gone. So I keep my stuff out for sewing streets, but I haven't been doing much personal sewing. Oh okay. Because all my fabrics had to go in the storage unit. What kind? Of, what, what, why have they knocked the wall down in your? It will be. It's very. It's been the next week or so. The wall will be gone. And what are you building? Um, just an extra extension on that's already like above. A pre-existing extension. Oh, so you've got the room downstairs and you're now building another room upstairs. Yeah, so everything's been packed away. Is it going to be your new sewing room? So my daughter's old bedroom will become my new sewing room. And her, the new room will be her new yeah. bedroom. Yeah, yeah. I went to Delphine's this week to have a look at her <gasps> shed that she's having. But stopped. Why? It's just a frame. Because I'd like with loads of things, loads of builds. It's not the builder's fault. The windows haven't arrived. Oh! And so the builder said, well, there's no point in us coming. So it's all there. It's all the structures there, all the, the, the and the yeah. wiring's all there and everything. But they can't do anything, can't put the roof on because it's got windows in the roof and everything. So oh. it's way for the windows. Oh. I was very disappointed. Oh, I bet that's going to be gorgeous. Oh, it will be. It will be. Her own dedicated space. So they have loads of space. And, and also they've worked out where the windows are going to be so she gets the most natural light on the oh, desk and everything lovely. like that. lovely. Uh, Derek, no, we don't have the crepe in black, I'm afraid. Although I would say I like navy. Sold, over sold black. out, shut oh, up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually like navy more than black. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Oh, and there's only eight patterns not, si not uh, checked out. Not signed out. <laughs> not checked out. But how many people got it in their basket? How many? Okay, 21 people got in the baskets. I've put these on the wrong side. Let me just quickly move those over. But it is a lovely pattern. Oh, Jenny Jackson says good morning to everybody. Good morning, Jenny Jackson. Hello. Uh, Hannah was always upset because she's never in when Jenny... Oh, Jenny, she's in on Monday. No, no, not, not, not this Monday. Monday the 9th she's in. Kind of stuck for words now. We almost need a get together with everybody. The what? We need a get together with everybody because. Why? Oh, you sound like you don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> I'm only messing. But I hardly ever see any of the other designers. No, of course you don't. No, well, it's like I don't see any of the presenters either. Yeah. If I'm in, then you know what I mean. Right. We need something to get married, Adam. It's gonna be quiet. <laughs> oh, right. Okay, so we've got the main body of the structure done. Right. Okay. Yeah. And as you can see, look, our facing is going to fit in this part here. Right. Okay. So I've got the facing here. Do you need to put interfacing in the facing? Yeah, put the interfacing in the facing. I haven't done it for this one. And what interfacing would you use? Just the lightweight. The lightweight interfacing. Yes. It's available on the website. Yeah, the lightweight interfacing. Now, what's going to happen is when you go through here, 
okay you're going to then match up where that gap was right so that's then <coughs> when you put it the other way around you then are going to be able to attach that to the front facing and then you've got a full facing done okay fantastic so this is a way if you don't know what facing is it finishes off seams yeah so that um especially when wash and wear wash and wear it keeps them all nicely enclosed and exactly. also it gives that professional finish rather than just having the edge folded over and sewn along it does finish off a garment yes, it does exactly. make it look so much better right um now uh, lisa lamb also says good morning you need to watch jenny jackson's uh, instagram and facebook page because um we had some sad news this week that a friend of ours isn't very well and she's got to fund uh, her medication from another country. So we're going to have a GoFundMe page to pay for her, to help pay for her medication. And um, Jenny Jackson is designing a pattern, and everything from that pattern will go to raise money for, for our friend Hannah. Oh. Um, and she says, you'll have to speak to her boyfriend about getting married. Oh, we're not coming all the way to Brighton. We want it here. <laughs> yeah. And have you seen Lisa Lamb's new house? Everyone's gorgeous, isn't it? Is it? Mm. Very nice. Also down there. Also down that area. They all live down there. Oh, do they? Yeah. That's a long way for them to come each time then. I know. They set off at them like half past two in the morning. Oh, you complain gosh. about getting up at your time. I feel bad now. Why? That I've complained. And all I have to get up is a little uh, half an hour earlier than normal. Yeah, exactly. Stop moaning. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everyone. Uh, Lisa Lamb says, Adele, I love your dress. Did you say it was a myosotis dress? The myosotis. Yes. Yeah. Is it easy to make? Um, so I would say it's um, an intermediate pattern. Oh, Lisa Lamb can sew, it's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah she yeah. would be brilliant at it then. It'll be full length on her, though. Well, you, you could have that without the ruffle. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, and then I've done it where it's here with an extra ruffle on. Yeah. So you can make it maxi. But I love it because it's just like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're so ladylike, aren't you? <laughs> oh. Right. Oh, so. interfacing. That's in, is that the uh, super light white interfacing there? Two ninety nine. Okay. So I put the facing on now. We've gone up, round, and back down. Yeah. And then when we fold it over, all of those seams are encased, and you've got a beautiful back edge. Did we do any understitching or anything? No, it doesn't tell you to okay. do understitching on this. I'm just gonna press it, right. but I actually did a bit of top stitching. Oh, did you? I'll show you in a minute. Let me, me just do. quickly just press this. I did a bit of top stitching to hold this down and also to finish off the front facing. Uh-huh. Because it talked about slip stitch, hand slip stitch at the ends. Oh. And I was like, oh, I'm not oh, sure no. if I want that on no. a bit of crepe. So what I actually have done is I started at the bottom, went all the way up. Oh, you top stitch all the way around? All the way across. I think that's and better because it's a top that you're going to be throwing in and out the washing machine. And I think a little bit of hand sewing, especially because it hasn't got anything. It's not like it's no, got it's a thick not like fabric. On the bottom, yeah. But, but also, it hasn't, your hand stitching hasn't got much to catch on to. No. So the likelihood is it will open in the washing machine. Whereas yeah. if you've machined it, then it's fine. Yeah. And it doesn't make, it doesn't detract from the design no whatsoever. not at all and just get some matching threads and all i've done is two centimeters in just all the way along yeah. and then up across the back and then all the way along there but you do that at the end yeah, don't yeah. do that don't do it now don't do, do not it now. do it now because we're now going to get onto the pleats okay brilliant okay so the pleats now they do look a bit confusing so let me get the pattern piece there's one pattern not checked out. There's only one pattern not checked out. The blue crepe sold, the red crepe sold, and single figures on the bundle that we're using at the moment. So please be careful. That's what the graphic's in at the moment. Sorry, Adele. It's don't okay. No problem at all. Okay, so pleats. Now, pleats look like they've been put on like darts, but you can see they don't go to a, a point. Yeah. Okay, so these pleats, if you're a new beginner, I would say just mark these with some chalk yeah. on, because as well, can you see these ones are straight, but these ones are slightly diagonal. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. so it's not just simple pleat, pleat, yeah, pleat. Yeah. Pleat, pleat, pleat. Pleat, pleat, pleat. But there is a difference between yeah. them. Now, 
Now, it does show you the direction in which you're going to fold them in. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, annoyingly, I did the other side first. I should have kept this side so that I followed Can you show us on the paper which bit goes yeah. to which? So, this bit here will fold over. Oh, gosh. And that line will meet that line. So it's just the two lines meeting. Yep, like this. But remember, this. the one on the outside is angled. It's not a straight line. Yeah. Yep. Now, one other way to remember this is the, the edges will all line up flat. Yeah, of course, okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to get nice flat edges. And as you can see, as I folded that, this now doesn't want to sit flat because we're creating a 3D structure yes, yes, by exactly. doing that. And then... Ooh, We're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then there is your second one. Yeah, and that shows okay. you that the bottom is now all flush, so you know you've done it right. All flush, yeah. and this part here is your facing. So that doesn't, even though it's a, a triangle that you think, oh, that's part of a pleat. No, that is part of your facing. Facing, yeah. Okay, Brilliant. so let's get on with that, but I'm going to be folding it in the opposite direction. Of course, yeah. um, Because, there we go. Now, this is where I would say iron to get that in. And also, what's lovely is this fabric presses really nicely. Yeah. That you might not need to put pins in as well. Oh, OK. Because look how nice that oh, is just right. pressed. And that's just on your little iron. You know what I mean? It's not, yeah. no pressure or anything. No, there, no. I'm going to fold that one over there and then fold them both together. So I've gone up to that fold. So that facing is now sticking out there we go yep and this fabric if you're considering this is the same make as the leafy fabric that i showed you not the not the cotton lawn but this this fabric here will behave exactly the same way yeah um so all i'm going to do now is put a bit of tacking stitching in here so okay. the stitch that needs to go in here needs to be it within the one and a half centimetre seam allowance. Okay, so let me show you that. That's the same fabric there. That's what's in the graphics now. Right, okay, sorry, show us that bit then. So where we've got that fold yep. for our facing, we're going to sew along here up to there. Okay. okay. Don't sew anything on here. This is just being kept open. That will eventually fold over. Yeah, now you can sew it on the machine. Yes. So if you want to, you could put a pin in there. Yeah. But I'm just going to hold it with it being pressed nicely. Yeah. You see, I'd hand tack that in. Would you? Yeah. Only because I know that as soon as I go under the machine, they'd move. Oh. See, just me I'm and my training. That's what, what? I'm still learning as well. Yeah. You don't have to. If you're competent like you are on the sewing machine, then do it. But if you're new to it, I'd tack it just so it doesn't move. Yeah. OK, so there's our pleats. Now, you don't want to press your pleats all the way up your bodice no okay because those pleats just need to be there then they create this lovely full hang on a sec we need to see that oh sorry that's no, right no so your pleats are here yeah. and you want them to be pressed yeah 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 because you don't want bulk by your side but don't press any of these yes. pleats because we want this fullness here yes. to create that drape that it has lovely okay now we're going to do the tie all right, yeah. because the tie needs to go on next. So you get this pattern piece, which has two. We're going to fold it in half, right sides to right sides. And then what we're going to do is sew along one edge, sew along the long edge. Is it just a straight piece? There's no shaping to it? No, no shaping to it. But please remember, it does say on here, cut one pair. Oh, so you need two of them? Yeah. So cut this whilst your fabric's folded. Yeah. Don't cut that not on the folds. Otherwise, you're only going to end up with one. And it's a, a centimetre and a uh, half seam allowance again. Uh -huh. And then we're going to cut that seam allowance down. Right. So, so, uh, so it only adds on. It's, it's not... Because some, some wrap tops, the, the belt goes all the way around the bottom of the blouse. But this doesn't. Yeah. It only adds on where the pleats only are. Only adds on to the pleats. And if you want to make them a little bit longer so that you can get a really nice big bow, you can. Yeah. You can shorten them as well if you want to just tie it at the back and you don't want much of a tie. Yeah, yeah, but if you're using a fine fabric, you can make them wider and then it, it will scrunch up, giving you yeah. more pleats and then a lovely pussy bow at the same time. Yes. That'd be really nice. Um, 
Because I, I, I think on the pattern, it does show them at the front, the bow. Right. And I did it at the front, just purely because I like bows at yeah, the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. But not well, everyone likes that. They make it long that. enough to do that, don't they? Yeah. Not everyone likes that bow being at the front. I think it's because it looks like one of those little um, ballet tops, isn't it? And they, they, you oh, know, like the little rat ballet what, tops. Yeah. That's what it's reminded me of. Yeah, when I'm you totally did ballet right. at the Royal Ballet School when you were young. Oh, I wasn't that good, John. <laughs> <gasps> I did Irish dancing, though. Oh, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a little green and gold outfit? No, I had... My first dress was black and uh, the underside was purple. Oh. So when you do your high kicks, yeah. it flashes. And then, because obviously in the 90s, white dresses became very popular. Oh, did they? So I had a white dress and then the underside was red. And the embroidery on these dresses is just oh, mind-blowing. Oh, yes, yeah. And did you have the clumpy shoes and everything? Yep. Yeah, my hard <coughs> shoes, my soft shoes. And then you have your, like, your poodle socks as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because in the middle of river dance, they do like soft shoes first and they yeah. run off. She runs off and she comes back on with her with comfy hard shoes, shoes on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my cousin's uh, an Irish dancing teacher, oh, so wow. I used to go to along to with that. her. I bet it's exhausting, though. Oh, Does yeah. It? I didn't. I only did it until I was sort of 10. Yeah. Um, but I loved it. I did try and go back, actually, as an adult. Um, but it's hard to find an Irish dancing class around me. There's one in Tamworth. Um, oh, you don't live this side, well, do you? Well, that's what I was going to Nuneaton. Right. Um, for that dance school. Um, and then I had a foot operation. Oh. I had a bunion removed. Oh, oh, they're very painful. Oh, John, it was awful. Just was the one? Awful. You only got one? Just the one. Just the one. And it was one of those things, do I do it now or do I do it in the future? I did it while I was younger. Yeah. And, oh, my foot hasn't ever gone back properly. Oh, don't put anybody off, though. No, 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 no. It's much better than what it was. Yeah. But... Obviously, they break your foot yeah. to reset it. All right, that, that's lovely. For a Sunday morning, if you're just having your breakfast. <laughs> We've had broken bones in all sorts in our house. Oh. Look how easily that, that that's turning oh, through yeah. as well. Yeah. I don't even need the loop turner, no. do I? And then... Got a question about sewing. Anna said, <laughs> not dancing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, please, can anyone tell me why you sew one and a half centimetre seam allowance then trim it down? OK, so the whole uh, pattern has a, a centimetre and a seam allowance, a centimetre and a half seam allowance already added. Right. Now, different patterns companies have different amounts. OK, so sew over it. All of their patterns are a centimetre and a half. And obviously, just for the ease of their drafting, they keep that on. Yeah. But you, you don't really want to keep that centimetre and a half because otherwise you'd have too much bulk. Exactly. But also, if you, put, if you were making that of a very slippy viscose and it suddenly said quarter of an inch seam allowance, then oh. more, it's more likely you'll slip off the edge. Whereas yeah. if you've got the inch and a half seam allowance there, it's, more, it's easier to sew and then you trim it down because you don't want the bulk in there. Yeah. Sarah Jane says, morning, John and Adele, and the whole team. Uh, Michelle is loving the show today. Oh, brilliant. Um, Jean says she would pin the pleats. That's what we're saying, though, Jean. It's viscose, but it doesn't move. No. Did you saw when Adele pressed it, then it didn't move at all. No. OK. Oh, that bundle, sorry, is about to sell out that you're using, so now you need to come and buy this one. That one looks very Irish. Does it? Like an Irish meadow. Well, like a shamrock? Yes. Back in the morning you're Irish team. dancing and you've got your emerald green dress on. <laughs> yeah, it's green and gold and ivory, this one. That is lovely. It's like a meadow scene, isn't it? And yeah. this one's like your, your blossom tree Yeah, you've got of blossom Japan. meadow and got full on painted. Oh. Uh, morning, got the blouse to make him pink like my old ballet top. <gasps> is Adele on Instagram? Oh, is she on Instagram? I was teaching you this morning, wasn't I, yeah. John? So what's it called, your Instagram? So I am button underscore and underscore pip. Button and pip. Yeah, we have to do that because she's a school teacher. And if you look for her own page, obviously she doesn't want the kids all on her sewing page, does she? So it's a different page. So when I tag her on my Facebook, I always put Adele from button, button and, and pip. pip yeah. So, Button and Pip, and um, yeah, I do a lot of my things on Instagram, and then I've also got a YouTube channel as well. Oh, excuse me, and that's called? Button and Pip. Has it got the under, under bits? Uh, no, I think you can just put in Button, button and Pip, pip yeah. and then it will come up. And what about your TikTok? Uh, I haven't got any TikTok. We were talking about this earlier. I'm not that cool no. for a TikTok. Even Hannah's not got TikTok. No, well, no, she has. She was showing me some. 
Oh, hang on, hang on. They're not her TikTok. Oh, she's watching sorry. other. No, she's, so she's got one where she can watch other people. Yeah. But she hasn't made one. Yeah. Right. But next time I mean John, I'm definitely getting you doing a reel. We're definitely going to do a reel. Dance? No, it's one of the the Instagram. When you go like this, like, you go like this towards yes. the camera. And then when you put your hand away, you've got a different yes. outfit on. All right. Oh, imagine if that's like, ooh, look who I'm on with today. Yeah. And Sarah Davis does a lot of those. Oh. When she was on Strictly Come Dancing, she used to do a, go into her hair like that. And, come out, and the hair would all be done and everything. Well, then that's it, chum. Yeah. So right, what we're going to get to him. When are you next, then? Um, I haven't got my date yet. Oh, uh, do I? <laughs> Yeah, but don't do it late. Don't do it late because I'm going on holiday in the last week of June. Okay. Well, normally they've they've been putting me sort of four weeks apart, oh, okay. so it might be. Oh no, start beginning June. of June that'd be perfect. Yeah. All right. Then. Okay. Right. And then we'll do one. Yeah. Right. right. I've now got to attach my um, belt, belt or my tie to oh, the tie, front. Sorry, yeah, okay. Yeah. Now this is the odd thing because we're going to put it onto the front as it is, and you think, well, that's a bit of a mess there. Yeah, that's a bit but of a mess. But don't forget, this is going to be folded over, and that then folds oh, over like that. Oh, okay. okay. So you are reading the instructions correctly. We are putting it front size to front size, and we are going to sew along this Oh, so you're here. not slotting the pleated bit no. inside, just actually putting it on top yep, of. Yep, and then it folds oh, over, okay. and then it... The pleat folds with. Oh, okay. Well, okay. we'll watch you do it now. Okay. And also, I want to leave a seam just about a centimetre, just here, because that's going to become my hem. Right. Okay. okay. So, again, I am not going to fold uh, so on this the folded facing, piece, yeah. but I've got that open because I don't want to catch it underneath. Right. Yeah. You only okay. caught Yes, exactly. So, that's the reason why mm -hmm. it's open, even though I haven't actually done anything with that part. Lovely. Crazy so Rain far. says good morning. Morning, morning. And a bank holiday weekend. Yeah. Okay. So as I do that, fold that over, and then that's all encased beautifully like that. Oh. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to catch that into. So you fold that over, then... Oh, so it gets all folded into the facing. Yeah. Excellent. There. Okay, so let me show you again what I did there. Yeah. Is we've got all our pleats. Now we're looking from the underside. As I pull that out, it wants to flip in. So that's going to be flipped in. Then I'm just going to fold the bottom of my facing. And then... Oh, that's going to hold it, and it's going to be like this. Brilliant. Did you finish your edge, outer edge of your facing off with your overlocker? Uh, you should do, but yeah. I haven't finished No, 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 in real, in real life. In real life, you, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. tells you to do that very first. So then yeah. you haven't got to put this fiddly thing through here, through the overlocker. Brilliant. Yeah. Otherwise, that's going to be a right oh, pain yeah, to do, nightmare, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but as you can see, you've now got a lovely encased finished Excellent. edge Excellent, so all your raw edges are all tucked inside. Yeah. Okay, and then it's done. Oh. We're done. All we've got to do is the bottom hem. Hang on, what, what do you do at the end of the sleeves? Oh yes, we've got to hem the sleeves. Yeah. That's what I mean, just, <laughs> we've, we've just got a hem. That's all we've got. Okay, so there we've done. And from the outside, all you've got is a line of stitching there, which is actually very good to have that line of stitching because that is going to be a stress yeah, point. Yeah, well, that's where you're going to be pulling on it the whole yeah. time. So it? you yeah. have actually got three lines of stitching holding all this. Yeah. The first line, we put the pleats in. The second line, we put the tie on. The third line, we've created that. Brilliant. And then we just fold that under so that it hits the bottom here and then that will become my hem. It's only a very, very small hem all the way around. So now, when you top stitch along the hem or when you yes. throw the hem up, do you carry the top stitching along the belt or did you stop at the I seam? I stopped right. at the seam. If you wanted to, you could finish that off and then that could be really... I, I love top stitching. Yeah, yeah. Like I've top stitched this, go round and that would give it a really nice crisp finish. Okay, so I'm just going to do the other side again. Yeah, 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 yeah. What time? We, oh, yeah, we're just at the end, right? That's yeah. fine. Great demo. Speedy construction. Loved it, says Jean. Oh, thank you, thank Jean's you. Jean's got her own fabric shop. She does sewing lessons. Oh, where at? Oh, up in, up in Durham. Oh. Gold Stitch, it's called. Oh, well, maybe one day I might take a trip. Yeah, they do lovely cake. <gasps> oh, anywhere that does cake is a favour of mine. Yeah. 
So pattern I presume is all completely sold out. Red crepe has sold out. Blue crepe has sold out. The pink floral that Adele's using sold out. There we go. Ivory white one. There's a couple of these left. Well, you're right just saying that while I do this. Shall these, I quickly do this and then it'll be all done? Yeah, yeah, I'll just talk you through this. And we can put it on the mannequin. Well, you could, I'll take that one off then, shall we? Yes. Right, Ooh. so the white crepe or the ivory crepe. They've called it ivory, but it's definitely a white. Definitely, definitely, definitely a white. I'll just throw that over there. Oops. There we go. This is the white. Sorry. Cat, just throwing it on the floor. At 1495, two and a half metres. It's not very interesting looking it's, it's pure white, but it's a lovely crepe. And look at the price for two and a half metres, $14.95. Right. Then. Oh, the waft. Oh, I had some Adam's like in the waft thing. There you go, look. Yeah, look, there you go. This is the next one. This is lovely. This is one that Adele thinks is Irish. <laughs> meadow. It hasn't got a name. It's just called Taupe. Well, let's call it the Irish Meadow. All right, then. We've <laughs> called it the Irish Meadow. It won't say that on your invoice or anything no, no, like that. No, no, no. That's just... Us. 26, that's nine, nine, beautiful. And such a lovely weight as well. 100% viscose, so it's lovely and breathable. Lovely drape to it, look. And you do need two and a half. If you're making one the smaller sizes, you might have a little bit left over. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it we, you the, can go really nice big. Let's have a look. What's she doing now? Have a look at how much she needs. Oh, yeah. Oh, so the smaller size, you do need a metre and a half. Oh, actually, you have a metre left over on yeah. the smaller sizes. There you go. Beautiful. So that's that fabric. And then the last fabric, which is this beautiful cotton Marley lawn. Um, looks like it's been hand-painted, look. That's your favourite, isn't I it? I love this one. Look. How beautiful is that? I see. You see that? Would that reminds me of a Paul Smith shirt? That does. You mm. know what I mean? Gorgeous, isn't it? Thirty-seven ninety-nine. That is stunning. Now that'll be forty. Oh no! Oh no! Now cotton lawn's normally not as wide, but this is just as wide. Beautiful. Thirty-seven ninety-nine. I love that colour. It's very expensive. I bet Julie Vaughan's coming for that one. Just stunning, isn't it? Right, have you finished? Almost. Hurry up then. <gasps> you go home wearing that one. Oh no, you've got a dress on. Oh, you, <laughs> you go home wearing the culottes. I go home wearing just the top. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, out tight, so. no, that's Hannah on the beach, isn't it? She's <laughs> going to wear it over her bikini. A lovely camisole with the metre left over. Indeed, Jean, you can make a lovely camisole to Ooh, go with yeah. it, couldn't you? Here That'd you go. That'd be really nice. Here we go. I just haven't done that top stitch in that pressed. It's not pressed either. No. I'm, I'm, oh, but look. There we go. This fabric sold out. Now you can't buy this fabric, but look. Oh, it's all very well looks. when you tie that on a mannequin. When you do that on a real person, you end up burying your face in their bosoms. <laughs> Oh, that looks gorgeous. Isn't that lovely? We'll just make us day go look. Oh, I'll take it home. <laughs> well, you could. Take your size. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You're not finished it off, though. Adele's back in an hour's time. She's making culottes in an hour's time. Yep. Oh, what, what? Oh, the pattern for the culottes is about to sell out. It's the weekend, we can't get any more. So if you've got the culottes in your basket and the bundle of fabric that those are made of is nearly sold out. And the navy blue crepe, which was supposed to be in the hour, has sold out as well. There's, uh, there's some, no, no, there's more lovely fabrics. There's a green, there's a green uh, linen, there's a blue linen, and then there's a lovely pattern, green and pattern fabric. I'm sitting here holding these because these are Joe Carter's up in the next hour, right? Otto, which was last time Joe was in, there's literally a handful of Otto left now, aren't there? Single figures on Otto. That's not today's demo. That's just the people who missed out last time Joe was in. This is today. This is Marcy, the koala bear. If you're wondering why she's called Marcy, Marcy the marsupial. I've called her Kevin or Kelvin. It just, Joe's got this knack, hasn't she, of making them? They've got they've got a character, hasn't he? Look mm. at the character. 
looks like he's I got think life, behind like he's eyes. Do what? life behind his eyes. Life behind his eyes. But also, she, she's brilliant at noses. She gets the noses perfect every time. Anyway, this is on pre-order. Make sure that you uh, check it out. And we will, I'll be here with Joe uh, in about four minutes from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Hi, I'm Jo Carter and I'm a soft toy designer and I quilt as well. I've been sewing for as long as I can remember. My great-grandma, my nana, my mum all sewed and so it's something I grew up around. If I was to give some advice to a new sewer, somebody who wanted to try it, um, that would be to watch a few tutorials, but then to just give it a go. Um, and try not to focus on achieving the perfect end result. Instead, at first, well, always focus on enjoying the process and learning a new skill. So, so those perfect results will come in time, but developing a love for sewing, I think is a really great way to go. And a tip I've been given that I still use today is make sure you have plenty of seam rippers. It's frustrating enough if you have to remove some stitches, but then if you can't lay your hands on a seam ripper and you have to hunt around for one, that makes it doubly frustrating. Um, so yes, plenty of seam rippers would be my um, go-to tip. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. I need to warn you, these are flying out. These are absolutely flying. Look at him. The what, say? Brand new, brand new, 29.99. You've never seen this before. This is Marcy the Koala. Do you know what? She's so talented. She's here. I can talk about it. She's here, but she's so talented, Joe Carter. Every time, like this is Otto, right? 
That's Otto, who, and what, that was about a month ago, was it, you mean, with yes, Otto? About, about a month ago. They're about to sell out, but this, the demo's not that tight. Each one has its gorgeous um, uh, character. She had a Norman, my cat Norman, my old cat Norman, which is just stunning. And what's the one that I brought in with me this morning? Mortimer. Mortimer, the monkey, just beautiful. Anyway, this is Marcy, because it's a marsupial. <clears throat> now, normally, one of your children names them, doesn't he? He does, um, and... Marcy had a different name originally, right? Um, but there was already a character koala named that, that, so we name. thought it was we needed to. And change. is that the one that your son had chosen then? So he yes. subliminally seen the other one. Do you think was it on a Poss telly show? Possibly. Yeah. Anyway, twenty nine ninety nine. What do you get for twenty nine? If you've never seen a Joe Carter pattern before, you get so much. In fact, you get everything you need to make this plus. There's an added surprise. I'm hoping it's inside the box. It is. I've it touched is. it inside yeah, the box. Yeah, brilliant. Right, so yours will arrive later now. Oh, they come direct from Joe. So you buy it from us today, and Joe sends the hubby to the post office next week with boxes and like, hundreds. They sell by the hundreds, these, just to warn you, right? So this is what you get. This is your box. Beautifully, beautifully packaged. Okay, and inside the box, there's your instructions. Now, I'll take you through those in a minute, right? I'll show you that in a minute. Look at this, right? Now, it's all top, top quality, top notch. You've got the nose fabric. You've got the ear and belly fabric. And it's not just plain faux fur. Look at it, it's got a gorgeous, can you see the swirl in there? It's just stunning. And there's your grey main body. Now, you get way too many eyes. One, two, three, there's three sets of eyes now. You don't actually need one set of eyes, don't you? Everything you need is in there, but I need to show you this. You get every one of Joe's toys comes with its own personalised badge. Look, so that's included. Now, when it's delivered to your house, the badge will not be inside. Is it still, is this still the yes, thing? Yes, it'll be inside the envelope. It'll be in an envelope. It won't be in the box. So don't throw the envelope where you go, oh, I never got my badge. For some reason, you're not allowed to send it in the box, are you? So I just think it's safer to not combine a pin badge with what could be given, something that could be given yeah, to children. Yeah. So there you go. So that it will be in the envelope. So look for it in the envelope. But look at these, right? Look at these instructions. You, I mean, they, the, the amount of work that goes into these, right? So I'll just show you here. Right, here you go. There's the front, right? Look, every single thing that you might need to know, you've got your cutting guides, all about the pattern pieces. It takes you through every single stage, both uh, um, writing and photographs. You're not left left hanging anywhere. Do you know what I mean? Look at this. They are so th there's all your pattern pieces with your straight of grain. So oh, so your chin is slightly on the bias, is it then? On the on the yes. on the askew. Look, all your now photocopy these. Don't cut the pattern up. Don't ruin the, the pattern. Right, half the stock has gone already. And we've got hundreds of these. Half the stock has gone already. What's that there? Side, you see now, that's the side body. The shapes are incredible. How do you even, can you think, when you, you draw a picture of a koala bear, can you see the patterns in your head of what shape the patterns have got to be? Generally, I'm sort of used to what kind of shape they need to be, yes. But I, I draw it... So the toy, at the size I want it to end up, I draw it draw it out and then take the templates from that drawing. So I'll have a side view. But a drawing's only two, two D. Yes. So uh, do you know if you want to know the truth about this one? Yeah. The first one came out and it was terrible. It had no neck. Oh. <laughs> it, but my son loves it. So I'm quite, for me, it's not my best work at all, but no. he loves it, so I've had you to stuff it. You don't want him to it to school going, this is what my mum does know, for a living. <laughs> she makes necklace koalas. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if anybody does have an issue, where's the best place to contact you just to ask questions or anything like that? Um, message me through Facebook or Instagram or drop me an email. And what are you called on there? I'm at Joe, the number two owls. Joe two owls. Yes. Okay. And all, oh, well, I suppose it's all on here, isn't it, with the... And also, we, we also say, if you are making this a play toy for under three-year-old, maybe don't put the eyes in. Yes. Um, do some felt eyes or something like that. You know, you'll know your children, and you'll know what you're going to do with it. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, 29 99 over half the stock's gone already. 
And there's a small queue on the phone lines. This is why I did the Facebook Live, so you'd start putting on your pre-order at 7.45 this morning. Yeah, we know. We know it's going to... We always know with a Joe show, it's going to be really busy. A Joe show. Right, while you're checking out on that, I'm just going to tell you about Otto as well, right? So that's that one goes in there. And Joe's going to be making Marcy in a second, right? The same. Oh, there's only five Ottos left. There's only five Ottos left. Now, what date did we do it? Can you remember the date you're in? No, don't worry. Hand will tell us. I can't hear 25th of March, 25th of March when we did Otto. Again, you get the whole caboodle in the box. You don't get the food bowl, obviously. And, um, oh, there it is, there it is. Look, I couldn't see the badge. I'll hum until I find it. There's your badge, that's your Otto badge. And again, that will be in the envelope, not in the box. You can't buy the badge on its own, not from us. So there. Again, you get your lovely fur, and it's always, you always use like the best. Yes. The I mean, best quality of the fur, faux fur, obviously faux fur, isn't it? But it it's is. never ever just flat. I mean, look at Otto, look at this, look at the texture. And that, that, yeah, beautiful. And also, also, it's easy to sew, isn't it? I know a lot of people go, oh, faux fur, oh no. It does go, oh, it's about to sell out. It does go everywhere. We will warn you, your machine will be full of fluff, won't it, afterwards? But, yep. right, okay. It's unavoidable, just clean your machine out afterwards. Now, the only thing, apart from this, you need to buy is some toy stuffing, toy filling. <clears throat> and this one used to be a plastic bottle. At four ninety nine, you might have your own. You might have your own. Oh, now I'm not going to do it today because Joe's here. But we have got a price comparison for this elsewhere. And uh, no, you can get it if you want to, just to show you what good value we are here. Okay, we'll do it later. It used to be a plastic bottle, though, right? Now, uh, Otto, I'm going to put a. Oh, that you. That everything comes from Joe. Remember, if, this. Oh, right. If you buy this and this, or if you buy this and this, this comes from us. This comes from Joe. Just so you know, there'll be two deliveries. Still only one PMP of three ninety-five. Right. So where do we start? What do we do? How do we do it? Arms and ears first. Arms and ears first. Then I'm having trouble with him sitting up. He's got a very round bottom. This one. There yeah. you go. There you go. Right. Off you go then. Oh, is that it? Am That's I? That's you. You're on. Okay. Um, when you're saying about the fabric, there are a couple of things I have to have with faux fur fabric and it has to have a nice woven back that's not fluffy that you can draw mark out on yeah um and a bit of stretch but not too much because right. otherwise you fight with it a okay bit too much. is that then what needle do you use you can use um a, a ballpoint needle is really good for sewing with this but also you can use a regular needle but if you haven't got a ballpoint don't go out and buy one specially yeah no but if you've got a pack in yeah use they're it. good for this yeah um, and I tend to use, it depends how many layers you're going through, but a 14 really is about the, is that a 90? Yeah, 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 14, 90. And also I notice you've not got um, a walking foot on your sewing machine. No, only because I find a walking foot a bit cumbersome. I can't get around the machine oh, okay. quite so easily, but you can use a walking foot if that's what you if prefer. You're, you're, but, but you don't need it, because lots of people who've got the 550, 560, 570 won't have a walking foot with theirs necessarily. So it's not like, oh, I can't do this, I need a walking foot. You don't need a walking foot to do No, it. I, yeah. I rarely if ever put a walking foot on and this you could do this first step now with the ears and the arms you could use it with the walking foot but I've got this technique it takes maybe an extra minute two minutes time right to base the pieces together so that they don't slip when you're sewing them but it's worth doing brilliant all right okay so I'll go for the ear first um in the pattern there's a cutting list just to make it easy to get them all out of um the pieces of fabric because for the ears and the arms these are non-standard templates and it says that in the pattern booklet so you cut squares and rectangles out for these right right then... right yes 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 yeah so the ears so that's all so sit down I'm sorry to keep you interrupting but sit down and read the pattern first so you'll know not to just go ahead and cut everything out you know that you're doing the ears because you do these in a different way that you do the rest of it yes yeah. it's just the ears and the arms that are non-standard <clears> and <throat> the rest are, and it says on that page as well because I'm, I'm a nightmare for not reading things. I'm just going straight in and thinking, no, I'll work out how, yeah, 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 how yeah, to yeah. put that together. Um, so for the ears, you need a white square. These are five inch squares, I think. Yeah. 
um, a grey one and a white one and then just brush them downwards to feel which way the pile direction goes to be honest with this sort of fabric it's so swirly yeah it doesn't if you get it wrong you probably won't notice because you're getting so many messages just oh. <laughs> loads of people lovely to see you um oh he's gorgeous uh says beverly pam mini honey says lovely to see joe your creations are amazing john could you please hello to bobbin and cookie two of my grandchildren hello bobbin and cookie <laughs> No, not, we used to have a man here that I call Bobby, and it's not him. Uh, two of our grandchildren, they're watching now. Uh, Cheryl says, hello, Joe and team, We're recording to watch later. Uh, she's looking after her mum today. Otto is wonderful, says Anne. My kit was a very special delivery. Thanks, Joe. Laurie says, you're looking lovely, Joe. Always enjoy your you. demos. Marcy looks adorable. Your patterns are so easy to follow. And Lo Reed says, Molly John, stupendous, Joe, the toy designing goddess. Her kits are just fabulous. And she's not been drinking. <laughs> well... There. Right, I'll let you get on now, I'll shut up. Okay, so power direction is this way, from top to bottom, and then I'm going to put both the white square on top of the grey one, and then baste with long stitches along the top and the bottom, just to hold those pieces together for yeah. sewing in a minute. And then this template doesn't have a seam allowance around the sides, because we're going to put it on here, the power direction's going this way, so that matches with the arrow. Right. And then I'm going to draw around the ear right. on here. What are you using to draw around with? This is a water erasable pen. But you, any, you can use anything to, to draw around, not, not a biro, but you can use anything to draw around, can't you? You can. You don't want anything where the ink will bleed through and you'll see it, but anything, an air erasable yeah, 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 yeah. one. Or, or so chalk, or anything, chalk pen or something like that. You yeah, that would be, yeah. be good. Right, so now I'm going to sew directly on this line. Right. All the way around. This is why these templates are different to all the others, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. Because we'll cut it out to give the seam allowance in a minute. Brilliant. Let's see if I can find the pedal. There we go. And for doing this, the easiest way is just to keep it nice and flat, sort of spread your fingers out. Oh, what's going on with the machine? Oh. Isn't it funny, Adele brought hers in and hers played up as well. Is it all right? I think it's doing a different stitch to the one oh, I yeah, want. Oh, you've got a funny stitch on there. Oh, it's because it's, I've put it onto the programme that it will be on my machine. Yeah, do you want it, what do you need on it? Quarter inch is, okay. oh, that's not a quarter no, inch. No, the, the, uh, 06 is quarter inch. Oh, no, we're in a different mode. What, oh, no, oh. hang on, mode. We've both got this machine, right? <laughs> it's uh, so slick. Quarter inch clear, <laughs> right. Yeah, put the graphics in for the machine, we'll try and work it out. And then, oh, six is cool. Oh. What's that? Right, okay. I get it, that's a good idea. Sorry, everybody <laughs> at home. We both own this machine, we both love this machine. Well, I've got, the, I've got this one, you've got the blue one, haven't you? Yes. Right, hang on a sec, here we go. No. Oh, it's a bit, it must be. And now I can't, I'm under pressure, I can't read where. This is, oh no. Oh, it's different. Mine's 06 on mine. Mine's 06. I immediately just put 06 in. Right, no, no, I've got the, I've got this one. <laughs> Hang on. Have you not got the 7? Oh no, you've been, I've got you the 580. That's what it is. It's not the 680. This is the 580. That's why. So what number do we need then? So do 04. Let's have a look at 04. Oh. No. <laughs> Chat amongst yourselves at home. It's good because I've done quite a decorative stitch. So. Yeah, hang on, let me get into mode one. <laughs> oh, four. There. Is that quarter inch? It is. Perfect. Yeah, brilliant. Right. I'll get this one ready for you, Jo. It's good job it's not live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll cut that bit out before it goes out live. What colour are you sewing with? Brown. I just went for a contrasting thread, so black or brown or yeah. anything like that. Okay, uh, we even with all that 200, not 200 the sewing machine, 200 have gone. Um, now, I've got a, a 680 here if you'd rather use a 680, are you all right with that one? Could we use a 680? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Thank you. Just move. <laughs> no, not just move. Just it's the same cable, isn't it? Yeah, same cable. Yeah. While you're checking out, oh, you're very good. Look, like, um, handsome. What's his name? Has put the thing in. 
They do look really similar. <laughs> right. Oh, six. There you go, quarter Perfect. inch seam allowance. So that's my bad, that's my fault, because I just carried that one. So, but you've been using this, thinking it was a 680 out there. <laughs> Right, so oh, look, and, and put chat back to ourselves. What's everyone up to this <laughs> other day? Uh, Claire wants to know, did you make your top? It's lovely. I didn't know. No, I she didn't. I don't dress me. Where's it know. from? Um, warehouse, maybe. Okay, maybe. Uh, is it? No, no, we were right. We've, everyone's giving their suggestions. We're all fine. Their face is having a picture, having their name. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Right, go on, keep going. Okay, so I've sewn on the line all the way around the sides of the ear. But the seam allowance is included at the top of the ear. So I'm going to cut this out along the line at the top. Right. And then I'll cut around the sides to leave a seam allowance. Yeah. So I'll do that really quickly. Oh, there, yeah, nobody will know. No, I think, I think we got away with yeah, that. Yeah, I think we got away with it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Hannah's saying, why hasn't anyone bought a 680 yet? <laughs> There's both of us going, and Hannah shouted at me, you've both got this machine, you should know what you're doing. And we were like, but we know it's 06, we know it's 06. It was only when you pointed out that it was the 580. Anyway, it's fine. It's we've fine. both got the 680 at home. Yes, I can highly recommend the 680. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I wonder why Dawn Taylor didn't shout in, because she's got a 580, hasn't she? Anyway, we're fine. Go okay, on. so I've cut the ear out, leaving the seam allowance around the sides, yeah. and then I'll turn it the right way out. And then this now, this step has my favourite instruction right. in the pattern. Um, you want to lightly fill the ear, but not fill it so it's round and fat, yeah. but fill it so that it's just got a little bit of body and it helps it stand up oh, from okay. the head. Yeah. Um, so in the pattern I've said, think more of a thick slice of bread than a burger bun. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't think how else to describe it, so. I went out for lunch with Delphine last week and we went to this lovely little cafe near where she lives and she had a sausage bap and I had her loomy cheese and avocado bap, right? And the girl came to her, we've got no baps. So I said, what are you gonna do? Got bread. So when we went to pay for it, she went, uh, oh, you had the avocado. And I went, no, we didn't have a bap, we had bread. <laughs> she didn't find it funny. <laughs> it's very delicious, but. But yeah. So. Thick slice of bread there, I think. Yeah. Rather than burger bun. And then um, just baste the end closed just to keep the raw edges lined up for when we sew them into the onto the head. You've got bit. no foot on that machine. Oh, it's... Oh, no, I haven't. I've got the... Oh, oh, it's... oh. no, 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 no. What is going on? Well, it's... We got a lovely message from Michelle. There you go. Thanks, Michelle. She says, I'm loving the cute animals. John, I've been sewn away on my new 680. It's a dream machine. You're all right, they've got everything you I've need. I've got it, yeah. Brilliant. Cool, it's lucky we're professionals, isn't yes. it? <laughs> we'll have to have a day when we come in and sort all these machines out. <laughs> We've been saying that for about eight years now. Right. OK, I'm just going to baste the end of this one closed, and then I've got... Do you want to make the stitch bigger? I've just made it slightly longer, okay, only fine. because if you have to do any unpicking, you yeah. don't want it too short for something uh, like this. On your machine, you'll be fine, but on the 680, if you put the quarter inch seam on, it automatically thinks you're doing piece working or patch working, so it takes it to a 1.8 stitch. Oh dear. Need to sit down now. It's... Who would think sewing was so stressful? Mm. <laughs> it's very mindful and relaxing. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So those are the ears, lightly stuffed ears, both yeah. made. So I'll put those to one side. Posh bread, not bap. Right? Oh, look at that. So now, we're going to say this all the time. Working with this fur, you are going to get a lot of fluff around. So yes. don't wear black while you're doing it, because you're going to get it everywhere. And it, do clean your machine out afterwards. Yes. I mean, you can imagine what my workshop looks yes. like. Um, so the arms are the same, except we fold over a rectangle. And then, here's one I already made. Okay. Um, based along one side to keep the fold sort of nice and even so it doesn't slip yep. and go off centre. And then again, template on top, draw around 
the arm template and then sew directly on the line all the way around the sides. Brilliant. The top has the seam allowance included mm -hmm. and then tr again trim the arm out. So move those. Yeah because if you try to do that with just the normal way it could move it could slip and everything couldn't it? It's a pain so yeah. in sort of small curves like this. So this just simplifies it makes it easier and this pattern is my easiest toy pattern. Oh, the I was just about to ask, uh, cat, uh, not cat, Hannah asked that uh, just down my ear. <coughs> oh, Sorry, excuse you. me. That'll be the fluff. <laughs> yeah. So, so now, uh, what sort of, so are you saying it's your, one of your simplest, but how well do you need to be able to sew to do it? Um, you need to be, sort of have a, you know, be able to use your sewing machine fairly confidently, but I would say it's a beginner pattern. Brilliant because there are no sort of opposite curves that have to sew together or oh, there's excellent. no foot rounds at the end. Oh no, because the, arm, the arms go into the neck seam, don't they? they so do. there's no, no awkward arms or anything. So it's quite straightforward. And when I come to put it together now, you sort of do a side at a time. Oh, okay. And then join each side. Yeah. Right, so I've stuffed the arm and then I'll, I'll base the top closed. I leave, generally speaking, a thumb width empty at the top just so you get a little bit of, yeah. sort of movement on the arm on the finished toy. And so what are these? Are these sausage rolls or are these fish fingers? Oh, um, I don't know. What would you say? What squidginess are they? <laughs> I would say possibly um, oh, sausage Oh, no, roll. I know what they are. You know the donuts you get that are long and thin and they put cream and red sauce in <laughs> them? One of those. It feels like one of those. Whatever yeah. they are. Finger donut, would they? they... No, I don't know what it's called. You, know, you get two in a box and they're about that oh. long and they've sliced it down the middle and they've filled the middle with cream and red jam on the top. Yeah. I don't know if they're donuts or they're, I don't know. So Can't arms and ears are done, so I'll pop those to one side. And then I'll start the face. And the face is three pieces. Each side is made of three pieces. Yeah. The white chin, the side of the face and the nose. So I'll start by closing this dart here. Right. In the side face. No, we talked about Joe's red noses on the last show, last time she was in. Because you made the red noses on Red Nose Day, didn't you? The ones they, they had on the show. I did. That was um, quite a last, a sort of a, a stressful job, but a fun one yeah. to do. It's great to be involved. But yes, I was sewing till about three in the morning <laughs> the oh. night before. What's the matter, Hannah? Okay, there's 40 of you got it in your basket. You do need to check out because how many are left? Yeah, please be careful. Please be careful if you've got it in your basket. Um, Claire now wants a cream donut. No, it's not an eclair, Derek. That's shoe pastry. <laughs> I'm talking about the one that's hard, you know, like that. Oh. Um, one used to say hug, hug, hug when asked what a koala does. I've got the 680 thanks to me and you. It's well done, Katie. Well done. Machine. And Mary, Shamoya Mary. Shamoya Mary's messaged in. Uh, do you remember? Uh, I do, I do. Yeah, just, hi, uh, John. Joe, I've ordered my Marcy early, now watching intently. Nice to hear it's easy. I will make it. So, very quick. Sh Shamoya Mary hadn't done sewing since she was at school 60 odd years ago, right? When we started sewing quarter, she bought your. Was it an elephant or a unicorn? It was and one. The one that had the funny oh, thing here. Oh, it was a difficult and it went in, it went in the bin. So I'm yeah. never doing that again, right? Then she discovered foundation paper piecing from you. And, oh, you do a cat in a box foundation paper piece. I do, yeah. We had fabric this morning with a cat in a box. I said that. Anyway, Shimoya Mary, as, as she's bought this one, she's going to make this one. Just make sure you have the, the hoover, the vacuum cleaner. Shimoya Mary, you have the vacuum cleaner ready because it makes a lot of fluff. Yes, but on, honestly, any questions, just drop me an email or a message. Oh, and... she will. Finger cream donut, apparently it's called. I've never heard it called that, but I think those long dot. No, it's not a yum yum. A yum yum doesn't have horn in it. It's not a cream horn because that's the shape pastry in a horn. Oh, I'll have to find the picture now. I've got I? some cream horn moulds and I've used them precisely zero times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, loving all the demos, say, sitting here with my daughter watching and I'm eating a ham donut. Ham donut? It's surely jam. <laughs> oh, jam. <laughs> anyway, go on with the sewing. Okay. Um, the chin piece, there's a double notch on um, the chin and the face piece just to make selecting the correct one to match yeah. with that side of the face, just to make that easier. So next, I'm just going to sew. The dart's closed, so I'll sew the chin to the face. Okay, I'll sew this. Is. I'm going to find the picture of that, picture of that cake now. 
Oh, I don't know how to work this thing. Oh, my Facebook's decided to switch off because it's installing something now. I'm sure it'll come back. So that's the chin onto the face. And then before I add the nose in, there's a little dart here. So I'm just going to, like a nostril sort of position dart that'll close on the nose piece. Please be careful if you've got it in your basket. If you've got Marcy in your basket, it's getting limited stock now. Handsome Adam's finding it all very, very um, fascinating because he's never had anything to do with sewing or anything before. He works on Jewelry Maker and he said uh, he thinks that our customers are very lively. Oh, is that a compliment? Yeah. Good. In the best possible way, he's going to ask to come back again in the future. Oh, pfft. He says he's going to buy a sewing machine, but not the one we demoed. <laughs> <laughs> Have we not sold them to people? No. <laughs> Um, so the nose now... Oh, it was jam donut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure there's a... Ham donuts have legs. <laughs> well, no, no, but then you get, you get savoury... Oh, they're croissants, aren't they? Not donuts. Anyway, keep going. You keep going. OK, so the nose can be sewn onto the side face now. So the bit up to the dart at the bottom corresponds with the chin, and then this long side bit will join to the face there. Oh, um... Oh, what? Oh, could you tell from that that I've... Yeah. <laughs> Um, I've forgotten to put um, some eyes in the trolley, so I might have to pinch some from a kit. Oh, okay, that's fine. They're your kits anyway. Yeah, I do have a spare pack in, in my bag outside. Oh, okay, I've that's fine. Transferred it. There you go. Thank I'll you. I'll take them out the auto when you get home. So I'm going to sew up to the dart and then lift the presser foot and just reposition the nose underneath to sew up beyond the dart up this long side now. And it's a bit easier if you just tuck the fibres of the longer fabric in as you sew, just to be able to see the edge, the cut edge of the fabric. Yeah. There we go, so that is one side of the face done. And I've I have one ready made. Right. Here it is. So well, we've got some koala facts. I'm busy looking up jam donuts. <laughs> 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 they can sleep for up to 18 hours a day. A bit like you, Hannah. Well, Jenny Jackson was telling me that her friends nickname her koala because she can sleep anywhere. <laughs> oh, really? So they can, they can sleep anywhere as well as sleep for as long as they like. Okay. Here! These! Yeah. These! <laughs> I think it is a finger donut. Oh, is it? <laughs> They're called Paul Hollywood's Jam and Custard Donuts. These. This is what I'm talking about. So we're not selling them, I'm just showing them to you. So your arms have to be the, the, the consistency yes, of they that. they do. That's exactly... That's what we were getting at. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'll put that away now. <laughs> So once both sides of the face are done, one yep. on top of the other, and sew together along the front to join them. Um, uh, Jess says morning. Mar oh, this is Jess Entwistle. Do you remember Jess? I do. Yeah, morning, she's Jess. about to share watching. Marcy is so cute. Uh, Jennifer says it's a jam and cream ginger donut. Oh. Oh, I've never had one with ginger in it. Anyway, we've moved on from that now. We know what that is now. Well, it sounds nice though, a ginger donut, doesn't it? They do what? Oh, now in real life, apparently koalas aren't soft and squeegee. They feel like they're outside of a sheep. Oh, they're a bit bristly. Yeah. Oh. Didn't know that. Like oh, a cuddly pillow. Done your patch. research, then, no, have no. <laughs> They use their toes to comb their fur. That's a party trick if ever I heard of one. <laughs> When is, the J <laughs> when is the John Scott range of donuts coming out? <laughs> oh, Derek. 
there we go so i've stitched that together along the front uh -huh. and it's virtually koala face yeah finished now so i'll base the ears in position there's darts notches on the side not darts notches on the side for the position of the ears righty ho so front of the ear against the right side of the face lovely I'll base those in quickly Make sure you check out now, please check out. He is absolutely adorable. You see, I'm going, I went immediately with the him when I saw it, the picture. Do you think, because a lot of my toys have male names. Oh. And I thought, oh, should I do one? But then I don't know if that's because I have sons. Do I just automatically go to boys' names? If you see my new two new cats, yes. they're like this. They're huge, right? And I got home, I went to, to see Mike and Julie for like just about one day. I went on the whatever night, came back the morning. Anyway, uh, I got in and Ghost was like, yeah, where's my food? I mean, I fed, they were fed while I wasn't there and I think. And uh, Luther was nowhere to be seen. And Luther's this massive, massive, heavy panther. And I was sitting at my desk doing my computer and he came running into the office and he was like, you're back, <laughs> oh, you're back. And he jumped on my knee and he was, oh, he was rubbing his, and, he was, and then he suddenly went, oh, what am I playing at? And he got off my knee and he kind of walked to work like this, like, oh, I didn't mean to show that effect, that much affection. <laughs> he embarrassed himself. <laughs> he, he, he did embarrass himself. And then the rest of the day, he just kept like walking into the room going, oh, it's you. And, walk, and kind of walking off like that. So we don't, you know, so been, Anyway, he's good. He's aloof again now. I know, totally. Except I did go to bed the other night and one of them was asleep under the bed and I didn't know. Not in my bedroom, in the other bedroom. And at three o'clock in the morning, there was a scratching on the door. And I was like, oh. Anyway, I went down and he was going, he was bursting for the loop. He hadn't gone to the Aww. toilet upstairs. So I let him out and Luther immediately just got into bed. It was like I got back from <laughs> letting Ghost out. Luther's like, I'm here, I'm all cuddly in bed. So I let him stay there for the rest of the night. I have, I don't know if this show, my hands are a little bit scratched because it's not even our cat. We have a neighbour's cat that comes into the house. Yeah. And he's quite kitteny still and he just wants to play. play. And I think maybe I'm encouraging bad habits though. We should have. Oh, do your neighbours know that he comes in? No, oh. they don't know that we call him Malcolm either. <laughs> <laughs> we have oh, no idea what his name is. I don't know what his real name no. is. Oh. Um, the back head pieces, put one on top of the other and sew together along the back from the top down for about five or six centimetres. Uh -huh. This is how I do most heads. It just it leaves it open at the back to make attaching it to the yep. body easier in a little bit. Joe's made the most beautiful koala bear, and I love the fact we're talking about donuts. <laughs> I've lo I love you two together. I've ordered my Macy. Thank you from Katie. Okay, so now see, oh, there's an issue with you checking out. The 60 people got it sitting in their baskets. B because what's going to happen is it's all very well sitting watching the demo, but if, when the demo finishes, if you all then try and check out, not everyone's going to get it. If you definitely want it, please just check out now. Okay, so I've joined the head together partially, so it's still open at the bottom. Yeah. And then line up that centre seam at the top with the centre seam in the face and sew one side of the head together at a time. It just helps to make sure it goes on straight if you do that. I'm going to do this really quickly so I can move on to the body. Okay. Are we, are we okay for time? We've got 20 minutes. Oh, that's not Just too over bad. 20 minutes. Oh, hang on. Adam, do you say 20 minutes? Okay, because my clock in here is a bit slow then. We've got 19 minutes, Jonah. Okay. Oh, no, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We'll kick, stay with you till we've finished. Do you think... Very achievable, isn't it, this one? It is. Do you think next time I should do a cuddly donut, though? No. Okay. Cuddly donut. <laughs> I have did you do got your, don't say anything, but have you got your next one started? Um, I have a couple of tester patterns on the go. Right. But I don't know which one to go with next. Oh. No, not an art for <laughs> She says that every time. Oh, there's, there's already a sloth. There's a Godfrey the sloth, yeah. Oh, a chameleon. Maybe. It could be tricky with fabric. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't they, don't they sound fabric changes colour with the heat? <laughs> they might do. <laughs> Jackie says, I'm loving you and Joe. Hang on, loving you and Joe today. Oh, don't you like us normally? <laughs> uh, love Joe's patterns. Well, they're brilliant, that's why. She's so talented. 
Uh, Claire says, morning, uh, John. Lovely koala bear, Joe. Oh, it's not a bear, is it? It's not a bear, is it? Oh, is it not? No. Um, you're sounding much better. I know, Claire, not quite there yet. We've done a turtle. You see, you have to keep up, handsome Adam. We've done a turtle. I've got... An oh, orangutan, says Anne. I know, I need to do... Oh, hi, Anne. I need to do... Oh, um, <laughs> well, yes. Um, I am sort of... I have something on the go for an orangutan, but I also have, at the minute, a seal or a red panda. I uh, have a couple of things. Right. So, yeah, if anyone has any ideas... Fine. Uh, and, uh, uh, pff, kangaroo coming from the gallery. Aardvark coming from the gallery. <laughs> or what? Or an anteater. I mean, yeah. if uh, an aardvark, are they, the, are they not the same thing? Yeah. They, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Lo wants an aardvark as well. Yeah. So that's the head done. So I've got right. the head with the arms. The body. Birds. I don't know. Have you ever done a bird? I've got a parrot pattern. Actually, I really want to do a puff. Oh, no, because I did your parrot pattern when you we did. were doing, when I did uh, in lockdown, didn't I? I really want to do a puffin as well. A, a puffin? A puffin. Oh, puffin. Oh, Hannah likes a puffin. Or is it a toucan? I can't remember which is the one you like. Red panda, says Anne. Derek says, can you do a haggis? Oh, the three-legged haggis. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. <laughs> and then Donna says, could you do a giraffe? Yeah, but you have to be careful with the giraffe's neck, don't you? Yeah, you can't do finger donut stuff in other ways. That's stuck now, isn't it? <laughs> hippo, that'd be a nice one. Oh, I've not done a hippo. I do need to do a hippo. The hippos aren't very furry, are they? What would you make it out of? Would it still be a furry I'd use a smooth one, I think. Like out of... Um, What's that? Polar, polar fleece or something like that, would you make that? Oh, could you have? Yeah. Penguin. Says Derek, penguin. I've got a penguin pattern. No, we've got penguins. We've got yeah. penguins. Right, this is the stomach piece. Right. And there's a curved opening here that the leg, the inner leg, sews right. around. So I'll oh, join that Oh, but it's on. not, like you say, it's not an opposing curve. It's no, a... they pretty much mirror each other, so it's quite an easy curve to sew on. I've got some really nice sparkly fur as well. Uh huh. Um, which I don't know what to do with that at the moment, but it's a really nice sort of fancy finish. Oh, yes. So, do you see the fabric first? And then make. Because it'd be awful if you designed it and then couldn't find the perfect fabric for it, wouldn't it? I tend to, if I've got something in mind, when I ordered this fabric in, I ordered some samples as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's the leg sewn around that curve. And uh -huh. then the side body piece. Before, um, the side body needs joining, so this section needs to be stuck Hang on, on top of that, that one. Towards you. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, perfect. So if yeah. I have, it's a little bit creased, but All the right. template, when it's done. Yeah. Oh, that's the one I said. I should be like that. It was a funny shape, but I couldn't quite figure out where it was going, yeah. Sparkly fur unicorn. Oh, unicorn Sparkly would be fur good. unicorn. Sparkly fur unicorn. Oh, I, I think, there you go. Yep, yeah, I clearly missed the. Uh, yeah. The, the, bar print, the memo <laughs> the, the on that obvious, one. Obvious <laughs> answer. So now I'm going to sew the side of the stomach and around the foot and along the bottom of the body. So I've got one done here. Right. So it will look like this. Was it like flat? Oh, there you go. Perfect. Lovely. So you have the stomach and the leg, and then this will be the side of the body. Lovely. And there's a pivot point on the body side. When sewing with the stomach on top, you pivot when you get to the seam right. for the leg, but there's a pivot point. And that's when... what the P on the pattern is for, for you to pivot. Yes, yeah. P on the pattern to pivot. <laughs> so how are we doing? Hannah's concerned because some people put it in their basket they haven't checked out, but other people have come in, put it in their basket and checked out. We're worried that some people have got stuck in the system. So uh, figures wise, um, right, so it's 42 in baskets. I can't hear you, Hannah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Ballet dancing hippo. A hippo in a tutu would look great. Yeah. Do you still design quilts or do you just do soft toys now? Um, I do the odd quilt yeah. and the odd FPP pattern, but I uh, lately I've just done more toys. Yeah. But then I want to change in a bit and I'll do a, an yeah. FPP pattern. Claire says, it's been two years since you made half size bow bears. Thank you for your help, she said. Oh, they were the dinkiest bow bears ever. So I just keep brushing the fibres away from the cut edge just so I can see the edge that I'm sewing along. Uh-huh. Um, Adam, Adam, what are you saying? A tiger. You've not done a tiger. I've you? not done a tiger. I wouldn't mind doing a tiger. No. And what was the animal before that? An eel? Be well, that wouldn't take an hour, would it? Be a nightmare to turn the right way out. The Ooh, whole hour yes. would just be turning it the right way out. Oh, now Rosina, she's ordered her Elna 517. Can't wait for it to arrive. Fabulous show. Rosina, I'm doing that in the next hour. So Message have... on the bottom. At, mor at morning both, could we have a donkey, please, from Therese? A donkey? I've not done a donkey. No. A donkey would be good. Blimey, you can be busy. I've got a nice list for me. I've got a few to go at, but... Um... Uh, okay. Good morning, everyone. Could you please design a sitting whippet? I would happily model for you from <laughs> Luna. Luna's a, Luna's a whippet. Ah, oh, doesn't sit still long enough though to model. No, also quite difficult to turn the right way out because they're... Yeah, it's spindly. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next then? Okay, we've got each side of the body now and I'm yeah. going to join it together along the front, but I'm not going to sew all the way round. I'm just going to sew about two thirds of the stomach so that I can still open it and it will lie reasonably flat. It just makes it easier for sewing the head on in a little bit. Yeah. So I'm just going to do about two thirds, about to where the stomach really starts to, to bend, to go under the body. Uh -huh. Stop it about there. Okay, with another suggestion, a mushroom. A mushroom? I have made a cuddly mushroom before now. Have you? I have. I've made some odd things, to be honest. Yeah. Twenty nine ninety nine. Remember, check out, check out, check out. Lots of you got it in your baskets. Always very popular. And I've reversed over the last couple of stitches just so they don't come undone. Yeah. You you don't need to because you could just go out when you close it later. Just really go over the last few. But that way, it still opens out and lies reasonably flat. Yeah. So I'll make the tail. The tail. It's just one small piece, it folds over and just sew along. Oh, I'm not really in the right place, am I? Yeah. Sew along that side. A fruit bat, says Donna. Oh, I wouldn't mind doing um, a flying squirrel as well. Oh. Why a flying squirrel, not a normal squirrel? Well, they're just cute, aren't they, with the <laughs> little sort of parachute body. Isn't a flying squirrel a pigeon? Oh, no, that's a flying rat. Oh, right. <laughs> Uh, I think Hannah might be having a few delusional problems. What about the monkeys that sit in a hot tub in Japan? Um, and they've I, got pink faces. I look into it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think many people would know about those though, Hannah. It might not be much of a demand for those pink faced monkeys in the hot springs. So I'm going to turn the tail the right way out. Yeah. And it can just have a, you don't have to put any stuffing in, but I'm going to put a tiny little bit yeah. in. So, I don't think I've ever seen a koala's tail. Um, when you brought that up before, I thought, I didn't really research a koala's tail, oh. and I just put in what I thought <laughs> it would have. <laughs> and then I'm going to base the end closed. And then on one side body piece where it's marked, they've got yeah. the notches there. I'm just going to base the tail 
into position in between the notches, just on one side. Okay. I think you've got it exactly right, Joe. Have I? I've chanced yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I was a bit worried because I put in Koala's tail and it brought up a lima. And I was like, oh my gosh, we've got it completely wrong. <laughs> but then we didn't realise. It would be stripey, wouldn't it? Yeah, it was stripey. Yeah. <laughs> so, last job before we join the head is to base the arms into position. And they're marked. There's notches as well and they face inwards do they yeah. yeah make sure they curve towards the front yeah you don't want them that way so i'll do that so it's quite quick it does come together quickly jackie says it's poetic license with the tail no <laughs> she's got it right jackie she got it absolutely right Sometimes I favour what, what is easier to do rather than what is technically yeah. correct. <laughs> yep, yeah, stumpies. They have stumpy tails. A wolf, that's another one. Hi oh hyena's not very romantic. No, it'd be difficult with the teeth as yeah. well. I mean I like a challenge, but Yeah. <laughs> that did come from Handsome Adam, so ignore that oh, one. So, sorry, Adam. So arms are in and then it's just the last thing to do before we close up the remaining seams uh -huh. is sew the head to the body. And the ears do get in the way a bit, so just push them into the front of the face just to keep them out of the way as much as possible. Uh -huh. And then it can be easiest to either baste by hand with long stitches again, um, just to hold it in position for sewing, or sew from the centre out each right. time. So I'm going to start in the centre and do that. But keeping the body, by not sewing the complete stomach, it just makes this bit a little bit easier. I yeah. would probably baste it by hand first. And do you never use pins then? No, I, I tend not to use pins because making toys, I just don't want the chance of one being left behind. Yeah. But if I, if I do use pins, I'll count out, say, 10 into a pin cushion, and at the end, make sure those 10 are all there, still in the pin cushion at the end. Who said that? Google says they don't have external tails. Would love a giraffe. Well, this one's definitely got a tail on this picture. Maybe they pop out. <laughs> Let me have a look at that one. Oh, I think they might, I think they might be tracked. I'm on Google now. Oh no, that one hasn't got one. It, <laughs> does do koalas have tails? There you go. Oh, lost my page now. Mm -hmm. Well, ours has. After all that, could I have left a piece out? Could, so, have, made it, could I have made it even easier and left yeah, a piece out? Yeah, if you want to leave the tail out, you can do and you have a retractable one. <laughs> right, love Joe's design. Oh, here we go. Controversy now. Love Joe's designs, but my favourite was the snowman. Could you bring it back? Um, the honest answer is no, I can't bring it back because I don't owe the rights to the pattern. But I could do a version, a new snowman. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I didn't realise that was going to be that <laughs> controversial. But you could design a different snowman. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did the lights just flash off then? Yeah, lights just flashed off, handsome Adam. The what? The, Otto's gone. Otto's completely sold out. Yeah. Alpaca, otter. I would like to do an alpaca and an otter, actually. Could you do it life size? Um, I mean, I could, but it's a big kit. Yeah. I've got a tiger that my dad bought me 60 years ago and it would make a lovely pattern. Sadly, he's lost an eye, says Wendy. So the head's on? Yeah. Oh, I didn't mention before, clip the seam allowance on the leg. It's in the pattern 
just the grey fabric at the turn at the top of the leg, but then through both at the top of the foot. Uh huh. There. It Jess just says I've done a pigeon yet. I've not done a pigeon. I do need to do a pigeon. Hannah will buy that, she says. But you've got to make it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I do a pigeon. So I'm going to return now to the seam in the stomach. Yeah. And so all the way round to just above the tail. So make sure that the tail is sandwiched in place. If you've put the tail in, you can leave the tail out. You can leave to. the tail out. Right, Derek says we had three alpacas in school this week. Uh, and there's an alpaca. Uh, oh no, it's, why is it the things you can walk with? The, by the old where jewel maker used to be. Llama walking, that is llama walking. Um, will Joe be bringing back the original version of Bo Bear? Is I can it? do. Are they only on your website? Um, I think, yeah, I've definitely got some on the website oh, there you go. at the moment. There you go. Who asked that then? Derek, there's some on Joe's website. Right, oh, Jan sent, I, I don't know if I can't open that, Jan. She sent an image on the chat and I don't open it in case it's some. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, I might get a tractor or something. <laughs> so, Jan, can you describe what was in that picture <laughs> with words? Oh, OK. Oh, here we go, Amanda. Unlike other arboreal marsupials, such as the tree kangaroo, the koala does not have an external tail. However, vestiges of a tail are still present, uh, indicating that at some point in evolution history, it did have a tail, and it shares this feature with the wombat. Ah. So, yeah, leave well, the yeah, tail. Well, yeah, it's the same as our coccyx, isn't it? Yeah. So leave the you can leave the tail on if you want it. Take the tail off. It's your choice. Depends what period of time. This could be a prehistoric koala bear, couldn't it? I might put when I have them reprinted. I might just put tail optional. Optional. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've got a fluffy llama toy doorstop. Says Sue. Unfortunately, the pet chihuahua won't leave it alone. Uh oh, we know what oh. chihuahuas are like, don't we? So all that's left now, I've closed the back of the head yep. and the body to above the tail, so the tail's properly sandwiched in yep. and there's an opening in the back. I'll put the eyes in. I should have done this earlier and yeah, it yeah. says in the pattern to do it earlier, so yeah. don't, don't leave it till this point because it is a bit fiddly. Right. Do you need to put anything behind the eyes? No. Like a life. <laughs> <laughs> but do you need to put any... any... <laughs> yeah. No, because the fabric's quite thick. But okay. if I was using thinner, I would put like a disc of felt yeah. or... Um, Oh, what do you put in quilts? Batting, wadding. Yeah. What do you put in your quilts? <laughs> you know, that thing. So the smallest hole possible to fit the eye through and then put the back on as firmly as possible. Yeah. Hannah's saying it must be, uh, not a simple one too, we're not trying to demean it all, but you've made the whole thing in, in less than an hour with the sewing machine going on, with me waffling on about donuts, with all this going on. Yes, the things I would have spent a little time on. So the head, to definitely get the head on properly, which is worth spending a bit of time on. Yeah. I'd have probably basted it on first by yeah. hand, just to make sure But you've done it, it all it in an hour. But not, we're is, not saying at home you should do it in an hour. Enjoy it, but it's, it just shows that it's not one of the complicated ones, doesn't it? It's not. It really is achievable, easy to do. And when, when do you suggest putting the eyes in then? Uh, before you join the head, while well, the head's still open. Okay, and is there, are there point, are there marks on the pattern where to put them in? There are, so oh, make yeah, sure you transfer yeah, those yeah, on when yeah. you cut the pieces out, because it is a bit of a nightmare. Working out you, where they have to go. Yeah, if you've you don't so... want a cross-eyed koala, do you? No. With a stumpy tail. Well, flip it the right way out. Oh. It's had a lot of nose jobs, this koala. Yeah. But this <laughs> one thing. Haley. Oh, I'm not supposed to tell you that, am I?
Oh, I never get to this point. No, exactly. It's nice. I'm just, how much time is there to do? It's about a minute. Oh, OK. Um, really round out the cheeks of the koala so to, yeah. to give it a nice chubby face. While you're stuffing that, uh, our, our stuffing here, four ninety nine. Elsewhere, six ninety nine. There you go. Same thing. Direct comparison. It's the same size and everything. Two hundred and fifty. Yeah, yeah. Ours is four ninety nine. You see. Yeah. Don't worry. That's perfect. That one. I'm really pushing filling into the nose just yeah. to get the shape. Oh. Oh yes, it is important to get the eyes in the right place. I've just noticed because they're quite, it's quite significant where they are, isn't it? Um, was one bag of stuffing enough? I think one bag of stuffing, yeah, would do this. It depends, I tend to overstuff things. I tend to stuff the head quite firmly and but give it a squidgy tum. So it's cuddly. Brilliant. And also you also stuff a bit more than you think you are gonna stuff it, don't you? Because It'll you settle do. down a little bit, won't it? It will. But it's, this is lovely, sort of fluffy yeah. stuff. Great that it's recycled as well. Yeah, oh no, it used to be a plastic bottle. Right. I just need to, uh, before we say goodbye to Joe, there are so many people, the, the demo's now finished. Sorry? Yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want to make uh, your very own koala for 29 right? I can't, there's over 60 people got it sitting in their baskets. He's he, she is beautiful. That's not me being politically correct. It's whether you wanted to be a boy or a girl, it doesn't, you know. Right, so it, this is what will happen. This will arrive at your house, comes direct from Joe, remember. They're already, they're ready to go, aren't they? They're they all are. boxed up and ready yep. to go. So this it comes to box. Right, now you will get, when, you, when it comes in the envelope, this is separate in the envelope, but it's like a free gift from Joe that comes in it. Twenty nine ninety nine. You get the badge. You get. I'll go through the instructions in a minute. You get the black fur for the nose. You get the textured white fur for the body uh, or the tummy. You get the grey fur for the body, and you get the eyes. More than eyes than you need. And the instructions are so thorough. Let me just show you this. Look, everything that Joe's just gone through. Every single stage is there. Lot there's a lot there, and all your pattern pieces, so you got them forever. So you know what? Once you've made it out of the fur, if you wanted to make one out of like um, jersey fabric, like a uh, polar fleece or something like that, would it work the same way? Could you I use this would. pattern? I think, yeah, you could do. Yeah, um, or it, even cotton. You could make it out of like a liberty. You could make a liberty version or a. a um, William Morris version or something, could you? You could. I don't know whether you get quite the roundness to it, though, with a cotton fabric, because it does rely on the stretch a little bit. Oh, okay. around. so the polar fleece would be good because you get that bit of stretch. Yeah, that'd be great. Lovely. Right, now, I need to talk to you. Over 60 people got it sitting in their baskets. You do, if you want it, I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. If you, if you want it, because what we're worried about now is everybody is going to finish watching the demo and go, oh yeah, I'll get that now, I'll get that now. Or people watching on catch up or anything like that. And I don't want the 60 of you who've got it sitting in your basket just to panic. Uh, hundreds have gone. Don't get me wrong. It's not just 60 people waiting. Hundreds have gone. But no, that 60 is not changing. And we're, normally what happens is 60 go in baskets and then 20 of them will go and then another 20 and then more people come in. These 60 seem to be bottlenecked. There's more people coming in, buying it and going on like that. But, but uh, the people who've got it in your basket, you haven't got it. I think it, there's like a little bottleneck. So if you just check, if you think you've checked out, just check or go and check out on it now because um, you're going to miss out otherwise. Yeah, you see, there's more people. You see, what's happening is there's these six people got it in their basket. People are coming in, buying it, and checking out. So those, the, the, there are fewer and fewer and fewer available for the 60 people who've got it in their baskets. Uh, what, what? Also, last time, we were getting used to the system. We're a well-oiled machine this time. We'll oh, did get you them have out. a few issues last time? It, just getting to grips with, yeah, the getting them out. The post office and hundreds. The, the po my post office are brilliant. Are they? Yeah, that's good, yeah. that's good. Well, I, wasn't, I wasn't blaming the post office. Oh, no, no. The fact, you have got to go to the post office yeah, with them. I do. That I mean, doesn't turn up at your house. No, I took sacks and sacks and sacks. Did they <laughs> go like this when you opened the door? Went, I, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Pretty much. <laughs> oh, but everyone got them. So, so uh, you, they'll come from Joe and complain to her if you don't get them. Yes. Um, thank you. So lovely to see you. Oh, thank you. Um, and uh, when do we see you next? Do we know yet? We don't know yet, um, but soonish. Soonish. <laughs> soonish. Uh, I want you to design another quilt as well. Okay. I was, I was thinking yesterday about. I mean, we won't do this one, but I loved your. Um, your what was it called? Your pandas. Oh, the panda the one. The clamshell panda one. I love that one. Yeah. Anyway, that's just... Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll put it on the list. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Come here, give me a hand. Oh, it's so lovely to see you. Oh, you take care. Safe journey home. I'll pack all this up for you in a minute. Okay. Uh, right, make sure you check out your baskets. It's really important you check out your baskets. Some of those 60 have now gone, so it's working. Yeah, now these will be leaving. These will be leaving. So, oh no, actually, if I've got a few left, can I keep this and I'll post it to you? Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, that's fine. I'll keep this in. Uh, I'll see you in four minutes. Adele's making some clocks. We'll see you in four. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. How gorgeous are these, these lovely culottes? Now, I've got some bad news. They've sold out, the pattern sold out. Because um, it's the weekend, I can't get you anymore. We will definitely do them again in the future, but aren't they cute? Now, we've got this, bu this bundle, but there's only two left, they've all sold out. Now, please don't be messaging me going, <coughs> oh, your buying team never buy enough of this, never. We had loads of these. We had loads, thought we'd be absolutely fine with them because we now have meetings that go, oh, we think we need more of this. We think we need more of that. We need, right? So, it's, so we did have loads, right? There's two of this bundle left. It's two and a half meters. Two and a half meters. It's lovely, this. Goes up to a size 20 and this is enough to do the larger size. So you will have some left. Well, will you have much left? There I don't was, know if you're doing the length, aren't you? Yeah. No, I don't think you will have much left. And oh. it's wide, yeah, so you can't look. fit like the front and back together. Yeah, so you, you are you are gonna use it all up. Twenty nine ninety five. Now, what's this composition of? What does it say it is? Navy viscose linen. You see, I'm thinking I don't know if it's actually got any oh it might have. Because sometimes they can make viscose. Viscose, they can make it into all sorts of, you know, pretend to be something else. We're just checking. We're just checking to see if it's actually got any linen in it. In that meantime, it's going to sell out, isn't it? Oh, here we go. Oh, now we've got Norman the cat. Now we need Ghost the black cat. We can either have Ghost or, or um, Luther, because I still can't tell the difference between them until they sit on my knee. <laughs> It is linen and it is a viscose mix. 55% linen, 45% viscose mix. And it's sold, now sold out. It's now sold out. So I'll just give that to Kat. Thank you, Kat. Right, now, we've got this fabric here. Right, this I would say was 100% yeah, cotton. It's like a quilting weight cotton, this. It's not real. It says 100% cotton on it. Right, I don't know, is that the right one? It's definitely not rayon, it's 100% cotton. Just, will you uh, just vouch for me? Yep. 100% cotton, quilting weight cotton it is. It's not rayon at all, I don't know where they've got that from. No, this is definitely quilting weight cotton. Anyway, it's beautiful. Now this isn't so wide, this one. It's nice though, isn't it, look. You see, so two and a half meters, you make a lovely little frock out of two and a half meters as well, couldn't you? It's, yeah. I mean, rayon is made from cotton fiber, but I wouldn't call that rayon at all. It's beautiful. Hold it up for you then. Little daisies, aren't they? Gorgeous little daisies. 
$34.95. You talked about seven pounds, half a meter, five into 35. Seven five thirty five. Yeah, seven pounds, about six ninety. Is that six ninety nine a half meter? That. Yeah, beautiful. Then I've got two other fabrics. We've gone, we've gone real the gamut of different fabrics here. The blue, the navy blue crepe has sold out. The that fabric has sold out. I've also got this lovely. Now I think this is your enzyme wash linen. This one, isn't it? This is one hundred percent linen, and it says so in the graphics. Twenty nine ninety five. Okay, now I thought our linen was eight pound fifty half a meter. Uh, two and a half meters, six pounds. This is six pounds for half a meter. This is. Um. What? And she's talking to herself. I'm sorry, <laughs> everybody. She's just talking to herself in there. Oh, <laughs> she's taking the price down. There's me saying it shouldn't be this low. So now that works out at four, five pounds, five pounds a half meter for linen. Beautiful enzyme wash linen. Uh, we just called it gray. Keep going through for these. It's lovely linen, this. Oh dear, Carmela. John, please, can you help me? Oh, Carmela, I can't open your message. Oh, how weird. We're an open. Can you read me Carmela's message on Facebook, please? Oh, yeah. Can you do computers? I can't. <laughs> I'm four foot eleven and a half. Small. And I'd like some white switchy trousers, but they always make me look like a borrower. Would I be able to wear these culottes without looking small? I'd say yes. Absolutely. You might want to shorten them a little bit if you're four. How tall are you? Uh, five foot seven. Oh, no, I'm not going to. And everyone's taller, aren't they? Um, <laughs> I think you might want to shorten them a little bit. But you, these, you could just shorten by taking the length off yeah. the length. Yeah. But you could. All you have to be careful is uh, when you're short and you wear three quarter length trousers, you do have to work out the perfect place to stop because. If they're, you can make them your own. So what I would do is I'd make them out of an old sheet, first of all, uh, and just see where you want the line to go to see the most flattering. Because there's a lot of men where those, they're not shorts, but they're like cut off trousers. And you think they're so <laughs> unflattering where they cut off. So you do need to be careful where you need to. Um, so you'd either leave these full length and then they'd be, they'd be like Plus, lasso so, yeah. pants, which would be gorgeous. You might not want to cut them off because it might make you look shorter, a bit shorter. But you can do it, but leave them, maybe leave them full length and then they'd look gorgeous. Or if you're worried about um, looking too voluminous, just take the legs in a little bit. Yeah. So you haven't got uh, quite as much fabric on there. Right, linen, 24 99 for two and a half meters. Gorgeous, right? And then what now, this linen, this is another kind of linen. <clears throat> this is heavier, right? So um, Mark has made, when he made like a denim jacket, you, Mark used this as a denim jacket kind of fabric. We've made jackets out of it. You've made things out of this. Well, yeah, I've you? made a little um, baby jacket out of it. Now, it doesn't drape like all the other fabrics do. You can still use it, but it will make, I also want to say, almost want to say winter culottes. So I've got some crepe that's thicker and I have them for this kind of season, you know, oh, when okay. it's sort of spring, but still so cold. cold. There you go. It's a gorgeous color. And we're going to reduce the price on this. Got to love green. The spring. Oh, I don't know what's the matter with this. Do you want me to have a look for yeah, you, John? Why can't, I get, why can't I get the messages? 19.99 for two and a half meters. I'm going to shut you down oh, and then no. we start you up again. All right then. It's all right. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Beautiful. 19.99 this linen. Oh, it's in all sorts of things, isn't it? Anyway, check out, check out, check out. The pattern has all sold out. We will obviously get more in. Where's the picture? I don't know where the picture is, but you've got the comments. All right, thank you. You want to see yourself? No, I don't want. That's the last thing I want to. I can see enough of me in all these screens around here. 
I could do the comments are fine. Hold on, you. let's go. Most newest. There you go. Thank you ever so much, teacher. Miss. Mrs. Rowlands. Oh, you have to call me Mrs. Yeah. Miss Rowlands. <laughs> anyway, keep us no messages. Keep going. <laughs> there is this one at the top. Oh, they're at the top. Yeah. I'm used to shortening things. Thank you, John, says Carmelo. You're well. Oh, that's weird now, because the other ones oh, come at the bottom. Doesn't matter. No, no, they're there. I'm ready. 19.99. I'm ready. Right, all I can show you else is I've got two zips. Of, of which Hannah was telling, convinced they were 33 centimetres earlier. <laughs> what? Yeah. Mumbled. 33, she said, 33. Which one do you want to do first? Black one first. Is it an invisible zip? Yes. Yes, it is. That's good. 199. Oh, Hannah, she's so funny. Hannah can see it, she says. Your mum put something very funny out. She put a joke up on Facebook this week. Yes. One ninety nine, make me laugh. And then I've got the kind of lemony cream one. <clears throat> oh, this is my voice. I'd say this is ivory. No, I'd say that was cream. What's the label say? Colour five oh two. But look, there's your cream concealed zip, twenty three centimeters. One ninety nine, right? Okay. So, would you like to start making them for us? Yep, absolutely. What are you show us. Okay, so I think we can get most of it done again. Brilliant. Off so again, let's then. go for it. We have started a bit late, but if you yes, all right. No, no, no. But if you do run time, we can go over a little bit. Yep. It's not a problem. Okay, so we've got two versions. Uh, we're going to make version two today, but there is version one oh, that okay. will add a waistband on as well. That day, is that funny? That's what I was looking at when I was doing the zip. I thought, oh, is there a waistband on it? Yeah. So the one you've made, there's no waistband. It's a turnover. So it's an inter facing. Yeah, it's an internal facing. Yeah. Whereas the other one, you have a waistband and you can. Put, um, put belt loops on. Oh, lovely. So you can have a, a little belt with this yeah. as well. They do come up on your waist, um, so do be mindful that if you're putting that extra bit on, it might be even higher. Right. So just be mindful of where you actually want that oh, to Oh, you sit. mean that one comes up onto your waist, yeah, so the waistband one will be even higher. Will be even higher. Right. So you might want to just try it out and Actually, just see how that is. Have we got pictures of this on people? We'll get some, we'll get some pictures of some. Let's say I've made them before, so they're on my Instagram. Oh, are they? Yeah. Have you made them with the waistband? W the blue pair, yes. Okay. Um, we'll go there. So, yeah, there are brilliant uh, clots. So I was thinking about sort of, uh, about clots. That I used to wear clots when I was in the Girl Guides. Right. And that was the first time I ever wore clots. And they were like really sticky out ones. And it kind of put me off. I was like, I don't want to wear them. Did they have big box pleats in them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas these clots, the first time I wore this pair, not this exact pair, but yeah. this pattern to work, one of the kids actually put their hands up during the lesson and went, Miss, are you wearing a skirt or are they trousers? And that's the beauty of it. You've got the swish. Why weren't they concentrating the movement. on science rather than looking at your outfit? They're obviously just admiring my that, seamstress. Yes. Okay, <laughs> my my, my <laughs> handiwork. Because um, I've got them. Actually, I've made three pairs. Oh, I'll tell you what else I've made in a moment. Anyway, so um, they, they're like a skirt, especially if you could use something really floaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you've got the extra security that it's not going to fly up like a Marilyn Monroe moment yeah. or anything like that. But I've just thought I've made a third pair that I made a top in a matching fabric and had it as a jumpsuit, a fake jumpsuit. A fake jumpsuit. They weren't joined together then? No, no. <laughs> so then I can wear my top and my bottom separately, but also I don't have the whole drama of going to the yeah, toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so that's thing the thing off, yeah? you could do. You could make a top and a bottoms at the same fabric and then you've got a, a faux jumpsuit Fantastic. as such. Okay. Okay. So it is a really simple pattern uh -huh. that you've got a front, back, there's two um, darts in the back and then there's one dart. Oh, you've got these all the way around, John. You've got one dart in the front and two darts in the back. Okay. Right. So that gives you shaping along the back edge here uh -huh. and then a little bit of shaping here so I've already done most of my darts just so that we can get on with most of the, okay, the work so this is the back I'm just going to make sure I keep with my patterns 
okay? Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is right side to right side, so these are both the back, and I'm going to sew my back seam. Right, okay. Anna, you need to watch this. Why, has she never made trousers she before? She has, but she made oh, them the wrong way around. Yeah, yeah, and it is so easy for that to happen, yeah. that you get to the point and you're like, oh, I've got a front and a right and a back and yeah. ugh. And they all look very alike. So, so you're doing yours then with the, you're sewing the centre back seam, you're not making a tube of one leg. No, and then the posting through. Together. No, because we're going to add a uh, zip to the side. Okay. So we want that to stay open. So just a big long seam and then curve round into sort of the crotch area. Now, it gives a really good tip actually in the instructions that yeah. once you've done this curved seam, uh, seam, sorry, go back over it again because this is going to be a stress point and nobody wants split it now. A split seam. Even okay. though they're going to be quite loose or are they fitted around they're the bottom? They're fitted around the bottom yeah. and then they sort of flare, flare out. out. Okay. So you do not want the, no. the moment where you have a split seam, do and you? And we've all had that moment. Yeah. So we're going to do the same again to the front. So let me show you now. Is the zip in the side seam? The zip is okay. in the side seam. Even with the big uh, the race waistband. waistband, it's still a side seam. There's no front um, fly or a back zip there. What okay. are you saying, Hannah? Okay, so we found somebody on uh, uh, Pinterest. Yeah. And then we've linked to their page. Yeah. Look, look at all the through difference. Through their page. Oh, through their page. Through. I can't hear you, Hannah, at all. It's okay. No, no, we'll have to just get it sorted. Um, so these are different people who've made them from the, pa the pattern, from Sew Over yeah. It pattern. Oh, look, there I am. Oh, you're on there? Yeah, look, the yellow top. And then my... Um... No, oh. I have to log in to see more. Oh, look, there I am. You just, oh, hang on, you look about 16 on that picture. Oh, thank you. That was about four years ago. When you were 16. <laughs> yeah. They're my, um, I've got like uh, bug ones, and they're the ones that I've also made the top that matches. Right. Now, again, like I said before, be very careful if you've got fabric that it doesn't have a pattern on, that you don't do the wrong side. Yes. And like, so I've just been, I haven't really done this, I should do as I say, not as I do. Um, yeah, just mark it, just make a big cross. As, yeah. Um, uh, chalk on it. Yes, yeah. absolutely. And I've just got my notches and I'm just doing my darts going down. Okay, and then I'm going to press these darts, press right. them to the outside. Oh, I haven't turned my iron on. Um, and like I said before, press, press, press. Now, with linen, let, let's talk honestly about the seams. They do fray. Right. Okay, yeah, because yeah. that's the weave of the fabric. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I would say be very careful and finish all your seams as you go. But this is where an overlocker would be ideal because oh. once you've cut it out, you just overlock all the edges and then yep. it's not going to be fraying away and all your seams are finished. Off yeah, I have, to, I, I have done that with um, linen. Actually, done my seams before I've put any pieces together because you don't oh, want them... Just lost to, in a set. You don't want anything fraying no. and then you're not catching your correct seams because of that. No. So just and you also got to remember that linen, hundreds of linen creases. Yes. But that is part of oh, no, 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 the look, exactly. isn't it? Exactly, yeah. So I know I was always like, oh, I don't want to wear linen because when it creases, I don't, it doesn't look very nice. Actually, it just looks really nice and yeah, relaxed, no, it does, doesn't yeah. it? Looks like you've been lounging around all day in the sun. <laughs> This grey enzyme should be more expensive. Hannah took five pounds off for you. So we're now going to do the same and we're going to put front seam to front seam along this front crotch seam here. Pauline says, if you use the khaki linen, what weight interfacing would you use? I would still use just lightweight because yep. you don't want a big, heavy sort of um, area around there. But you yep. don't want it to be stiff because this is going to sit against your tummy. You want it to be nice and comfortable. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. Okay, so we've got our front and we've got our back. Right. Okay, and then we're going to now 
I always like to, even if I've made this a few times, always double check yeah. my um, pattern. pattern instructions. Okay. So what we're now going to do is we're going to put the front and back together. Okay. Now, it does give you the, the side that you put the zip in. It's the left-hand side, but if you want to put it to the right-hand side, there would be no issue whatsoever. Well, surely it depends what, what if your right-hand is or yeah. left-hand, whatever you find easier. Yeah, so don't be worried if you're like, oh, no, I can't remember which side's right side. Don't worry about it. Just put it in whichever side you feel comfortable with. Okay, so I'm going to put it in with the left side. So the right-hand side, I'm going to sew these completely. There's no pockets in these trousers. Oh, okay. Okay, you could put some little inseam pockets, Dead easy, just get a pattern piece from another pattern. Would it be in the way of the zip though? How far down would you have to no, put you, them? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're right, aren't you, John? You can put one in the other side, but you only have to have one, not two. Yeah. Yeah, you would. You could put a patch pocket on one and Ooh. a, a <laughs> um, Jackie okay. says, um, uh, from the crotch to the waist, I find they're too long. How do I alter pattern if that makes sense? Now, Jackie, we won't be able to get into that on the show today because that's a proper, like the full bust adjustment earlier. You just don't cut it off the top. You have to reshape the whole crutch seam. Yeah. But we'll do that another day. There was a very good book that you had on. Was it Ahead of the Curve or something like that? Oh, yes, 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 that yes. That was brilliant. Yeah. And um, even though it was maybe plus-size patterns, it was so... Informative, um, oh, yeah, you it could was. use all of them. It was. Um, now I'm thinking that the, what's the new, it hasn't arrived, has it arrived here this week? Well, I've not been here. The new Great British Sewing Bee book. Is... <gasps> yes, Juliet's written it. Yeah, yeah, we had Juliet's book first and the Sewing Bee one was supposed to arrive the same time it was sold out. I'm sure in the Sewing Bee books it will have instructions of how to uh, full bust adjustments and uh, uh, adjust the crotch seat. Now, she's a Wonder Woman. She's made two books. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. Amazing. I've only done one. What are you trying to say? Oh. John can't wait to read your book. Yeah. Uh, who can't? I can't. Oh, well, you're not mentioned. Oh, no, I didn't. I'm not reading it to see if I'm in. I'm reading it to, see, to be supportive and to, be, to find out more oh, about you. I'll just tell you. Give, give me 12 99 and I'll just tell you my life story. <laughs> Uh, Adele, is is it advisable to measure the waist to crotch before cutting out? I'm generally longer in the seat, says Anne. Okay, I'm going to be honest, these are quite low crotch. Yep. Okay, yeah, they because are. you want the swish. So it isn't actually fitted here. All that's really fitted is this area the here. The tummy area. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's you should actually, be alright crotch yeah. depth wise, yeah. You should be absolutely fine with the crotch. Okay. When turning the dart, should you? Back stitch or pull the thread through to the back and tie the thread, says Claire. Okay, so what I do is I never back stitch when you get to the end because you want that to be a nice smooth. So what I do is when I get maybe a centimetre from the edge, just make your stitch length slightly smaller and then off you go. And run off the end. Yes. Yep. Um, and then as you run off, they ravel anyway and saves you. And I've never had to bust. Well, I say I never. That was top earlier. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that bust. I think my under. My uh, bobbin. bobbin had gone all funny. Anyway, um, I haven't had to tie them off and I've never had one. No, no, no. Off. There is a, something called a couture finish dart where you do um, leave the threads and then you tie it in a knot if you want to. And some people go to the bottom of the dart and then stitch up like yeah. a tick going into the actual dart fabric. And that way you don't have any way to finish anything off at all because it's inside the dart. Yeah. I do what you do though, so I just run off. Yeah, and just get slightly smaller because they're more difficult to unpick yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm now gonna sew the side seam where I've got my zip to be inserted. Right. So I'm not gonna sew all the way up. I'm gonna sew away probably about three centimeters underneath. Okay. So you're because, gonna sew, are you gonna what you can sew the whole of the side seam up, but, but three centimeters, centimeters longer than the zip. Yes, because I want to have enough opening to get that zip in, okay. and then we will finish that seam afterwards. Okay. So it does tell you all this on the instructions. Uh -huh. 
But th I made this, um, when did I make this then? About four years ago. So I hadn't been sewing that long when I made these. Uh -huh. And trousers do put people off because you think, oh, all this fitting around the crotch area, I need them to be comfortable. This is a great pattern to start trouser making because, like I said a moment ago, that crotch area is lower. Yeah, it's not like a fitted crotch or anything. No, so. no. And I'm going to be honest, trousers are, are something that I... I do find difficult sewing and getting fitting correctly. Yeah. So we've all got a project that's a bit like, oh, I'm not, I'm not too confident with that. I was always like that with sleeves when I first started. Really? I hated setting in sleeves. Isn't that funny? Yeah. So, and sleeves don't bother me. No. And anyway, like, some people hate zips. Mm. I love zips. I hate buttons. Oh, they do. Oh, these are fake. Oh, are they? Yeah. They're there's just a velcro behind them then? No, 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 they don't even undo. Oh, they're just sewn through, you yeah, put it on over your head. Yeah, I can put it on over my head. No even buttonholes there. Okay, right. Now, our front and our back are different shapes. Right. So you can't just go, oh yeah, put them together and that's it. Now you've got to be mindful of which side you've got your zip opening so that you will own, because you, you're going to leave one end up, that you're only going to sew the other side. So this is my front. Let me work this out, look. Yeah. That's my front. That is my back. Okay, so I yeah. want this side. Hold on. No, hang on. There That's we go. It. Yeah, yeah. I want it's this side. It's easy if you've got pattern fabric. Yes. Gonna make sure that's right. Yeah. If it's not, we can unpick. Exactly. It'll be fine. Right. Okay, and yeah. now we're going to put our facing on. Now, okay. in real life, would you put interfacing on this? Yep, yep. It, I'd put interfacing on this. Um, but like I said before, don't get anything too thick. Yeah. Don't get anything too thick. Um, that was a mistake I made very early on. I got really thick um, interfacing, thinking, oh, I need the waistband to be nice and stiff. Yeah. It's awful, no, no. so uncomfortable to wear. So all I've done first is I've matched up the back, uh, the side seam. Right. I want that to be correct. And then there are notches to show you where the darts will fit. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these notches here, because we've only got one dart on our front, these notches here, we've got two darts on our back. So that helps to ensure that it will all fit going along perfectly. Okay. okay, again, it's a centimetre and a, uh, and a half seam allowance throughout this garment. Right. The same as what we had earlier. Mm -hmm. And then we're putting the zip in. So. You can zip live on telly. Oh, I know. Being if you love it, it doesn't matter, does it? Oh, look at you. What? I've said it and now you're like, right, let's see. Let's do it, girl. Do it, you do it, girl. Yeah, let's do it. It's all about confidence. Button. Earlier, I was talking to Jo <laughs> in the um, green room, and she was behind one of the, the cages. And <laughs> we don't keep our guests in cages. <laughs> no, no, that, that, we were just where the stock that, was. <laughs> and then um, I was saying, sort of like, um, if you go wrong, it doesn't matter, just carry on like this, sort of saying, like, that's how I always think of with sewing. Hannah walked by, she was like, are you all right, Adele? She just thought I was giving myself a prep, a pep oh, talk. Oh, because Joe was in the cage. <laughs> no, she was in the cage. Oh. But Hannah was like, you all right there, Adele? And I was like, yeah, yeah. She was like, I thought you were, like, psyching yourself up before the show. That's because she has to do okay. that in the morning, you see. I'll be all right in this Uber. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. The road will be open. <laughs> oh. Right. So I've got the face in, right size to right size, uh -huh. and we're going to now sew all the way round. Brilliant. Okay. Right. And if you're new, don't think there's anything wrong in marking your one. I mean, I know you've just literally go ahead and you sew yeah. your one and a half centimetres. If you, you're thinking, well, I don't know if I'm going to hit the line, draw it on. Yep. Draw it on, that, and then that way you know you're sewing in the right place. Yep. Um, and you'll be like, ow, oh, ooh, ah. Well, you're all right. I stabbed myself. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, with the centimetre and a half seam allowance, 
if you are slightly between sizes, yeah. then you've got some wiggle room to move your seams. Yeah. Okay, that is the beauty of having such a big seam allowance yeah, exactly. with these patterns. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, a couple of years ago, um, when I was slightly thinner, I uh, used to fit in their size 10 patterns, but I needed a centimetre seam allowance throughout. Oh, I see. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the size 12 was too big. But and the it size was, 10 was too small. Yeah, but it was just how it worked for me. Yeah. Oh, my bobbins just went out. Oh, honestly. But it's OK, look, I've already got a bobbin ready. You mean there was just happened to be one in there? No, I checked before I oh, came in. Okay. Not about that, Joe and I. Did you see the mess we made of our sewing machine? <laughs> I can see you next door. <laughs> I can't go work here. Well, I said, I work and we've both got this. Oh, right. Okay, and then we're going to stick this zip in. Right. So the new thread is red, but that's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to pull them right way through. We still haven't done that middle seam. Uh -huh. Don't worry, we'll pick that up at the moment. We've almost got a bit of a skirt going yeah. on. Okay. Now, with an invisible zip, okay, it's a bit funny how you put it in because you don't put it in like that. You put it in almost back to front, I feel. Right. So I always like to think, right, that's what I would like. I'm going to put it in that way. But I always, okay. whatever zip I'm putting in, I always put it going, right, this is where it's got to end up. Yes. That's, and then work backwards from there. Yes, almost as I was doing. That's yeah. how I want it to look. Yeah. That's how I want it to go in. So it's almost like, hold on, you're putting the wrong side on. No, I'm not. With an invisible zip, it does end up looking like this. Yeah. Okay. And my auntie actually told me when she used to, when she learnt about zips, oh, to hand base them in first, oh, yes, which yeah. I still do, mm -hmm. but just because we're on TV, I'm just going to pin it. I like to hand base them because zips can move a little bit and they can be a bit fiddly. So if you've just got that extra security of a hand yeah. base stitch, yeah. it does help. Okay, so I'm going to use the invisible zip foot, okay, right. which allows us to get as close to that those teeth as possible Lovely. okay and then all we've got to do is the middle zip and then um, seam and then we're done right the zip sold out okay. you're just what hand okay what does the floral sold out oh sorry I see what you mean yeah Floral bundle single figures. Khaki linen, there's only two left. There we go. Right, so that is the first side. In. Right. Okay. Now, this is the... Ooh, oh. It's all right. Don't worry, don't worry. Then, this one is where, like you said, I'm going to put it on and I'm going to think, how does it finish? Yeah. Okay, so it does feel like you've twisted your zip at this point, but you haven't, okay? Don't, don't worry if it feels at the bottom here, it wants to flip in, because it actually will when you finish. Yeah, exactly. It will flip in, okay? But again, this is the joy of hand tacking it in. Yeah. You can then do, complete it, check yep. that it's in the right place before you actually sew anything in, yeah. And also, this one's not so much a problem because you've got the top part, but if you've got maybe a, a zip going into a point where you've got seams matching, I so know, same we're not dress. That. Just, can we look at that? Sorry, hang on, turn it back around. Go, yeah. So, say for example, you've got a zip going in and you've got a waist seam here, yeah. and you want those pieces matching up. Yeah. By hand stitching one side, you can make sure that, that they're they going to meet yeah, exactly. together. There's nothing worse, is there, see the back of a dress and they're, they're off. Sort they're of. off, okay. Whereas on these trousers, it doesn't matter so much because it's at the top. Yeah. Right. There we go. So we, I, I actually love invisible zips. I hardly use visible zips, to be honest with yeah. you. 
Although they had one. Oh no, you haven't watched it, John. They're no, so in me. I'll watch it tonight when I get in. Or tonight, this afternoon. This afternoon. Before you have a kip. Right. And then close it up. And then we've got our invisible zip. I know it's quite visible. If we have more time, just go back over and just put another run down and just get as yeah. close to those feet as possible. There is another See. foot. You just used a normal zipper foot, haven't you? Yeah, I don't have the other one in here. No, I don't think that machine comes with it. There's one where you can... You feed it, this it, into, it, it don't you? It takes the teeth into the hole underneath and it means you stitch directly on yeah. it, which means that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately I haven't got that one on here, no, have I? No. Okay, now we've got this gap between the bottom of our zip and where I sewed oh, up to. Yeah. I'm going to keep my zipper foot on right? and I'm going to sew up. Now the reason why I'm keeping my zipper foot on is because this here is going to be bulk and it wouldn't fit underneath right. to that. So we're just going to close up. Because this is where a lot of people get uh, mistakes. They get a bump at the bottom of the zip, yeah. don't they? So it's important that you keep your zipper foot on. Yeah. And then you can really get right up. There we go. To where the bottom of your trousers were. And fingers crossed. No bump. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Now, to finish off this top here, what we're going to do is open up our zip, get our facing, okay, keep this that side, actually no that way, sorry, and what we're going to do is we're going to have our zip in poking out and then we're going to sew down here. Right. And what that will do is it will encase the zip within the facing, okay. If you ever look at garments that have got zips in, you'll see that they've done this little trick here. Yeah. Then, right, just swap that over. There we go. And then what you find is when you flip over, the top of your zip is all lovely and encased lovely. at the top. So you don't have that bit of the yes, zip yeah, sticking exactly. out. Okay. Same on the other side. Yep, yeah, same on the other side. Make sure that you keep that zip top out of the way. There we go. I need to move that to the other side. Ooh. Oh, sorry. What there are you apologising for? Uh, no, I'm just... Oh, talking to yourself. Talking to myself. You can do it, Adele. You, you can, can do, do this, it. Adele. Joe's not in you the cage. Can you can do this. <laughs> Joe was never in the cage, everyone. <laughs> oh, there we go. First time I met Joe, I don't want her thinking that I stuck her in a cage. There we go. Now I'm going to give it all a nice press uh -huh. to keep that facing on the inside, and you could do some um, under stitching yeah. to keep that in. Then we've got the front, uh, the inside seam, and we're done. Brilliant. Okay, they're giggling in the gallery now because what they're going to do is when you go out the door here, there's going to be a cage. <laughs> you have to get to the cage, they'll shut it, take you to the front door and then release you back into the wild. <laughs> oh. Poor people who don't work here thinking, what on earth are they going on about? Oh. Would you understitch the facing, says Anne. Yes, yes. You're just about to do it, Anne. You're one step ahead of us. Yeah, so I'm just sewing that to keep that seam oh i can't get my hands right this it's because it's been on the wrong side wrong side am i a lefty are you a lefty no nobody I'm else not, plugs I'm, it in there well it was because it was coming across from there john and i didn't want to catch it with my legs and oh right okay where was in so the are you off school no no we're back now yeah but you got back hold on monday yeah yeah I've got one day off. Oh, that's all right then. So you're yeah. not, not taking up all your weekend. No, no. I don't mind it. I love it. But um, it's all go now at school. It's what, all go, go. Exams? Yes. Um, it's the big push left with our year 11s. But they're going to be fabulous. How I old are year 11s then? 16. Oh, so O level year? Uh, yeah, you old days, yes. O levels before your GCSE, uh, your A levels, uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, but they've been doing absolutely brilliantly. Um, really proud of them so far. Aww. So I can't wait. 
So what I'm doing here is under stitching. Yeah. So. What the, does that mean for somebody who doesn't, that doesn't yeah, know? Yeah, so what the understitching is, obviously you've got a seam allowance open and just flapping around. What we're doing is we're attaching the seam allowance to the facing just a, a few millimetres away from where the seam was made. Uh-huh. Okay? And the reason for that is, in a moment, what you'll see is it keeps that seam on the inside rather than it falling out. And it just gives that finish, nice finished look. There we go. I'm just going to keep that there. Just keeping all my darts in place. Oh, and what that does look. So I've got the red on so you can see. Okay. So these won't, this stitch won't be seen from the inside. Uh, outside, outside, sorry. It all keeps it on the inside. Just stops your facing from popping up. At, you know, when you're wearing the trousers, nothing worse than the facing coming up and being poking out the top yeah. of the trousers. Yeah, and then it just finishes that off well, really nicely. It looks like neat, doesn't it, like it that? It does, yeah. it does. And this fabric does press really well as well. Okay. Would you put a hook and bar, a little hook and bar at the top of the zip, or do you think the zip's strong enough to hold itself? Let's have a look, John. Oh. Oh. There we go. No, it's hot, strong enough yeah. itself. Because there's nothing at the gap at the top. Okay, right, what we're going to do now is just do this front seam. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to find the middle part, find the crotch, put this on the inside out. There we go. Find that way. Then we're going to sew down one leg, back to the top, sew down oh, the so other leg. Oh, you wouldn't leg. do it in one big U shape? No, because I wouldn't want it to twist out. Right. Because you, if you're doing a one one big line of stitching, it can easily twist out. You don't want it being all uncomfortable, no, do you? No, not at all. Also, if that if that seam goes a bit funny, it can pull the whole trouser leg, can't it? Yeah. Then? And then it's just hemming. Uh, Dale's using the five seventy eight. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if it's appeared on the uh, website yet, but I've written a piece about the 550, 560, and 570 for the... I look like I've shrunk, don't I, little old man? I look, I've written a, bit, a piece about the 560, 570, and 550 for the website. I don't know if it's there yet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. No, I don't get paid for it. No, I did it in my own time. Where the machine is, I think. Okay, and then we're just going to hem these. Now, normally you'd press these up, make sure that's done yeah. before you hem. Okay, I'm just going to go for it so that we've got them all finished. Yeah. I just think, who was it? Was it Carmela earlier? Carmela, if you made these for you, made them full length, it'd be nice to put a turn up on the bottom as well. Oh, yeah. Not, not, if they're, not if they're cut off as short no, no. If they went to the floor, yeah. just a really lovely soft yeah. cut turn up at the bottom would be nice. I'm just going to... In the linen. Fold this. Would you blind hem the bottom? Yes, you could blind hem the bottom. But you're not going um, to. I'm not going to, but this is the, this is the beauty of dressmaking. Yeah. Um, you can take your time on these small techniques that make your garments last that little bit longer. Um, does it... I know I've just sat and done this in yeah. one sitting. It doesn't have to be done in one sitting. No. Hannah said she'd pipe. <laughs> she'd do what? Oh, it looked, they apparently looked like you got piping cord out and thought you were going to pipe the bottoms of the trousers. <laughs> Hannah, it's been a long week for Hannah. She's watched too much of the 7B, hasn't she? Right. She hasn't watched it. Oh, my gosh. She's not if you have watched it. Yeah. Handsome Adam has. What did he In think In preparation to it? for today. Um, what I would do, or what I would do on something like this, is I would cut the pattern a little bit longer and have a really deep hem on the bottom of the trousers. Ooh. When it's in linen or something like that, I just think it looks nice. A deep hem looks lovely. And then really sort of have nice stitching yeah. to show it off. Yeah. But we would just give it also that extra bit of weight. Yeah. You know what I mean? At the bottom of the hem. Yeah. Heavy, here we go. And 
and then the other side. But they're just so, uh, like, I love clots. Yeah. I am a clot fan, to be honest with you. She's only finishing these so she can wear them home. <laughs> You going out this afternoon? No, no, oh. haven't got anything planned. Uh, we're going for a walk tomorrow, though. Oh, nice in the rain. It's not going to rain tomorrow, is it? But it wasn't meant to rain today. Oh no, I, we thought it was going to rain today. Well, the BBC weather forecast said it wasn't going to rain where I live. Oh, all my yeah. garden furniture, all my cushions are soaked. Would you overlock the seam hem rather than turn up the seam before sewing? Yep. Yep, I would overlock all of this linen uh, before you even start, just so that you don't get this fraying. I'd keep it all nice. Man says, loving the show, Adele, you make things look so easy. The thing is, Amanda, when you have that bit of confidence, they are easy. Yeah. It's just the fear of doing them, I think, that's sometimes a bit frightening. Are your glasses new? No, they're not, not new. They're not new. I've had either wear these or the blue ones on the telly. You couldn't find them earlier, could you? And where were they? In front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, I can't see, I've got glasses, John, here they are. Yeah. Couldn't see because I've got them on, I don't. Couldn't see them because I've got oh, my glasses on. Right. She is being cheeky, put her in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Clots. They're lovely, aren't they? And also, Ooh, with sorry. a few washings, that linen will get softer and softer yeah. and softer, won't it? Yeah, it's really nice. But a really nice pattern. But, Go and yeah. put them on then. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> only joking. <laughs> we are going now with You can't go because I've got to talk about this. Yes. Another so over it pattern. Yeah. You demoed this recently, did you? No, no, no. Oh, this wasn't was you. Mark. Wasn't you? Mark did this right. one. Right. So this is uh, a range of patterns that, well, a range of their patterns that they've just released for the absolute beginner. Right, okay. oh perfect. So this is, if you've never done anything with jersey before, this is an absolutely brilliant pattern to have a go yep. at. Um, it's the Bilbrey t-shirt and it's just a really nice... I can show you. Oh yeah, you got it. Box t-shirt with a neck Stretch, band. it's a stretch t-shirt obviously. Yeah. So this is, if you've never done any t-shirting or any stretch fabric before, maybe a brilliant one to start with. The pattern is 17 pounds, what size does it go so from So this is two? eight to 20. And then also you've got the sleeves to put in as well. So it's a nice technique to learn how to put sleeves in on a, a stretch fabric. Okay, turn it over so we can see the yes. back of the pattern and all the sizes on the back there. Just bring it across this way a little bit. Perfect. Can you go in a little bit closer, please? Thank you. Yep, so it says a cotton jersey or a viscose jersey. So a viscose jersey is just a lighter weight. I'd say that's a cotton jersey. Yeah, I would it? as well, yeah. And then yeah. a viscose jersey would give more drape and a little bit more yep. fluidity. But if it's your first begin, I'd get something like that, a cotton jersey. It was on last Sunday with Mark, right? Now, the other thing about this fabric is, um, I, I, do we have this fabric as well? We haven't got this one, but you'd have to finish the fabric off. I'll show yep. you in the next hour. You'd have to finish the fabric off at all. So you could sew it together with an overlock if you wanted to, but if you've only got a sewing machine, you can sew it together and the fabric doesn't, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fray. 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 No, not at all. So uh, I made my first jersey outfits before I even got my overlocker yeah. and I just left them and it won't even unravel in the wash. Are you talking to me, Hannah? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. There's the body measurements. Size I mean, you don't even need 20. much fabric, look. No? So it's a great starter pattern. Perfect. And there's the finished garment size in inches, because I think it looks like quite, like it's quite that, fitted. Yeah. This one's tiny. This one, little one here. What size that one is? I don't know, there's no What's label in it. Oh. I'm just going to try them all on now. Yeah, I think that'll be mine. Is it what a 10 or a 12. Mark normally makes a 12 when he does the sample. Should I put so. it on over the top? Yeah, go on then. Watch your microphone, that's all. I'd say We've got jerseys well. in the next hour and an overlock in the next hour. Just to let you know, the pattern was back in stock. Oh, there, there you go. go. Well, that's really nice. Very nice. Also, I, what I like is the sleeves are not skimpy. Do you know no. what I mean? Some t-shirts, they're that little bit too short and most of us don't like showing yeah. that part of our arm. I we? wonder if you could make this for men as well. Well, you you got got any, well, let's get the pattern out. All you've got to do is maybe just take that little curve out there, wouldn't you? Because there's no bust seams or anything. No, well, let's have a look. I feel like thank you with my dress underneath. Well, you're going to make it for husband. Let's have a look. Actually, there's no shaking in it at no. all. No! 
So it could be a boy. You just have yeah. to work out the right size that you need. That's all. But my husband likes, a sl he calls it a slim fitting t shirt. Oh, oh, I can't, because I feel like a sausage skin that's about to burst. One of those. Let me just have a look here. So let's have a look. Size 20. Now, this has got the seam allowance in it, hasn't yep. it? Yeah, so, centimetre and a half. A metre and a half? Centimetre <laughs> and a half. Right, yeah, I'll trim this one down a bit. Hang on, so take that to there. That's there. So that is, uh, take off a, uh, a centimetre and a half. So that's um, 28. Take off a centimetre and a half. That's 26 and a half. Oh, no, because that, that, no, that did to fit me. I can make really? this for me, yeah. What, size eight fit you? No, 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you could do small. No. So it could be used, because there's, there's, there's the amount, look at that. If you look at that, the shape, oh, you can't see it. The amount of shaping on the side of there is so minimal. All yeah. you do is just straighten those lines off. And it'll be like slim fitting or um yeah well unless i made if i made the biggest i could have a bit of extra space yeah in mine. yeah and everyone needs t-shirts in their wardrobe don't they yes for your holidays yes Stick you could so easily lengthen it you just add, you, you don't even have to split the pattern you could just add it onto the bottom yep are you going to do a what one oh what you extend it to your knees Oh, I'll make a dress. Yeah. A t shirt dress. Yeah. You just you might have, have to, to make be mindful the neck, if you. No, you might have to make the neck bigger. To, it depends how much stretch you've got on the. It depends how much stretch what, you've got on you the. What if you fabric. want to dress? You have to go like that. Yeah, you'll just. You get someone to pull it down. For yeah. You. Oh, but Hannah. No, she'll end up at the bus stop like this. <laughs> or, do you know what you could do? What, 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 what? Right. You could cut it at the. Uh, waist yeah. and then put a gathered skirt on it. Oh, there. Then you won't need to change the neckline at, at all. At all. Hannah. £17, please. And that would be like secret pyjamas. I call them secret pyjamas because you're just really comfortable, but you're not in your pyjamas. You're in actual clothes. But then you go to bed in it. Well, well I won't go to bed in it. Oh, Hannah would. This could be your nighty. You know, you were talking yes. about Yes, who asked about the nighty? Exactly. Well, there you go. It's a brilliant pack to get, £17. Where's the front of it again? There yeah. it is. So it's back in stock. It was Mark's show last Sunday. Sizes 8 to 20. Oh, here you go, body measurements. It says 45 chest, 38 waist. I would make it a little bit bigger for me. But it'll be easy to Oh, no, here you go. Here's the finished size. Here's the finished size. Brilliant. Right. Um, don't go anywhere. Thank you, Adele. Thank we you don't know when me. you're in next, do we? Sometime no, we don't in know June. yet. In June sometime. And if I'm in with you, we're doing a reel. You, we are. All I'm acting around your house and do one anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you're a potty pump. I've got a question for you. What? Oh, I said that. Who's that question from? Tana, well, you're not listening. I said you could so easily do it on the sewing machine. Cause if you use it, right. You can do it on your sewing machine, right? But as long as the fabric isn't one that frays, but most jerseys don't fray. Yep. That one that Mark's used there, he's not finished any seam at all. Nope. We've got jersey fabrics coming up in the next hour, so I'll be able to tell you which ones you can and you can't. But if you do make yep. it with an overlock, because I've got a lovely overlock in the next hour, um, that means everything's finished off because you, you stitch it with the overlocker all the way, all through. The way through. Now, a uh, ballpoint needle or ball a... Ballpoint needle, and then I would also use the lightning bolt stitch. Yeah, the stretch stitch on yep. your machine, yeah, which all the machines have got now. Yep. Uh, bought the Bilby last time it was demonstrated. Great beginners patterns. Getting the neck band in is easier than most T-shirt patterns from Bonita. Yes. Now, Benita, I watched an episode of Grace and Frankie last night, and it was all about the Benita band, 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 Bandits. Oh. I, I love that show. It's coming to an end, though, and I've only got a couple left, and oh. I don't want it to finish. Anyway, Dad, thank you so much. It was thank lovely you. to see you. We'll see you in June. Yes. Where we make a reel. And I'll see you in about four minutes when I've got overlockers, sewing machines, and jersey. I'll see you in four. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. 
Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Now, there's still people not checked out on Kevin, Kelvin, or Marcy, whichever you want him to be. They're all the same one. They're all the same. They're just the three different names we gave to it, right? Hundreds of people have checked out. Hundreds of you got them. Joe will be posting them all out next week. She's ready to go and everything because they come directly from her. However, we've got this and we don't know if it's our problem or if it's not your problem, but if it basically there's a glitch of people who've got it like you almost like bottlenecked. You put it in your baskets. Other people are coming in, buying it and checking out and kind of diverting you. But as each of those check out, right? It means that there's fewer available for the people who are just sitting. So if you are just sitting with your basket, that's your prerogative. That's no problem. There's no problem with that at all. But it also means there's fewer and fewer and fewer available when you do decide to come and check out. So please be careful. Isn't he gorgeous? Hey, she, it's, it's up to you. You can call him whatever you like. 29.99. Do you want me to go over there for a close up? Well, no, you shot. Um, uh, it was 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, Joe was in during the demo of this. Please watch on YouTube or catch up. Look at him. Her. It. Was it 10 o'clock? Yeah. No, it's because that clock on your wall's wrong. It was 9 o'clock was Adele doing it at the top. 10 o'clock was Joe doing this. We've just done 11 o'clock, which was Adele doing the culottes, wasn't it? 29.99. Isn't he beautiful? And, oh, I've got a kit here, so I can't show you. You do get a free little badge with it as well. And the reason I've kept the instructions is the instructions are so thorough. And she said this is one of her simplest ones for you to make. Maybe one of the simplest ones, but it's still very effective, isn't it? What I love about Joe's um, designs, they've all got their own personality and character, haven't they? Beautiful. Please be careful, though. If you've got it in your basket, I don't want anyone to miss out. Last time, Joe, when she did Otto, which is now completely sold out, Otto sold out, we got more in, and he's just sold out again today. So I don't want the same, I don't know if we can get any more of these, but um, today's stock, please, please, please be careful. That's all I'm saying. Now, right, I have got, I don't know if I've still got four of these. I've still got four, but there are people got them in their baskets, right? I, as you know, Hannah's got my overlocker, and I've said to her, just keep it, just keep it. I'm going to get one of these. Now, I did panic a little bit. Last time I did this, a lady messaged in saying, oh, I've bought one for you, John. It was, uh, it, thank goodness, thank goodness, because I don't, please don't. But this is the one I'm going to buy. This is the one I'm going to buy. Now, it always costs this much money. Th this is how much we charge for it, and you can find it. Google it, Yahoo it, Bing it. That's how much you'll see this overlocker for sale for. £1,059. I have got four that I have a free gift with it. And the reason I've only got four, I've got more of the machines, but the reason I've only got four is I've only got four of these left. There's none available on their own to buy, right? But four of you, if you use this code, WX6691, you get this box of overlocking threads completely for free. You don't have to put a code in or anything. If you buy WX6691, this is what you'll get with your overlocker, right? You can still do, um, Split pay, £211.80. Just love, just love, just love. Right, so you get all of these £52.99 worth of thread completely for free. Right, now let me show you. I love this machine, right, because this is simpler to thread up than a sewing machine. It's the, it's because it's air threader. Everyone panics about threading up an overlocker, right? If you've got one of these, let me know. Let me message in now, either on the, in, you know, on the internet, no, on that, Facebook Live or the, any, anyway, if you've got it, right? This, it, it's the loopers that are really difficult. No, I'm going to take that back. It's not really difficult, but it's the loopers that are difficult-ish to thread. This machine takes away every single a problem like that, right? Because if you take away, I'm just going to switch it off so it's not on, right? Take the gubbins tray out, open this up, right? Now, normally here, you see all different um, threads, you know, kind of drawings of where to put your thread to and everything like that. You don't need to do that with this. So what you do, now normally you have to thread an overlocker from uh, this side here, you start with this one and work your way across. You don't have to do that with this at all. What you do is you take the first thread, 
You take it up through your telescopic um, top here, down through there, take it through the tension. What you then do is you take the, the thread down here to this hole, right? There's a hole just in there. You turn this dial to the hole that you're dealing with. You turn this dial from sewing to threading. Oh, there you go, that's it. And then you turn this wheel, the, the clutch, till it clicks, right? So nothing moves. And what that's done, it has aligned up all the tubes that the, the, the thread has got to go through. What you then do is you then put your thread into here. Now you need to put in, the first time I tried this, I couldn't get it to work at all. And it's because you need to put about an inch and a half of the thread into there. Don't just put, I was just, Top putting in a little bit there. You need to put about an inch and a half of the thread in there. You then lift this lever up, press it down. When you press it down, it sucks air in from outside here, and then it pushes that thread through for the lower looper. That's all you have to do for the lower looper. Then what you do is you do the next thread, the next thread along, up through the telescopic, down through the um, tension, right? And then you just, all you do is you just literally turn that to that one there. Do exactly the same. That is your upper looper done. And then these, these uh, needles, to thread the needles, all you do here, you take it up through here, take it down through the tension, you run it along the front of the machine there, over the top of this bit sticking out, take it down, you take it through the guide and thread the needle. It has a needle threader on it already, look. It has, uh, hang on, I can't see it from the back here. There it is. It's got a needle thread on it. You can do the left and the right needle on there. And that will thread your needle as well. That's it done. That's the machine done. Then all you have to do is switch it on. You turn this uh, uh, switch back from threading to sewing. You close up your box. You put your gubbins tray back on. And you're ready to go. You're ready to go. There you go, I've got, I've got somebody missing. I bought mine a few weeks ago, cannot believe how easy it is to thread. I love it so much, I use it for everything I can think of. Phyllis in Gretna. Phyllis, aren't they brilliant? So, uh, Overlock is the kind of thing you think, oh, I don't need one of those, I don't need one of those. Today, on um, uh, Adele's two shows today, she could have finished all of her edges, so when she cut the pattern out, right, you just finish all your edges like that, before you even start sewing the garment together and there is your finished edge it's nicely beautifully done and gives it a lovely professional feel another message love my elner air threader i'd never seen one before let alone used one i unpacked it watched the video threaded it in minutes i am loving it from susan in west sussex it, 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 I can't tell you how easy it is right so that's for finishing edges if you want to sew a seam together with it you literally go down here now you've got a little mark you get a little mark oh there you go um, another message coming in now I bought the 864 from Safe Street last month and I'm really delighted first ever overlocker after years of shall I shan't I total game changer from Chloe in Cambridgeshire another one another one been looking at overlockers for months finally took the plunge and ordered mine this morning looking forward to trying it out oh there you go Victoria's bought hers this morning Victoria did you get one of these with this Oh, she has, she has. Phew, phew, I don't want, you to, don't want you to miss out. Right, okay, if you're going to seam, uh, if you're making jersey, right, and you want to seam something together, you literally do exactly the same thing using your four threads. See, then this is, then, so the edge looks like, uh, the, like the edge I just showed you, finished off edge, right? But then, if you open it out, that's your seam done at the same time. I oh, know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Now, does it go round corners, you say? Right, you hope. Let's do a, cor a round corner or a square corner. A round corner. Both. Um, right, I could make an antimacassar with this. Right, uh, um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, tell you what I'll, I'll cut it so you can see rather than you just go round. Uh, scissors, scissors, scissors. No, 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 it's absolutely fine, because I love this machine. I'm so going to get one. Right, let me just cut that open there. You don't need one, honey, you've got mine at home. Right, so, let's cut a square. 
Oh, you've lent it to somebody. Well, you better get it back if you want it. Right, OK, so can it do corners? There's an there's a L shape I've cut out of the fabric. Oh, can you see that? Hang on. L shape cut out of the fabric. Get to the corner. Twist your fabric. Goes nice and fast as well. So look. So is it in shot? There you go. Perfect round the L. And the same if you want to do a curve. That, and and every, all, the, all the bits all go into your gubbins tray. Um, hang on. Rebecca Harrison's always angry because hers hasn't got a rubbish tray on it, has it? Look, but there you go. That's it going round a, a curve as well. Yeah, do it to your pieces before you start sewing. Like, or, or if you're doing dressmaking, cut your pieces out and just do that, especially if you're using linen or canvas or something like that. Bag making, just do all of your edges first because you know when you do bag making, it's really difficult to get into some of those corners, isn't it? Just overlock everything, right? When we make, used to make costumes, right? And Dulcie still do it now with her costumes, right? You literally cut all your pattern pieces out and you, you just overlock around the edge so they're all totally sorted. It's not part of the construction, but it means that every single edge is finished. Right, the thing is, it just doesn't do this. I'll show you the list of what it, what it can do. We've got a slide. Key features here. Now, at the bottom of it's cut off on this one. Oh no, on that one, sorry, you can show that one first. There you go, key features there. No, no, look at how fast it goes, look. Well, I can tell you on that one. Uh, can I have it on the big telly, please? Because I can't read it on the little screen, I'm afraid. Oh, no, it normally comes up on this big telly here. Never mind, never mind. Uh, air threading system. Two, three, and four threading overlocker. Built-in needle thread. I told you that, though. Oh, differential feed. Now, I'll just explain that to you. So a differential feed is, you know, like on a walking foot. I just have to show you this to explain that, right? A differential feed, it's where you take, where at the moment that the feed dogs just take the bottom fabric through, don't they? Don't touch the top fabric. Put your differential feed in. They can go through at, diff uh, at the same speed or at different speeds. So if you want to gather a fabric and things like that, you chain, you play with your differential feed. Oh, thank you. Britt. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, five leather, le uh, level. Oh, it's gone again now. There you go, five level press of foot uh, pressure dog, eight piece feed dog system, two thread converter, built in thread cutter, and a maximum speed uh, adjustable up to 1,300. Now, I was going to do this, wasn't I? I was going to look for how you, um, you adjust the speed, and I haven't done that. I think it's one of the dials, and it's because I've not been in all week. Right, show the other slide then. So, the bottom top is, I'm not going to go through those, it's all the. Um, yeah, that one. Uh, it's got all the accessories that you get anyway, right? But look, if you do a four thread program, you can do overlocking, stretch stitch, decorative overedging, and gathering. If you do a three thread program, you can do overlocking, regular and wide, a rolled hem, so if you're making chiffon scarves for Christmas presents, narrow hem, pico hem, flat lock and pin tuck, and then the two thread program does the flat lock and the rolled hem. Now, when they say, um, use a two thread or a three thread you don't nest the two thread you don't need both needles in do not leave a needle in going up and down that hasn't got a thread going through it it won't damage your machine at all it doesn't damage your machine at all but it means you're going to be piercing your fabric as you go along you don't need to do that now let me just tell you when you're putting the needles in I'll turn that round so you can see the needles are at uh, different heights they're meant to be they're meant to be at different heights so when you're putting the needles back in don't be thinking oh that one's a little bit higher than that one they're meant to look if you just sit there it's full on one slightly higher than the other one it's supposed to be also you do have a like you know like on a sewing machine you have something to, don't use that as little as you as little as you can the best way to do is just lift that and you'll just put your fabric through that way because that way it doesn't play with your tension the blade is tucked in there oh you can't see it then the blade is tucked in there you see 
That's where the blade is safely tucked away. These are all the dials where you can move your blade out or in, change your seam allowance, your all of your different things. And I think your speed one's on there as well. Um, uh, but also the other thing is when you're threading, when you thread, even though you've got a th needle threader, right? There is, uh, no, it's on this one. No, it's on, on the other one. I'll show you. There's a button where you can move the needles to thread them because you've got your needle threaders on this one. You don't need to. Right. So all of that for £1,059. It is brilliant. The, the first foot, well, one will have gone now, won't it? The blade, yes, you can disengage the blade, but I don't know how to do it. And I promised I would do it because I've been away for a week. I haven't had a chance to do it. I didn't know I had overlockers today. So next time I do overlockers, I'll definitely do how you do a hem on it, how you disengage the blade, and how you change the speed. I'll definitely, definitely do those for next time. Okay, right. If you, uh, what was the question? Right. Uh, no, now, uh, you, can, you, you can disengage the blade, but you can also move the blade out, so you don't need to lose your seam allowance at all. Can you see here, there's a little... Uh, can you see on there, it says five-eighths of an inch? If you line up the edge of your fabric with that, that means you get your five-eighths... So it sews it together with the equivalent of a five-eighths of an inch seam allowance. But yes, you can disengage the blade, and in this one, you get a spare blade. You do get a spare blade because the amount of times, and I've done it, when you're in a rush and there's a pin in a garment and you run it over, you can, uh, you can cut, not cut your needle, but um, what's the word I'm looking for? Get a, not, a little, div it, yeah, that could be a word. Nick. nick, thank you. A nick in your blade, right? And that's rubbish for it, right? You can, you can, you can, you can change the blade. You get a spare one in this one. Some machines, you don't get a spare one. By the time you've ordered it and it's arrived and everything like that, you're bored of making whatever you're making. This way you can just carry. Right, uh, split payment, split payment. Look, uh, you pay £211.80. Now, what day of the week is it? Is it Sunday? Oh, well, nothing will happen today. Oh, I know it happened tomorrow because it's bank holiday. But on Monday, Elna will get an email from us to say, right, two people have checked out. Is that right? And one in baskets, right? So officially, I've only got one left. If that per unless that person doesn't check out, then I've got two left of this bundle. Right, now I know we can't remake this bundle at the moment because we've only got four of these. I've only got four of these, haven't I, Han? Yeah, that's why... Yeah, uh, we can't even sell it to you separately. The machine we can, but we can't sell this to you separately because there's literally just four at the moment. But anyway, um, the Elna will get an email from us saying... Uh, it just, uh, well, they won't tell them. Basically, whether you pay £1,059 or you've just paid your first instalment of £211.80, Elna will get an email on Monday slash Tuesday because it's bank holiday weekend saying Hannah McCabe has bought one of these please send one to her in Birmingham right even if you've only paid the first payment right even if you've only paid that first payment right we'll still send it out to you comes directly from Elna so please 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 do not buy express delivery do not buy express delivery because they don't do that. It's only when it comes from our warehouse. But they are really quick. I know. Somebody messaged, somebody messaged the other day saying, I bought this machine yesterday and it's arrived today. I'm not saying yours will do that, but they are so quick in getting their, their stuff out to you. And you don't have to wait until you've paid all five payments to actually get it. Now, uh, you do get a two-year warranty as well from Elna. I just want to talk about this because my mum and dad, right, they all just say, oh, we don't have things on tick. It's a generational thing, isn't it? We don't have things on tick. We don't do that. We don't. Well, it's true. They, they were like, no, no, we don't do credit. We, if we can't afford it, we don't buy it, right? In this day, apparently I'm like Adam's nan, right? Um, but, 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 we put it there for a reason because we know how stressful life is at the moment. We know all the gas going up, all that sort of thing. We know you can afford the £1,059, but you might not want that much. I always like to keep, I, Hannah's the same, right? We've got this little bank account, which has got a tiny bit of money in it, and we won't touch that money because what happens if the boiler breaks? What happens if, she worries about her boiler up. What happens if I, I haven't got pet plan for my cats yet? So what happens if the cats suddenly need an operation and you need instant, that's what this, mine would be this, you see. Mine would be, that's what mine's tucked away, you see. So rather than do that, I'd rather do this, right? To pay £211 eight, five times, right? Uh, the other thing I think of, right, is I put everything on my credit card, right? And I try and pay it off every, every month. If, however, I couldn't, right? If you put this on a credit card and next month you paid off £211.80, 
when the credit card comes in the next month, the 800, 900 pounds that's left as added, I bet you any money the interest will be like that much anyway. So you, it's, it would, oh, it's a never, oh, it's never ending spiral, I know. So, all I'm saying is, it's there to help. Don't think, oh, credit, 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 credit. Use it, use it, you, because you can have this at home within a few days and be using it after just paying your first instalment. And I don't mean to be patronising or anything like that. I'm the same, if I can get split payment, I do. Okay, right, now there are more people got this in their baskets than are available, right? I, we do have this, the overlocker on its own. So if you don't want the threads, you can buy the overlocker on its own. But I'm just thinking, get this, get this, get this. Okay, right. I'm not adding any undue pressure, but there's one of these bundles left and there's five people got it in their basket. Take the graphics out. I will put the graphics through for the machine on its own. So if you missed out on the threads, if you missed out on the threads, this is a different code, you see. QPWQ97. That's how much you pay. The split pays the same, but you don't get the threads with that. The machine is exactly the same. So if you've just missed out on the deal with the, th with the threads, I've got... You can still get the machine, you just don't get the £50 worth of threads with it. And I know that seems harsh, but that was... That was I, I explained that at 8 o'clock this morning. Well, I only had four of those, right? Right. Oh, it's the... Righty-o, I'll just get that out then, shall I? That's all right. I've got a more affordable overlocker, but it's not an air threader. The other thing I'm going to say to you is, how much was that? Did I say 105.9, was it? 105.9. This is not me going... Uh, just Google Yahoo or Bing how much you can pay for an air threader overlocker, right? We sell a Juki one, and I'm not dissing Juki. You could be an Elna girl, or boy, you can be a Juki, but, but the Juki one is £1,295. That's another payment on top, isn't it? And I'm not, I'm not putting one against the other. I'm not saying one's better than the other or anything like that. I'm just saying we sell two different makes. The Elna is £1,059. El uh, my sewing machine is the Elna, right? My sewing machine is Elna, so I would automatically go for this. If you're a Juki boy or Juki girl, then maybe you'd go for the Juki one, but that is £295 more, £1,295. Right, let me just put this to one side. Which one have I got, Anna? No, that's fine. The most affordable one that we do do. Here. This is the most... Now, this, I haven't got this one threaded up or anything, but this is the most affordable one we do. £309. Now, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened by the threading. But you do have to thread all four threads in this one. But you get what you pay for, don't you, basically? Now, I know lots of people, if you look at our FIFUs for this, people go, it's so easy to thread. It's so easy to, well, compared to a lot of overlockers, it is really easy to thread. Remember, though, that you, you must thread from this side. You must always do this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one. If that one breaks, don't just re-thread that one. You need to unthread them all and thread again from the beginning. But look at the price. £309 or split pay £103 three times. That's what, sorry? No, 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 no. You can do lots and lots and lots of different stitches that are listed in the brochure and it tells you which, which needle you need to use, which thread you need to use and everything like that. But it's, it is, it's still an overlocker. There's everything, there's your differential feed and everything like that. Does all the things you'd expect of an overlocker. For, for £309 or split pay £103. There's no little tray on this one either. Now, has this one got the red button? No. Anyway, it's, it is... Now, you see, if I hadn't seen... Before I saw the air threader, I kept saying... I was saying to you, oh, this is the easiest overlocker I've ever, thre ever threaded up. Because I was used to the big industrial ones that we used in theatre and in costume departments and things like that, which are really, really complicated to thread. This is very, very easy to thread. This is... I would say this is the easiest one I've ever threaded that hasn't got the air, right? Now, now that I've seen the air threader, that's way far, that's so much easier. This isn't difficult. What I'm trying to say to you is, is out of the ones that you have to thread, this is one of the easiest I've ever come across. And maybe you don't want all the, the whistles. And, have we got any slides for this one? 
Okay, £309. That's right. Basically, we do do one called the um, 664 Pro as well, which is this machine, but with added, with, it's, got a, uh, it's got a little um, screen here and it's got all different, and it's got a little um, rubbish tray. You can buy the rubbish tray from Elna, the sit on here, but it just doesn't come with the, this is the basic, basic, basic model. I just want to show you the two different, uh, uh, two different uh, ends of the Elna overlockers. Oh, the bundle overlocker sold out. So the only way you can get the air threader now, should we put that graphic back in for the air threader without the bundle, because the bundle one sold out. I just have to give this box, otherwise somebody won't get their box. Thank you. Um, there it is, a QPWQ 97. It's still worth it. It's still a fantastic machine. The price is amazing. You just don't get the box of threads with it, because they've all gone now. They've all gone. Right, I've got to very, very quickly talk to you about this. I don't know if the thing's arrived on the website yet. I'll have to have a look later. This machine is gorgeous. This is the Elna 570. Now, if I hadn't already got my 680, I'd be buying this one, right? The first thing I'm going to tell you is Yahoo, Google or Bing, this sewing machine. Make sure you put in Elna 570A because the A means alphabet. Not all 570s have an alphabet. The one you're going to get from us is the most uh, recent. It's the 570AV3. £649, uh, split pay, 162 25 over four payments. Are you going to do, should I carry on while you find them? Okay. So, on here, you do get, you've just seen, you've just seen, um, Adele, using this, it's a lovely machine. The 550, 560, 570 is a gorgeous machine, but if you're going to go for any of them, if you can afford it, go for this one. Okay, so, you've got, oh, God, Christ and Christ, we'll do that first time. Right, so this is, the, we haven't gone to the most expensive shop. That's the first one that comes up if you Google it, right? £739. It is exactly the same machine. Exactly the same sewing machine, £739. It's £90 more. Now, I know when people show price prices it's like five or ten pounds, you think, oh well, I could, you know, that's my poster packaging. £90. £90. These are in stock, out in stockport, ready to ship to you now. Margaret from West Yorkshire, she's bought this one, she loves it. This one doesn't come with a walking foot, but you can. Oh, now they might have sold out. We had, them, we had them last week before I went on holiday, but I bet they've sold out. Another price comparison for you. £739. Beautiful. Right, I'm, I, I could go on like that for hours and hours and hours. You only have to go down the list and they're all there. You can see them all. And I'm not saying we're the only person that sells at that price. There might be a shop in Middlesbrough. Why did I say Middlesbrough? I don't know. Mac Manchester, Macclesfield, I don't know. That selling it for 640 pounds, I'm not saying we're the only people that sell at that price, but we have a really good deal with Elna, and we pass that good deal on to you. It comes with a two-year warranty, will be sent to you directly from Elna. Do not buy express delivery. But however, what you do need to look at is the front of the machine. So you've got da -da 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 lock stitch, needle up, needle down, uh, automatic thread cutter. This is your reverse button. This means you can sew with it without using the foot pedal. So if you have any issues with your bunion or something like that, just press that button. Now, it won't work while the foot pedal is, pl is plugged in. I'll show you that in a second. Then we move along the top here. This is you go faster, go slower. Then this here, these are the, how you choose your stitches. I'll show you that in a second. Stitch width, stitch length. There are 15 different uh, needle positions on this sewing machine. Then, uh, I'll come back to that in a minute. This is your stitch, like I say, your stitch width. That's just moving you. And that on there is your stitch length. You saw, uh, you can just change it. 1.8 there for your foundation paper piecing or your five for your gathering. Here, you've got a shortcut to your straight stitch. There, you've got a shortcut to your zigzag. There, you've got a shortcut to your over edge, which is like overlocking, but just doesn't cut it. And you get an over edge foot with it. There is a shortcut to one of your buttonholes. Then along here, you can put, let me just put that down to clear. The C button is just to clear it back to factory default. The memory is when you're doing letters or you're doing decorative stitch um, combinations. And then this here, you see there, 
the little pair of scissors there that appears, right? That's to say that you've got an autumn. So it means when you finish stitching, it will cut your thread. While you're still there, you see you've got the, the, the icon of the foot pedal there. I've just unplugged the foot pedal, which means you can now use this machine using the, the start stop button on the front, put the foot pedal back in, you can't do. Right, now this is where you choose your stitches. This machine comes with 200 inbuilt stitches. Would you like to come down here, handsome Adam? <laughs> that was a bit rude, wasn't it? I didn't mean it like that. And I am, by the way, I'm not objectivizing him. It's his nickname. It's his nickname. It's not me saying he's handsome. He is handsome, but that's not the name I've given him. Right, look down here. 200, look at all those buttonholes. There's 200 built-in stitches. That does not include your alphabet, right? So, you, the way you, where you work is, right, Adam, choose a stitch. 30, right? So we're in zone two, mode two. So what you do is you come back up here. You go to press mode two. So we're in mode one at the moment. Go to mode two. What number do you say? 30. 10, 20, 30. That's not a very good one to choose because that tells you what foot, uh, how big it is default. Okay, 32 then. There you go. Tells you what foot to use, how wide it is, how narrow it is, that you've got your foot pedaling. You can still change these. So you test it out if it's not exactly what you want. So every single decorative stitch also has uh, choices in it, right? Let's just press this to go back to the beginning. Right, now for your alphabet, we have got a slide for the alphabet, haven't we? Oh, okay, they, they, it's really funny because when I was in last week, they went, Hannah's done these brilliant slides and we showed you all the brilliant slides. They put them somewhere, we can't find them now. Where are Hannah's slides, she's saying. Anyway, you get two alphabets. So look on the side here. If you press mode, right, the first one is your normal alphabet. Your second one, where all the lights come on, is your celeriac. I call it the celeriac one. I can't remember what it's called. Cyrilli Cyrilliac. You should. No. I'll show you anyway. Uh, Hannah's just putting the thing together. Can we just see the alphabet? Have you found that, Han? Oh, we haven't found the alphabet. No, I don't want accessories. I want alphabet. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. What you do is, in the brochure, it tells you that A is, say, one, two. You go into mode, and then you choose the stitches, right? If you're spe spe spelling John, you pick, uh, I think it's number, oh, not that. Pick, you pick number 10, say, that's the J. Then you press memory. Then you pick the O, and then you press memory, and you make up the list of letters. And there's also exclamation marks, punctuation marks, all sorts of things like that going on in there as well. Uh, it brings it up to a total of 380 stitches. It either has spaces, it has upside down question marks, it has all sorts of things like that. Um, but I will show you the slide that Hannah's found for you now. Very quickly, because the other one's disappeared. She's not happy. Ooh. Here you go, stand accessories. Now these come with all of them, 550, 560 and 570. It tells you in brackets which one to get to. So the standard accessories that they all come with are standard foot A, satin stitch, over edge foot, zipper foot, blind hem foot, quarter inch seam foot, automatic buttonhole with stabilizer plate. And then you get all those. I never knew that you got an instructional video. I didn't get one with mine. I haven't got this one, I've got the 680. Then look at the technical features. Uh, Same space, 170 millimeters, free arm. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, screen type, horizontal. Oh, that means you can load your bobbin from the top. You got a built-in needle threader. You got feed dogs, which you can drop. All of that, all of that, all of that going on. I'll just show you here. Oh, so if you take the gubbins box off. Oh, come on, John. There you go. The gubbins box comes off, gives you a free arm, right? Then you've got to switch here. That drops your feed dogs. If you want to do a bit of free motion embroidery, free motion quilting, you can do. £649, split pay, comes directly from Elna, two-year warranty. Do not buy the express delivery because it won't come on express delivery, but they're very, very quick. Okay? Right, shall I do some fabrics or some books or something like that now? Yeah, some jersey. The other thing is, is right, the Elna, just, can you just put the graphics in for the 680? Just very quickly. No, 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 this is fine. I'm not going to spend ages because I've just seen the time. Right. This is the machine that I've chosen to buy, that Joe Carter's chosen to buy. Now, I know it looked earlier like we didn't know what we were doing, but that's because I'd given her the 580 by accident because it's the same casing as the 580. This machine is fantastic. Look at all your stitches. 
Um, it, and Dulcie said to me yesterday, I was out with Dulcie yesterday, she went, oh, I don't want your sewing machine, it's far too complicated for me. This is a woman who sews every day and does major, major Hollywood films and everything, right? At £1,249, split pay, 240 uh, When I bought mine, there was no split pay. I had to pay mine for, and I just want to say, it wasn't a gift from Elna, I'm not paid by Elna, I'm not an ambassador of Elna. I literally bought it out of all the machines I could have bought, but could have bought, I bought this one. All your feet that you use all the time are here in the front here. All the buttons are the same that you just saw on the 570. It's excellent quality and everything like that. You've got, it does come with a tray. It does come with a, a soft case or um, a semi-stiff case, this one. Or it comes with so many feet, this one. And then this here, I've not got it plugged in, so I can't show you, but it literally, it just tells you what to do. And I love this. If you do that satin stitch right, you can make it longer and shorter, five different versions. You can reverse a decorative stitch. You can do twin needling. You can do so much in there, it's, it's fantastic. And you get the al an alphabet and everything like that in there. I just wanted to show it to you because somebody said earlier they were thinking about buying one. I would not, I would not get any, I would not even second, the, well obviously you've got to think about how much you're spending and everything, but if you can afford it, get it. Right, Jersey Fabrics, very quickly. <laughs> A dark background with pink flowers, got two of those. Is it this one? 59, 59. Oh, this is nice. Oh, now this would be brilliant for that T-shirt, that little T-shirt that Mark, that Mark made. Did you have this on the T-shirt day? Oh, it wasn't your day, sorry. Um, lovely, isn't it? That's beautiful. 7.49, half a metre. Oh, it's about to sell out. It's got a lovely soft backing, that one. Yep, next one. This one's navy, that one was black. This one's navy. Oh, it says it's navy, I thought. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's this one. There you go. This one again is good for, this one's got a lot of stretch in this one, look. That one would be good for your leggings, Adam, when you go to the gym. Like, would you go with Bruce? 7.49. Oh, Charlie, he, he knew, you normally goes to the gym every day, but he's hurt his shoulder, hasn't he? That's his excuse, anyway. I'm surprised we haven't heard from Charlie today. Did he have a lovely holiday? Right, yeah. Then, shall I do this one, then? This one's... Oh. Can anyone see a sticker? That... <laughs> <laughs> it's all very well telling me what number it finishes with if there's no sticker. Anyway, there you go, 749. Fewer than 10 metres, this one. Single figures of metres in this one. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. It's here. T-shirt. Fabric required. Uh, it depends how wide it is. It's 1 metre 15, which is 44, isn't it? You need... Uh, 1.75 meters, you have to buy two meters from us, which is four units. Or if it's 140 wide, you need 1.1 meter for the largest size. Say that again. Yeah, these are these are all be these are all the extra wide ones. You need 1.1, so you're gonna have to buy one and a half meters of all of these. So far, the fabrics I've shown you so far. Lovely. Yeah, stripes, just stripes, or stripes with flowers. Just stripes, that's this one. Oh, this one's lovely and soft on the inside. Make a lovely sweatshirt out of this one. 7.49 for half a metre. Beautiful. Stripes with flowers. I'm not in again till Tuesday now. I've got tomorrow. Is it Rebecca Reed tomorrow? Is it you, Hannah, tomorrow? No, it is not. Uh, 7.49, that's pretty, isn't it? Again, now not as much stretch. I'd say this one was more sweatshirting, this one. Beautiful. I've got the ones we made Fiona's pyjamas out of here. The strawberry and daisy one. Oh, it's about to sell out. Ending 63, yeah, this is lovely. If you made Fiona Hesford's pyjamas, this is what she used for that. That one's got a bit more stretch in it, that one. Oh, actually, Hannah, you could make that dress earlier, or no, this T-shirt longer, with this for your nighty. 
more people in baskets than we've got stock of. Next. Oh, the green daisies is only half a metre left. I won't bother doing that one then. Daisies on Ecru. I don't seem to have a day. Oh, over to it's over there. It's over there. It's over there. Oh, it's only half a metre that one left anyway. I've got black and white stripe. Now. Oh, it's blue. It's blue and white. Blue and white. Blue and white. Thank you. Take. 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 Oh, that's a fat quarter. I won't do that. No. No. I've got black on its own. Oh. Oh. This is organic soft touch. This is beautiful. Have I got this in other colours then? Okay. This, you can tell. Oh, it's only 6 .99. I was about to look up at the screen and think, oh, this will be 8 50 8 99 half metre. 6 99 for half a metre. It's wide. It feels, if you made that little t-shirt out of this, that is just exquisite. Oh, got it in wine. Yeah, I can see the navy one. So there's a wine one here. Is this organic as well then? Oh, this is just soft touch. This is not organic. Oh, there you go. 5 39 Have you reduced the price, Hannah? I think you did. 5.39. Do you know what? When I used to drink organic wine, you used to give me the worst hangovers. You'd think you were drinking something healthy, wouldn't you? Gave me these. I, I, when I was in Ireland, you used to go to this fabulous organic vegetarian restaurant nearly every night. And, um, oof. No. No. Maybe, maybe I drank too much of it. 5.39 in the Navy. You see now, is this not organic then? Because it feels exactly the same as the black one. Okay, just soft touch. Oh, I see. So that finish is soft touch. It just happens that the first one, the black one, was, was made of organic cotton, whereas this is your regular cotton. It's beautiful. Cotton lawn. I've got another jersey. Oh, sorry, sorry, we're not doing that then, okay. So what do you want to do now then? That's fine. Like, when you say gold, this salmon one you mean. Oh, no, 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 hang on. Which one do you mean? Right, oh, 03. That's okay. I love this lawn. I remember launching this. <sighs> Look at these. All right, seven ninety nine for half metre, fantastic price for cotton. Uh oh, it's not jersey. It's cotton lawn. It's cotton lawn. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine for half a metre. Look how gorgeous is that? No, 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 no. I didn't realise that was happening. We've got any more of those? Seventy one. Keep going. Sorry, I'm rushing because I can see the time. Carry on going through for those. Oh, these are beautiful. Look. Right, are you crashing this one as well? Mauve. 3 99 you know where it's going. Well, I've told you now. End of surprise. Story of my life. 3 99 Beautiful. It's lovely. The mottled background's fabulous. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through. Have I got another one? Is that the one with the salmon pink background? Right, now this doesn't feel, this feels different, this one. Oh, it's viscose, that's why. Viscose. It is rather beautiful, though. Seven ninety nine. She says, I'm not allowed to crash this one. So I guess what she's going to do. Five ninety nine for half a metre. This one. This is viscose, breathable, gorgeous, drapey. Imagine what that's going to look like. Stunning. The background's an unusual kind of terracotta-y, salmon-y sort of colour. Can you use cotton lawn for the culottes? You can, but it might be a bit. Is that a question from you or from a viewer? Louise and Drops, you can, but they'll be. It might be a bit fine. It might be a bit fine. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Louise. Um, you can, but they'll be very... Uh, if you're going on holiday to a hot country, 
you know, like you go to Greece or somewhere like that, they'd be perfect. But on a summer's day here, they might be a little bit flimsy. Not flimsy, that's the wrong word. I have the mark, this is the one that Stuart's got a house, house in. No, Stuart hasn't got a house in this. Stuart's got the, has he got a, a shirt made out of this? I'm sure he has. Marine feather palm. Back to cotton lawn, this one. 5.99, 5.99. Sorry I'm rushing you all, but I've just seen the time. Has today gone quickly? Kate, we have all really been spoiled for choice today with Joe and Adele's project. I went for the koala, can't wait to make it. Um, no mention about me then, Kate. Fine. I'll go back to the koala, yep. What? Yeah, thanks. Koala. Marcy the koala. I, we called him Kelvin or Kevin. But it's all the It's beautiful. It's the kit. You're obviously not buying the finished thing. It is the kit. You do get a badge with it. Comes directly from Joe. All you need is toy stuffing. Everything else is in the kit. 29.99. Oh, he's so squidgy and soft. 29.99. I'm a bit worried because there's so many people still got it in their baskets. No, we don't know what's happened. If you definitely want it, please make sure you try and check out or redo it so you definitely do get it. Because I'm just frightened that some people won't get it now. Oh, menu already. That's fine, because I can always go back to something else. Oh, look, it's his first day. He's going, well, you have got two minutes, John. There you go. Jubilee panels and kits at eight o'clock. Oh, you think it might be a Jubilee day tomorrow? <laughs> Nine o'clock, Jubilee Twisted Quilt with Catherine Wright. Ten o'clock, Amber Makes. Oh, now, what is it? Amber Makes Recap Kit Show with Rebecca Reed. Hang on, she's presenting tomorrow, isn't she? That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Oh, we'll put an Amber Makes in on your day. Jubilee Embroidery and Crowns with Catherine Wright. I don't know what that is. Crowns, I suppose. And then twelve o'clock, Yarn Lane. The Fruit Garden, which is nothing to do with Jubilee, from, but it is Jane Crowfoot. It is Jane Crowfoot coming in tomorrow for Yarn Lane. Calico, 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 Calico. Right, we don't have as much today as we normally have. We always sell out of this. 279 half meter. Obviously, yours will come joined up. If you want five meters, you get a five meter piece. If you want 10 meters, you get a 10 meter piece. Fantastic for pattern drafting, for draping, for putting on the back of wall hangings, uh, red work, em embroidery, cross stitch, anything like that. It's fantastic. And it's only £2.79 for half a meter. Right, thank you ever so much. Oh, they've put these, they've put these new mats on the floor, but they're, they're not in a whole row. They're just one on, one off, one on, one off like that. Are they better for your back? I thought it was your ankles, is that? It's like when, you, when I was filming with Angelina Jolie on that glacier, we all had to stand on, we had to carry a great big piece of polystyrene with us. And every time you stopped, you put it down, you'd stand on the polystyrene rather than the ice. See, he thinks I'm joking. Anyway, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Thanks, thank you so much. Well done, Adam, you did a brilliant job today. Uh, I, yeah, you always do a brilliant job, Hannah. <laughs> Strike me down. Anyway, I will see you. Uh, I'm not in now till Tuesday. Uh, I, I can't remember what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll, they'll tell you tomorrow. Watch this time tomorrow and they'll tell you what I'm doing on Tuesday. Thanks to your company. Make sure you check out your basket. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping!
We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one P&P &P all day.